Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. This is my craft corner, and today marks the last day of 2021. And I've made a lot, and I mean a lot, of crazy videos this year. 70 videos to be precise, and that's about 18 and a half hours worth of videos. So we thought, hey, why not make a compilation of every single video I made this year? So that's what this video is. This is a compilation of every single video of 2021, anyway. And if you guys want to watch me watching every single video, I'm actually going to make a main channel video where I do that right here. I'll also link it down in the description down below. Anyway guys, enjoy the compilation! That might be a little bit too much water. I completely forgot to grab something to stir this with. How? How did this work? This is going to be interesting. Okay guys, so a few months ago, I did uh, a countless hours of research and I bought myself a jet board. And it took almost two months to come in, but I finally got it. Now jet boarding is a lot of fun. However, jet boarding by yourself, that's just irresponsible. Not to mention, lame as heck. And that's how I feel about most things. And that's exactly why I have four electric skateboards and three one wheels. So I ended up buying a second jet board, but the second one came inside of a giant crate. So now, my new goal is to make this thing into my new workbench. It's gonna take a little bit of engineering for sure, but I think that I can do it. And I think the first thing I'm gonna do is cut out these squares so that I can put things inside of it. Yeah, just imagine it, just like that. But it's a, it's a hole, right? Yeah, anyway. Let's do this. One down. <laughs> We got ourselves a nice uh, skeleton. I just have to put this end on and then it will be complete. Oh my gosh, it got dark so fast. So now that I made these windows, I'm gonna go ahead and take it completely apart because it won't fit through my front door. Oh! <laughs> We're good. Oh. Oh. Now I have to bring them all upstairs. Oh, okay, now it's time to assemble it all back together. Oh. I'm definitely working up a sweat here. Already not a bad size. Now for the top. Okay, I got a super solid workbench in the middle of my craft corner now. I think I hate this. No, 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 this is uh, pretty cool actually. Now I have a place to hang out under my desk. And now I definitely have a lot more table space. Pretty strong too. It supports me, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, there are definitely some improvements that could be made with this, but for now, I'm gonna go take a nap because I am so tired from doing all that. Oh. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Woo. Okay guys, so it's the next day and I went to the hardware store and picked up this piece of wood. I had them cut it for me and then I brought it home and I sanded it down and I lacquered it and I'm just gonna go ahead and slap it right on top of this one so now I have a nice clean tabletop instead of this kind of like gross marine plywood. Oh, Ooh. It actually fits! So I'm gonna go ahead and screw it to the crate. <laughs> Okay, so after I filmed that last part where I put the top on, I figured it would take too long to show you guys uh, all the stuff that I did while I was doing it, so I think that you guys would just like it better if I showed you. Anyway, let me give you a tour of my new workbench. Foremost, 
course, the thing that's most noticeable is I added LED lights on the inside and it looks nice. I got this little remote and I can change the color. You can do red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. You can go through the whole dang rainbow, can't we? All right, let's leave it red because I like red. The next thing I added were these power bars. I have one on each side and I can turn them on and off if I want to. Plug whatever I want into them. That's really handy for like power tools and all that fun stuff. Then you're probably wondering, Robbie, why do you have all these little washers just embedded into your desk like this with the little holes? And if we go over to my craft corner desk, I'll actually show you the purpose really quick. So I have these holes inside of this desk as well. This was almost the first thing I built when I made this desk. And that's because I can put these light stands inside of them. They just fit right inside, just like that. Take them out, put them back in. Now I have easy modular lighting, really nice, really handy, I love it. Now I have them all over this desk. I also bought a brand new set of LEDs, so I have a set for this desk as well. And the nice thing about this is I have it on a little Joby Gorillapod mount, so if I don't want the light, I could always just grab like a small camera and boom. Now I have a little tripod that I can literally face anywhere. This is good for like downward rigs, like this. It's a little bit unstable when you hit the table, but you know, it works fine, okay? I also added this little shelf. I kind of want to add one to the other side because uh, there's just all this empty space and I could add a shelf. Might do that later. We also got these storage bins. One's for my power tools and the other is for my extra camera gear. I now have a place to hold my vacuum, so that's pretty handy. I also got a little magnetic toolbar. If I need a tool, I can just go here and take it off. Boom, bam, easy peasy. And of course, you guys probably already noticed this uh, black and yellow stripe that goes all the way around the perimeter. This way I don't bump into the edges. See what I mean? That would really hurt. Whoa, this is my new workbench for the craft corner. It was kind of a pain in the butt to bring up here. It's gonna probably stay around for a little bit. So yeah, guys, new year, new desk. Woo! I definitely can't wait to use it for a bunch of fun projects. Uh, more room to film. And more room for activities. Uh, yeah. Anyway, let's get to the real part of this video where we try some fun TikTok life hacks. Okay guys, so this is how you pour water out of a bottle really fast. All you gotta do is spin it a little bit and then it makes a whirlpool and boom, it comes out super fast. Well, here's the fastest way to put water back in the bottle. All you gotta do is put some rubbing alcohol and then light it on fire. Boom, and then just sucks all the water into it. This looks freaking amazing. I'm pretty sure this happens because when the alcohol inside the bottle is burning up, it burns up all the oxygen with it and it creates kind of like a vacuum and then it sucks all the water back up into it. This looks really cool and uh, kind of dangerous, but I can't wait to try it. Let's do it. So the first thing we're gonna need is a bottle. Okay, yeah, one of these ought to do. Uh, perfect. Then we're gonna need some rubbing alcohol. Okay, I'm actually kind of nervous to do this. Uh, so this is gonna be interesting. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is get our rubbing alcohol, put it in there. And I guess I just swig it around just like that. I kind of want to wear some safety gear. There we go. Okay guys, let's hope this doesn't explode. And it worked, we got some water in there. I feel like we can get more though. Does it work with a wet bottle? We're gonna find out. Woo! It filled! It actually worked! Oh my gosh! It completely filled the water bottle! <laughs> well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. So here's how to open a soda can when your pop top is broken. All you gotta do is get a pencil and kinda like rub it around the edges of it. And uh, boom, it just pops right open. I'm not sure how this works or why it works um, or if it even works. Let's try it. Okay guys, so here's our can of ice cold refreshing Coca-Cola. Not sponsored, I wish. Then we're gonna go ahead and get a pen and then we just kinda make this motion. I guess I gotta do it fast enough for it to just pop. How? How did this work? It just busted right open. That's amazing. Anyway, I guess we could say that this one works. I don't know how it works, but it works. Okay guys, so apparently it's impossible to break an egg using just your hands without interlocking them. This girl said that she got a bunch of buff dudes to try it at the gym and it just didn't work. Now, I'm not calling myself a buff dude by any means. I I'm kind of strong, but I, I wouldn't call myself buff. Anyway, it's just really difficult to break an egg with your hands, so uh, let's try it. I'm gonna do this one outside because I don't wanna get egg everywhere. Okay, so here we go. The only rules are I can't interlock my fingers. You ready? Oh my gosh, this is gonna get everywhere. Oh, one, two, and. Oh. Oh, I knew it! 
I freaking knew it. Okay, we'll try it again uh, one more time just for continuity. But this time I'll do it uh, going this way. This one might be a little bit more challenging. One, two, and oh, nope, couldn't do it that way. But I can definitely do it this way. Oh, now it hurts. I actually can't do this one this way. Maybe the last one was a fluke. But luckily, you get to survive today. So, um, I guess we can say that this one kinda works. So here's how you break an egg perfectly without leaving the shell. All you gotta do is hold it at this angle, just like this. And when you drop it, it just breaks perfectly all in one piece. For some reason, I have a really hard believing this, but uh, I guess we're gonna try it. Okay, so here's our egg. Now apparently, we just have to drop it at this angle, and it'll crack perfectly every time. Okay, are you guys ready for this? And one, two, and... Oh, no, multiple pieces of shell are still in there. Okay, we'll try another one. One, two, and... Oh, kinda worked. Okay, we'll try this again. Ready, one, two, and... A little bit higher. It didn't work! Oh! Oh, it works! There's no more shell left in there. Okay, so one out of four. One, two, and... Oh! No shell! So I guess we're gonna have to say that this one kind of works. Because there's still definitely a little bit of eggshell in there. I can't say it 100% works all the time. So here's how you make yourself some delicious candied strawberries. What you're gonna wanna do is get some strawberries, cut off the top, skewer those little bad boys, get some sugar, some water, bring it to a boil, and just dip your strawberry right in. And apparently it makes a super satisfying crunch when you bite into it. This looks so delicious. I can't wait to try it. Okay, first thing we're gonna need is a stove. There we go, portable stove. Take that out, go ahead and lock it down. Turn on our fire, perfect. Pan, a little bit of sugar. Well, I guess a lot of sugar, let's just do a lot of sugar. There we go, a little bit of water. That might be a little bit too much water. I completely forgot to grab something to stir this with. Plastic spoon, probably not a good choice. But what about bigger plastic spoon? I don't see why not. Mix, 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 mix. Mix, 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 mix. Then we get our strawberries, take off the top, give it a good skewer, boop, and we'll just dip it in. Okay. I bet this is gonna be uh, pretty tasty. I messed up again, I didn't have anything to put these on. I'm gonna go ahead and make a whole little plate of these. Just, I'm just blindly doing this. That smells like caramel, and I feel like my, my, uh, uh, I think my smoke detector is gonna go off. I need to find a fan. Yeah, I think I've made enough of these. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and let them cool down for a little bit while I clear out the room and make sure my fire alarm doesn't go off. 12 seconds later. Yep, there it is. I need to find a fan. Get out of here, smoke! <sighs> that ought to do it. Ooh, okay, so they're all cooled down. Now let's try one of these guys. I'm actually kind of excited. Uh, they look delicious. Very delicate as well. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. I don't know if I like this. I mean, it tastes great, but the sugar just latched itself onto my teeth. Very sticky, but that is uh, very tasty. Mm. Well guys, I'm gonna go ahead and say that these guys actually work. And they're delicious. DIY hacks we found on the internet that actually work. Ooh. If you're painting something really important, but you wanna take a break and you don't feel like washing out your brush all the time. Cover it in foil and stick it in the fridge and it'll stay usable for days. So the next day, you grab it and you can finish your masterpiece without having to take any extra time to clean out your brush. This is awesome, but does it actually work? Let's find out. Ooh, okay, so here's our paint. Grab our brush. Ooh, now it's time to bust open some paint. There we go. Ooh, oh, I'm definitely gonna need to mix this up a little bit. Okay, mix, mix, mix. 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 Oh, this is beautiful. Good, good. Okay, now I'm gonna carefully paint my new workbench. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, yes. I should really have put like a tarp down or something before I started doing this. Fun fact, guys, one of my first jobs was being a painter. I wasn't a painter very long. Uh, I'm not sure if it's because I wasn't very good at it or not sure what was up with that, but you know. Take a break from painting because this is just, this is just too much for me, okay? Okay, so we get our tin foil. Go ahead and lay out a sheet. 
go ahead and wrap it up in there. It's like a, it's like a weird popsicle. And then we just toss it in the fridge. <laughs> really need to learn to respect my tools. Oh, okay, then we just leave it in there for the next couple hours. I really hope that I remember to take it out. <laughs> Okay, guys, it's been about two hours. Uh, let's see what the verdict is. Wow! The paint's still wet. Well, guys, I guess we can say that this one works. Well, I might as well paint the rest of my desk now. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. It looks pretty snazzy. The blue basically matches my hair. I was gonna put a little bit of pink into it, but I wasn't exactly sure where to put it. I think that this paint job turned out fantastic. It really just brings everything together, I think. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. And in case you guys didn't already notice, uh, my hair is looking uh, pretty gray right now. And that's because I'm in the process of re-dyeing it. So in the meantime, we're gonna go back to the blue beanie for a little bit. Oh yes, the classic blue bean. Boo bitty boo. Uh -huh. Yes, there we go. I'm now the blue beanie boy. Down in the comments down below, tell me what color you guys think I should do my hair next. You never know, I might just do it. Also, make sure to stay till the end of this video because I'm gonna be announcing the winner of the iPhone. I'm sorry it's taking so long. I'm doing it now, so I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, today we're gonna be trying some fun DIY TikTok life hacks. But before we start, we're gonna go ahead and add some life to my room. Jungle room! Jungle room! Jungle room! Jungle room! Jungle room. Jungle room. the atmosphere if you ask me. Okay, let's watch some TikToks. Ever wonder how to make a cool airplane launcher? Well, you're about to find out how. Boom! So first thing you're gonna wanna do is make your airplane just like this. You know, classic paper airplane. And then for the launcher, you're gonna wanna fold it hot dog, hot dog, backwards hot dog, and then staple on a, a rubber band. Then you just put your airplane right inside of it. And boom! You got yourself an airplane launcher. This one looks kind of promising and fun, so let's try it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna wanna do is fold our little paper airplane. Let's see, it's been a while since I've done this. I think it goes hot dog, fold this in, fold this in, and fold this like that. Now fold this like that, hold that in half. That does not look correct. What the heck? Did I really forget how to fold a paper airplane? What? Okay, I'm gonna try this again. I think the part that I missed was I'm supposed to cut right here. Yeah, that looks, uh, mm, I don't know. I think I might have messed up. Then they folded their nose in. I'm not sure if this is n really necessary, but I'll do it for the craft. Pull it again. Okay, yeah. Uh, that looks a little better. Okay, it might just work. Now on to the paper airplane launcher. So I just fold it, hot dog, fold these down. I should have something like this. I might double fold this to make it a little stronger. Oh, that's a lot better. Boop, boop, boop. Let me grab our rubber band and our stapler and then just staple it right on there. Boop. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Then we just go ahead and close this up. Put the rubber band around like that. Oh no, doesn't hold it. It definitely <laughs> does not like to stay. Uh, oh no. Maybe I should have used thicker paper because then we're supposed to put it in like this. Uh, okay, I'm gonna remake the launcher with thicker paper. Okay, we got this all situated. I ended up using some thick construction paper for this and uh, it, it definitely holds up a lot better. So now all we gotta do is take our paper airplane, put it right inside of there. Okay, here we go. One, two, and... <gasps> Whoa, okay, it looks like it worked so far. Now let's see how far this thing shoots. Okay, here we go. Launch sequence in three. Two, one. <gasps> it works! And we went about 10 feet. Oh, that's not bad. Well, let's see if we can do better with this pink airplane that I made. You ready? Here we go. One, two, 
And... Oops. <laughs> okay, we'll try it again. One, two, and... Wow. One, two, and... Maybe the pink airplane isn't such a good call. I'm gonna go ahead and try cutting it a little bit. Boop. Here we go. Initiating the launch sequence. One, two, and... Whoa! That worked a lot better. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one pretty much works. Okay, guys, so here's how you make yourself a DIY lock if you don't have one on your doorknob. All you gotta do is grab yourself a fork, bend it at the tips about 90 degrees, and then you should have something like this. And then you break the handle in half. Then once you have the handle broken in half, you just put the fork in the thing just like that, and then you close your door. Then you put the handle through the fork. So when they try and open your door, they won't be able to open. I have mixed thoughts on this one. I'm not sure how well it's gonna work, but uh, I'm excited to try it. Let's do it. Woo, okay, so here's our fork. Go ahead and put it in our vice. Yeah, about right here should do it. Ugh. Break out our hammer. Ugh. Oh, wrong way. Yeah, that looks about right. And now we have to try and cut it in half. Break out our saw. There we go. Piece should just fall out. Now it's time to test it. Okay, here we go. So apparently we just uh, put it right in there and close the door. Boop. Oh, uh, yes. Grab our handle. And apparently, oh, oh no, we have a problem. <laughs> I think I might have needed to cut it more uh, on the smaller part. Frick. Oh. Okay, we'll try this again. Okay, boobity boop. Close that. Grab the handle. Stick it through. Oh, it actually fits. Okay. Wow. Uh, that didn't work very well. We'll try it one more time just for continuity. I keep closing the freaking door by accident. Stick the little handle in. Boop. Okay, and. Okay, that's a little better. Oh no. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this one. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one, it doesn't work. So here's how you make yourself some DIY car cleaning slime. Get yourself some glitter glue, put it right in your cup holder, that's important. Get some pine saw, dump the pine saw right in there. Mix, mix, mix. Add some baking soda. Mix, mix, mix. And then you get yourself a cool slime. Easily clean your car with your slime. Put it on in all the buttons. Put it on your horn. Put it all over your steering wheel. And boom, bam, clean car. You know, my car does get pretty messy, so I think that this hack might be pretty useful. Okay guys, so here's our glue. I actually bought some color changing glue, so I thought that would be really fun. So we're gonna go ahead and just dump all this in there. Oh boy. I really hope I'm not putting too much. <laughs> then we go ahead and get some pine salt. Dump a little bit of that in there. And last but not least, the baking soda. Boobity boop. <laughs> now we gotta mix it up. They just use their hands. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a great idea or not. I mean, if I'm gonna be using it to clean my car, what's the worst that could happen? It's a little too liquidy, I think. Maybe add a little bit more baking soda? I'm hoping this sort of helps dry it out a little bit. I'm really glad I didn't do this in my cup holder like he did because I would never be able to get this out. Why is it so sticky? This is so sticky. Oh my gosh. What did I do wrong? Did I have too much glue? I think I'm gonna go wash my hands. Okay, I'm gonna try and add a lot more baking soda. Okay, how's this? Still very sticky. Okay, so the color changing glue didn't work. So we're just gonna try the glue that they recommended. It's just regular old glitter glue. A little bit of this. And they only used a cap of pine sol. And then they really just filled it with the baking soda. You know what? Maybe it'll work this time. Mix, mix, mix. Okay. Oh. Yeah, no, that's still really sticky. I don't know if I want to put this in my car. Like, what the heck? More baking soda, maybe? 
definitely doesn't have the same consistency as his. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Do I let it dry a little bit longer? Do I just add too much glue? If I put this on my car, it's not gonna clean it. It's just gonna get everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna start over for a third time, okay? I'm gonna add very little glue, and that should be enough. The tiniest bit of pine saw. Then baking soda. Then we mix, mix, mix again. I'm gonna cut this so that you can see it. There we go. How's our original glue doing? Nope, still sticky as heck. This glue is also sticky as heck. Maybe more baking soda. Just completely fill it with baking soda. Ah! I broke another spoon. Hmm? This is a little bit closer to what we're looking for. It doesn't like stick to my hands now, so that's nice. I think we could add a little bit more glue. This consistency, not correct at all. I don't know how the heck he did it. But I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. I think he's trolling. He's probably trolling. Oh, what a shame, I was really looking forward to this one actually. Well, time to clean up this mess. Okay, so apparently this is how you make your voice deeper. Slap your heels. Actually, you know what, I'll show you. Check it out. The wild humming in the bottom of your throat like this. Balance on your heels like this. It looks ridiculous, but just do it for about 20 seconds. He's trying to keep like a straight face. Wow. Still going. Take a breath and then. Whoa! But I'm not even. Bro, what? It still. Okay, there is no way this actually works. He's obviously trolling us, right? Well, we might as well try it. Okay, so uh, let me try to make the sound. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I, I think I got it down. Here's our timer for 20 seconds. Boop. Oh my gosh, my calves actually kind of hurt now. Wait, is my voice deeper? I mean, it feels a little bit deeper. Is it deeper? Hello. Hello. I mean, do you guys think my voice, my voice feels very, it doesn't feel very good. My throat doesn't feel very good at all. I don't know. Would you guys say that this is deeper? I guess we're gonna have to say that this one uh, kind of works. Is it deeper? I. Th it's really, okay. I'm gonna record my voice and see if it's deeper. This is a test. Is my voice deeper? This is a test. Is my voice deeper? I think my voice is a little deeper now. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, okay, on to the next hack. So here's how you make yourself an awesome coin ring. Wow! So fancy. First you flatten down the edges, and then you drill a little hole. Start cutting away the excess just like this. Pop it out, file it all down, sand it, put it in a clamp, and start twisting the pieces apart just like this. Clamp it back together, add some little slits, shine that bad boy up, then add your diamond. Wow. This is pretty crazy. This is a really fancy ring. I think I'm gonna try and make one for Tori. Let's do it. Ooh. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna need is a coin. Now this coin is actually a nickel from when I first started dating Tori. It's kind of an inside joke, but I basically made a trail of nickels uh, leading to a, a sign that asked if she wanted to be my girlfriend. And this is one of those nickels. Anyway, I thought it would be uh, cute if I used this. Okay, so I know this isn't like the technical first step, but I saw this in another video. They go ahead and drill a hole in the coin. There we go. Let's go ahead and screw a nut on there. There we go. Looks good. Once we did that, we go and take our hammer and just kind of flatten it down. Yeah, there we go. That definitely looks a little bit more uh, flat. Take this off. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and clamp this guy down. And just uh, start cutting, I guess. I did it! Well, now I guess I'm gonna take Tori's measurements on here, and then just do a rough outline of it in Sharpie. There we go, that ought to do. I'm sorry you can't see a lot of what I'm doing. It's really hard to record this. Okay, now I'm gonna break out my Dremel tool. Fun fact, I actually stole this uh, from my dad. Choose our bit. Which one will we choose? Hmm, this one ought to do it. Go ahead and plug it in. Okay, let's do this. It's definitely a work in progress. I 
think I still need to make it a little bit thinner though. Uh, it's it's kind of thick. <laughs> I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to do that. I think I'm supposed to have a different anvil, but I don't know. I think I'm gonna just take the hammer and smash it down to this size. I'm hoping this will work. <laughs> Look, it's not very pretty, uh, but it's my first time uh, making a ring, and I think I'm doing okay so far. Okay, so I went ahead and uh, shined it up a little bit. I gave it a good polish, and now it's time to put in our little gem. Should just go right into there. It's proving to be a little bit harder than I thought. Okay, I brought pliers. Let's try this. Okay, before I do this, I'm actually gonna add a little bit of super glue. Now we're gonna take our pliers and carefully insert. There we go! And hopefully that will hold it. I'm gonna go ahead and let the super glue dry. Then I'm gonna shine it up a little bit and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, give it to Tori. This is fun. Oh, Tori to Bransky! Yes? I made you something. Yes, I'm excited. Three years ago, I asked you to be my girlfriend, and I did the thing where I made a trail of nickels that led to a, a, a little thing that asked if you wanted to be my girlfriend. Yes. Well, I took one of those nickels, and I made it into a ring. Oh, this is cute. I have a cool, this is actually really nice. It looks pretty. You can't tell that you made it from a nickel at all. Did you make yourself one? I just spent two days making one ring. I like it. Very cute. Thank you, Robbie. Well, guys, I guess we could say that this one works. It really does. This is probably the best gifts you've given me yet. Okay, I'll see you later. How the heck am I gonna do this? <gasps> Whoa. Oh. <laughs> Okay guys, so next week, it's my girlfriend Tori's birthday. And she told me that she only wanted one thing for her birthday, and that's a coffin. Well, I guess more like a coffin workbench. She actually liked the workbench that I built so much that she was like, Can you build me one? Okay guys, so this is what I'm thinking. I already pre-drew out the blueprints. I'm just gonna redraw over it so you guys can see it as I'm talking. So basically, I'm gonna make the coffin, cut out all the shapes as seen here, a bunch of fun math. Don't really wanna go too deep into that. And then when I'm done making the coffin, and I'm gonna go ahead and add drawers on the sides and then do like a little opening and closey thing where you can open the table up and then she can put whatever she wants in there. And then, you know, of course, afterwards, just add legs like that. I haven't bought the legs yet, but they're coming, okay? That's that's gonna be the last thing. So yeah, uh, let's get started. Okay, so first things first, let's cut and measure this wood. look like, right? Yeah, that looks pretty similar, I'd say. Yeah, I think I did that right. Now it's time to screw all the pieces together. Woo, okay, we got the walls all screwed together. Now I have to put together the skeleton to make it so that it won't fall apart. <laughs> I actually kind of already started this process a little bit. So I'm basically just gonna put boards to reinforce the inside. Put one right here. I'm gonna put one right here, right here, right here. Woo, yep. Also, I got a table saw to help me. It was honestly a huge pain in the butt to do it without a table saw, so I'm really glad I got this. drawers would be perfect for it because uh, we already got the hardware and it looks about the right size. Also, I don't have to make new drawers. Well, I have to modify these a little bit, but uh, yeah, anyway. Drawer number one, drawer number two. I'm gonna have to mess with this a little bit. Okay, so after just like hours and hours of trial and error, I freaking did it! 
We now have working drawers on one side. Wow! This side, drawers are good. Okay, so now on this side, there's not really enough room to do a whole drawer right here. So I think I'm just gonna go ahead and make a cubby hole and then I'll kind of modify the drawer a little bit uh, so that the one fits over here. But there's just not enough room right here. So, you know, this is so much work. <laughs> This is day number five working on this coffin, and I really hope that Tori likes it. Say solid a lot, but this this thing's gonna be solid, okay? It's gonna be solid. Mark my words. Also, I kind of look like a main character from Digimon or something with these goggles on. I'm not complaining. I'm just pointing it out. I screw this in. Okay, the cubby hole is just about done. Just gotta put the top on and the little uh, flappy guy. <laughs> You'll see what I mean in a second. Okay, so now I have to take the face piece off of this drawer. Oh no! I broke the little handle! Dang it! Well, uh, mission accomplished, I guess. Now I need to cut the hinge. It's a little, uh, messed up, but I'm sure it'll still work. Yeah, and there we go, something like this. Yes. Now it's time to add some magnets to this bad boy. Go right in there, put a little bit of super glue. And it stays closed. Thanks, magnets. <laughs> anyway, the cubby hole is complete. Okay, so now I'm making a custom drawer so that it will fit right here. I'm not gonna lie, it's not the best craftsmanship I've ever had, but uh, you know, I think it might work. At least I'm hoping, because if it doesn't, uh, I'm gonna cry. Okay, so after a lot of trial and error, we have the last drawer. It's all done. Nice. The hardware store didn't sell slides that were short enough, so I had to use a different kind, and uh, that's why it's slightly risen. Okay, now for the head hood thing. Uh, <laughs> this is where I find out that the top no longer fits, right? There we go. I think I have to flip it over. It still lines up! Yep, we're looking pretty clean here. Nice! I have to cut this guy right on this line. Oh, I already know this is gonna be kind of hard. Oh, God! How the heck am I gonna do this? I think that might do it. I am so nervous right now. If I mess this up, I have to make this whole thing over again. Well, here we go! That ending part scared me a little bit, uh, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah! Oh. Okay, now we flip this guy over. Line these up. Ooh, pretty sturdy. But will it close? Let's find out. No, it won't. I did it the wrong way. I will fix this and I will be right back to show you. Okay, I fixed it and uh, we are back in business. Okay, so originally I was gonna make it so that this little compartment would be Tori's little place to keep her sewing machine. But I figured it would be really cool if I made it a fold out table. So what I think I'm gonna do is make a cross right here. And when you go to open it, the cross, the middle part, turns into a leg that holds up the table. It's freaking genius, I know. So I guess it's time to make the cross. And... Okay, cross is all assembled. Now it's time to attach it to the coffin. There we go. That's all good. Okay, so the legs came in. 
time to install these bad boys. I'm really hoping that this coffin doesn't fall on me because that would just be really ironic, right? Right about here. One side down, one side to go. Okay, we're all good to go. Carefully remove the saw horses. Yeah, looking pretty good. A little bit shorter than I thought it would be, but it's fine. So when I installed the legs, the screws went straight through the top right here. They aren't very like big, but they're big enough for me to need to grind them down. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, grind those down really quick. Yeah, that's a lot better. Okay, we are almost done. Now I just have to finish putting on the rest of this crown molding. I did the top right here. Now I gotta do the bottom part. I got this pattern for the bottom. I think Tori's really gonna like it. Okay, so now I'm just filling in the little gaps and uh, any mistakes I might have made. Remember kids, uh, wood putty can fix the mistakes you've made with your projects, but they can't fix the mistakes you've made with your life. Honestly guys, I am impressed with myself. Look at that, just look how, look how good that is. I'm really proud of these corners, look at that. They actually kind of line up. Wow, okay, so far so good. So the only thing left to do now is paint. of straight work, it's finally done. And it's beautiful. Look at that. And that. Ooh, and this. Two perfect little drawers. Oh, yes. That crown molding, though. Oh, it's so beautiful. Ugh, this is so sick. I bet after Tori sees this, she's gonna wanna be buried in it. That's a little bit morbid. Okay, now for the fun part. To carry it upstairs. Okay, guys, now it's time to get Tori's reaction. Oh, Tori Dabransky! Tori Dabransky! Okay, Tori. Okay, I'm so ready, let's go. Are you ready, for, you're ready for your present? You ready for your birthday present? I'm ready, I'm hyped. Okay, so I've been working on this every day, as you know, for an entire week straight. It's been an adventure. Dude, I've, I've heard you. My room is right above the garage. So I just hear you singing to yourself most of the time. What? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing. Okay. <gasps> Whoa. Oh my. <laughs> yeah? I have a coffin in my, in my room now. This is so cool. Well, do you want me to show me, show me around? Yeah, you want me to show you some of the yeah. features? Yeah. Okay, okay. Open this one. We recently broke the, we, we broke the, the handle off. I, I can fix it. Okay. Uh, they broke off during transport. Oh, I'll fix it. Wow. That's so cool. That's one drawer. Oh, Little oh. cubby hole. <gasps> Oh my goodness, I wasn't expecting that. You put your tiny things in there. I can't put my tiny things in there. Oh, and it just, how does this stick like that? Magnets. Wow, that's so cool. Now we got the full drawers on this side. These open really nice. Oh, they're purple. Yeah, and then you pull it out a little bit more. That's green. Oh. Wow. 
Dude, you did such a good job. Okay, are you ready for my favorite part? The main feature. This took a little bit of ingenuity, okay? Wow. Okay, ready? I'm ready. So, see this cross? I like. Yeah. Wow. wow. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It looks like your shirt. So cool! You got a little place to put your sewing machine. I bet I could fit in here. Hey, Thomas, do you like it? Yeah. How sturdy is it? I wouldn't jump on it. It's fair. It's pretty sturdy. I wouldn't jump on a lot of things. This is so nice. Now you just got a coffin. I have a coffin. A multi-purpose <laughs> coffin. I could do a coffin tour? Wow. Dude, this is going to change the game. It's so cute! I did the crown molding. I tried really hard to make it look. It looks nice. I tried to make it look as coffin. Looks... This part was so hard to do. Yeah. This was so much math. So much math. I haven't done this much math since I was in trigonometry, okay? Like, this, this, so, this was so much freaking math. It's like weirdly perfect. I know. Math. math. All this math. All, all this, this, this was. This was brought to you by math. <laughs> Like it? I like, I like. Very cool. Thank you. This is my desk now. It is. I love you. Love you too. Thank you. I'm really glad you like it. This is so cool. Look at this. Look at like the view. Now I have like all my little things behind me. You emo girl. <laughs> you did good here. You did good here. I didn't do anything. Well, I gotta go. <laughs> Enjoy your coffin. I'll see you later. Oh, I'm really glad that Tori likes it. Tori, where'd you go? Tori Bransky. How do you keep it down? What the heck? Taking a nap right now. <laughs> Wait, no, no, come back. Tori, we have to do the outro. <laughs> Don't look at me, I'm naked. <laughs> Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. This is my craft corner. I recently asked you guys, where do you guys want me to find my next life hacks to try out? And an overwhelming majority of you said five minute crafts. So I guess today we're gonna be going back to our roots and trying a bunch of fun life hacks and crafts for five minute crafts. Oh boy, this is gonna be a lot of fun. I've actually done so many life hacks from five minute crafts and if you guys wanna watch that playlist that I'm gonna make, I'm gonna put it right here. But don't click off yet, uh, make sure to watch this video. Anyway, let's do some hacks. Oh yes, this is a classic hack that everyone should know. All you gotta do is get a vacuum, get your scrunchie, put your hair down, and then let that vacuum suck your hair right up into the hose. <laughs> and then when you're done, just slide your scrunchie on and boom! Instant ponytail. For some reason, I've seen this one all over and I haven't tried it yet. It looks like today is the day. What is going on with my hair? I need to fix this. Why don't I brush my hair? I look so much better. <gasps> I'm brushing my hair from now on. Get our vacuum. Get that vacuum hose. There we go. Boo -ba -da -boo. Okay. Then we go ahead and grab our scrunch. Just slide it right on there. Boo -ba -da -boo. All I gotta do is put my hair down. Maybe I shouldn't have used an industrial shot vac. Okay, we're gonna try it again. Oh, now we're just gonna slide it out. Oh, what an adventure. <laughs> it definitely sucked it up really fast. If my hair was long enough on the sides, I'm sure it would have probably worked. Anyway, it looks like it got pretty much all my hair. This is uh, definitely the fastest way to give yourself a ponytail. I mean, besides the whole setting up the vacuum thing. But if you use it every day, why don't you just keep the vacuum set up like that? Anyway, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. So apparently, if you put some soap on your mouth and then blow bubbles, you can just blow bubbles. That's a lot of bubbles. But does it work? Let's try it. So here's our dish soap. Just, uh, there we go. Ooh. I'm gonna wet my lips a little bit. You ready? Okay. Ugh. I just got that all over my, my computer screen right here. Let's see, maybe more soap? I mean, we got little bubbles, so it, it kind of works so far. I just need a different camera angle for this to work. Okay, boys, here we go. <laughs> oh. Oh! Oh! I'm getting really, I'm getting really drooly here. Oh! <gasps> I don't know how they did a bunch of bubbles. That was really cool. 
<laughs> Would you do this? Whatever you do, actually, I don't think you should do this. <laughs> but regardless, I feel like you're gonna do it anyway. You're gonna try this anyway. If you do, don't get the soap in your mouth. I'm sure dog dish soap is great for little ducks, but it's not great for your insides, okay? Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one kinda works. I would give it a solid uh, six out of 10. If I was good at it right off the bat, I would have given it a 10 out of 10, but uh, I'm not, so take that. Be easier next time, life hack. Okay, so for this one, we're gonna make these little tadpoles swim. All you gotta do is get a dry erase marker and put it in your sink, and boom, when you turn on the water, they all just swim right down the drain. Finally, now you don't have to try this with real goldfish. Okay, so first thing we're gonna need are some markers. Okay, and a boom, and a boom. Oh, that's, that's probably good for it. And then here's our bathroom. Yes, I know, my sink is so disgusting. Ugh, oh my god, what? What is that? <laughs> I should do another video where I just clean my bathroom for an hour. I know you guys love that last one that I did, so if you guys roast me enough, I might just do it. Okay, so uh, here we go. Draw a little, uh, little tadpole. Oh god, it won't even stick. Oh, oh no. It doesn't even want to stick to the, the thing because it's so dirty. If this doesn't work, I should definitely clean my sink a little bit. Oh man. Yep, this is uh, this is pretty gross. And here we go. Yeah, that's not that's not working at all. Maybe I have to clog the drain. Maybe that'll help. Uh, they're not swimming around. These tadpoles are dead. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Here's a quick and easy way to hang up your hoodie. Just go ahead and shove a hanger right in the back of your hoodie, and then hang it up, and then you just slide right out of it, and there you go, hoodie is all hung up. I feel like it would be easier just to take the hoodie off and hang it up, but uh, what do I know, dude? What the heck do I know? Okay, let's go ahead and uh, make my way down to the closet. in my jacket. Yeah, this is, this is great. <laughs> oh, that wasn't too bad. Okay, now I gotta go. I got little hooks on my doors right here. I hang my jackets uh, when I come inside, so I'm gonna use these. But can I even get up that high? We're about to find out. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. Okay, now just slip right out. sloppy but I guess overall I'm gonna have to say that this one works so here's how to make crazy candy bubbles all you gotta do is get your heat gun melt them down get a straw and then just blow and then they make these crazy candy bubbles wow this is so cool the best part is they're edible I really hope that this one works because it looks like it'll be a lot of fun okay so here's our heat gun here's our candy they're Jolly Ranchers I have to just uh, unwrap some Jolly Ranchers Boop -a -boop. Okay, now it's time to melt these bad boys. I need a straw. Whoa! I didn't even see smoke. What's coming out of this? Oh, this is a false alarm. Nothing's on fire. I'm sorry. Why does this always happen? I melted Jolly Ranchers. I didn't know. Thanks, Kyle. Let's see if it'll work. It's not working. I don't think I got it hot enough, Captain. I have to keep going. Okay, try it again. Different straw. What am I doing wrong? Okay, come on, baby. Oh my gosh, it works. It worked for a second. No! Oh my goodness. This is awesome. Guys, it's actually working. It works for like a second and then it stops really quick. Oh. 
<gasps> that one worked really well. That one, I'm really happy with this one. Look how many I got. I got a lot. Look how many. It just, it just kept coming out. Dude, that's awesome! But how does it taste? Yep. Oh, tastes like pure sugar. Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. Okay, so apparently if you blow up a balloon and then pop it, it'll push you backwards if you're in a wheelie chair. Excuse me, ma'am, I don't think that that's how physics works. My guess is that this one is not gonna work, but I guess we'll try it for the sake of the craft. Uh, get out of here, milk crate. Here we go. Oh. 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 Oh, I got the balloons. I got the balloons. Whoa, light stripes, nice. Can you tell I'm filming in front of a window? Uh, go ahead and blow up two, okay? If it doesn't work with two, we're out of luck. Here we go. Grab our thumbtack. Hey guys, this should do it. I'm getting ready to be launched into space. Okay, you ready? In three, two, one. Nothing happened. Okay, I didn't even move an inch. Here we go, we'll try it again. You ready? Three, two, one. Oh, oh my nipple. Actually hurt my nipples. So guys, I guess I would have to say that this one doesn't work. Guys, this whole thing gave me an idea. Okay, so I actually got these weather balloons. Uh, they get really big, like seven feet in diameter. So I'm just thinking, we go big or we go home. Ugh, trusty leaf blower. Oh, there we go. This might take a minute. Okay, this thing is officially uh, bigger than I am. <laughs> oh God, try to shut. If this doesn't work, I don't know what will. That was so loud. I think I popped it on my ceiling. <gasps> Gotta do that all over again. A few moments later. Oh, okay, we're gonna try this again. I got a screw here. Hopefully this will move me, okay? Three, two, one. I didn't move at all. Oh, I'm definitely gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Another fun thing you can do though is if you have a leaf blower, I wonder if this works. Dizzy. Okay, let's try the next, let's try the next hack. Let's break out the rubber gloves. So apparently you can blow bubbles, and if you have rubber gloves on, you can just bounce them. Wow! It works! But I'll be the judge of that. Are these actually rubber gloves? What kind of gloves are they? They don't really specify. I think they're just gloves. Hmm, interesting. Oh, you guys are probably asking, Robbie, what are you gonna do with this pan? Well, I'm gonna show you. Get some dish soap. Yeah! A little bit of water. Mix, mix, mix! Wow! It's so soapy. Now we need one of those things to actually make the bubbles. I saw a life hack once where you could just use a zip tie. Oh, that should be big enough. Here we go. Yeah. We can't really see it very well, but it's a circle. And if all goes according to plan, we can just dip it right in here. It's working. You guys ready? Oh. A single bubble. I think I'm gonna try smaller. I haven't like blown bubbles since I was a little kid, I'm pretty sure. Whoa, that's a big one. Do I really need a pot for this? I'm gonna go to the giant Easter egg. I know it sounds like I'm peeing in it, but I'm not peeing in it, I swear. Oh. Woo! I forgot how much fun bubbles were. Bubbles, bubbles. Whoa. Okay guys, so now it's time. For rubber glove. <laughs> hey, all right? <gasps> oh, no. No, it's popping instantly. Okay. Do I have to put my hand in in the soapy water? Maybe that's it. I want it the bubble. No bubble friend. Ah! Oh, okay. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. But at least we had fun playing with bubbles. Okay guys, now it's everyone's favorite part of the video where we make the thumbnail!
Okay, so this video actually didn't have any instructions on how to make Orbeez into a giant gummy bear. I found this giant gummy bear at the store, so uh, I guess it'll have to do. Oops. This bad boy up. There we go. That's a big guy. <laughs> it's a giant gummy bear. Wow. I am impressed. Hey, here we go. Too short for the green screen for some reason? Do you ever feel too short for your green screen? I need to change my shirt. Don't look at me, I'm naked. You weird beast. There we go. That is much better. Okay, and uh... Yeah, that ought to do it. Okay, but I gotta know. Does it taste any good? Okay. <laughs> anyway. Sorry! Breaking my heart! Ow! Oh, this poor llama. Hey, that's how you do it? My name is Robbie. This is my craft corner. And in case you guys didn't know, it's getting pretty close to Valentine's Day. So I figured I would try some Valentine's Day hacks from a little channel called Blossom. I'm not gonna lie, I actually already did this video before. If you guys wanna go check it out, you, uh, you can do it right here. But this time, I'm gonna supersize everything. It's gonna be great, and uh, Tori's gonna love it because I'm giving her all these fun presents uh, this year. So yeah, I'm just gonna shower her in Valentine's Day presents. It's gonna be great. Let's see what the first Valentine's present is. Do you wanna know how to make this really cool flower? letter? I made this one a little while ago, but I want to make Tori's entire name. So, uh, let, I'm gonna show you guys how you do that really quick. All you gotta do is get some cardboard, cut out the letter that you want, then you glue the side walls of the cardboard onto it. This one's tricky, be really careful. Then you add a little bit of foam, then you gotta pre-make a bunch of holes. And then you just stick your flowers right in there. And when you're done, you should get something like this. That's beautiful. Oh, they even painted theirs. <gasps> oh, I should paint mine. Ooh, that's a good idea. Nice touch. I I think I'm gonna do that as well. Anyway, let's go make Tori's name. Okay, so here's our cardboard. Now I have to somehow make this into a T. Break out our box cutter. Okay, this is a good start. I'll fold this in half, glue this to kind of reinforce it a little bit. Boopity boop. Oh, I glue it to my table. So much extra glue. Let me glue this one on. I think Tori's T might be a little short now. Uh, maybe like right here. Yeah. I glue that part on. Not bad. Now I have to just cut all the outlines for the T and glue it on. Boopity boop. I'm gonna try and use thumbtacks to keep it from moving. There we go. There we go. Oh, okay, the T is done. Now I don't really have a lot of foam that I can use, but I do have a lot of pool noodles. So I think, uh, you know, it fits. Why not? Cut this bad boy in half. Boop. There we go. Okay, there we go. Go it in. And looks pretty good. And we just go ahead and poke a bunch of holes in this guy. And now it's time to spray paint it. Boopity boop. I went ahead and tested a few different colors to see which one I think I wanted. And I think I'm gonna go with red for this one. And then I'm gonna do a couple different colors for the other parts of her name. Anyway, let's start painting. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Pretty good. Okay, it's all painted. Now it's time to add the flowers. Oop. This is gonna take a little while. Okay, now all I have to do is uh, uh, make all the other ones. <laughs> oh man. Okay, here we go. Okay, we are all done. I think these turned out pretty good, actually. Like overall, uh, I think I did a good job with the color palette. These are all Tori's favorite colors, so uh, that's cool. Now let's go hang them up on her wall and see how she likes it. Okay, now it's time to hang these guys up. I think right here will do perfect. Wow, that actually looks really good. I'm I'm pretty proud of that. Okay, let's show Tori. Oh, Tori Dabransky. Okay, you ready for your first Valentine's Day present? Ready. This better be good. You ready? Now, look up. <gasps> oh, it's so cute. You like it? Oh, it's so cute. I like it. I wish you would have centered it a little bit, but I like it. Very cute. Uh, oh, I guess it is a little bit off center. <laughs> I like it. Good job. Good job. You should make one and then we could put these in our room. I thought I thought about it, but uh, honestly, that just... <sighs> these took like a whole day to make, basically. I spent all day on these, so maybe maybe next time I'll make my name. Maybe next time. So you like it? Yes, I like it. I wanted to drink my drink annoyingly. <laughs> 
I like it, it looks very cute. Well guys, I guess we're gonna say that's Tori approved. I like it. <laughs> Oops, okay, uh, okay, I'll do the next one. Thanks. I'm sorry. First you get a pan, put some brown sugar in it, get a photo frame, make the outline, maybe put some candy in there, multiple chocolate, and then hide a gift card. Then you freeze it, and boom, bam, you got yourself a gift card chocolate thing. Yeah, this one's cool, let's do it. But we're gonna do it Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is break out our portable stove. Plug this guy in, looks good. Go ahead and grab our pot. Start melting some chocolate. Ugh. Boop, boop. I'm just gonna do the whole freaking thing. Boop, boop. Oh, I could do it in the shape of a heart. Oh, yes. Wait for this to melt. Now while that's doing its thing, I'm gonna go ahead and break out a plate and some brown sugar. Will this fit? Ooh, that's cutting it. That's cutting it kind of close. Uh, what else can I use? I need to hurry up and think. Ooh, this box. Yes, that will fit. I'm gonna go ahead and put some saran wrap on it because I don't know where this box has been. There we go. You know what? Maybe saran wrap wasn't the best idea. Screw it, we're just gonna dump all the brown sugar right in there. It's just like sand. Ugh, it's sticking on me like sand too. There we go. Oh, this is, this is perfect. Okay, then we go ahead and get our heart. Just kinda press it down in there. This is a lot harder than it looks actually. Oh my gosh, I think my chocolate's burning. I might have underestimated how hard it is to pack down brown sugar. What if I did this? Just grab my random piece of wood. Oh yes, it's perfect. Just shove that in there. And fill it all back in. Just make sure to really just pack that sand in. Okay, now carefully pull it out. Whoo! There we go. Okay, then we go ahead and add our chocolate. This is very melted. Mmm, it looks so yummy. Mmm, just carefully pour that in. Oh, frickin' no. I don't think I'm gonna have enough. It's gonna be so thin. You know what, I think I'm gonna add a layer of white chocolate as well. Okay, it didn't really turn out white because I mixed it with <laughs> the chocolate that was in here before because I didn't clean out the pot. But you know what, Tori doesn't really like white chocolate anyway, so if I mix it, I'm sure it'll be fine. <gasps> oh, I have to add the gift cards. Lightly place that in there. Boop. I hope this doesn't melt the gift card. That would be bad. Now we're gonna add our candy. I'm just gonna go ahead and use uh, sour Skittles. I don't really put, wanna put my hand in this because it's so hot. So I guess they're just gonna kinda just go in how they're going in. I feel like M&Ms would have been a better choice for this. Wait, I think I have M&Ms. I'm using m and Oh my gosh, why didn't I think of this before? <gasps> they're even Valentine's Day themed. <laughs> well, Tori, some are gonna be M&Ms and sour, some are gonna be sour Skittles. It's gonna be a guessing game, but that's what makes it fun. Let's bring a little bit of this. <laughs> Just cover the entire thing in M&Ms. I was only supposed to do a couple, but you know what? Go big or go home, okay? Okay, now to just let this bad boy cool down and uh, we'll give it to Tori. Okay, and after about two hours in the freezer, it should be cooled down enough for me to take it out. Ugh, I really hope it is. Cause this will be really awkward if it's not. Ugh. Come on. I'm trying really hard not to break it. Whoa. I just carefully take off all the brown sugar. <laughs> Oh no, I'm gonna use this butter knife to kind of help chip some of this extra sugar off. It doesn't really want to come off easy. Okay, so they actually used a brush to help brush all the brown sugar off, so I think I'm gonna try the same thing. I mean, I think I like the knife method better. Oh, I've been doing this for five minutes. I haven't hit chocolate yet. Okay, so after about 20 minutes of work, we're finally done. I couldn't get all the brown sugar off, but I kind of like how it makes a little border and uh, you can kind of see the different chocolates and also uh, the brown sugar on the back. I don't know. I think it kind of looks legit. Now I'm just gonna put it in kind of like a clear bag. Perfect. Maybe wrap it up with some ribbon. And I'm gonna go ahead and cut the excess off because I don't think it looks very good personally. And there we go, a giant chocolate heart with a special surprise inside. Let's go give it to Tori. Oh, Tori Dabransky. Hi. I made you this. What is it? It's a giant chocolate heart. That's fun. Dude, this is heavy. You could probably like someone with it. I think that's about 10 pounds worth of chocolate. It's almost weighs as much as Thomas does. <laughs> There's something you hidden inside of it? it. You have to break it in half. You want me to break your heart? Break my heart. Are you sure that's not the bad? Break it. 
Take that heart. I don't know how I'm gonna break them. Do I have tools? Oh wow. Oh, she has tools. Can you hold it? Like, just beat it with a bat. Ah, this is so scary. D please don't hit my hand. I won't. Oh this god. Is so hard. Ah. Oh, oh, I'm making progress. <laughs> this is so violent. Thank you. You have to hit it with the bat. Oh my god, you're destroying my heart. Get it? There it is. Oh, what is it? Open it up. Wow, a Starbucks gift card. Take that chocolate. I'll try the chocolate. Like this? Not bad. Do you like your gift? I like it. Very fun activity. You did a good job. Thanks, good girl. Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. I'm glad you like it. But great. I had a great time. Have fun with your giant chocolate heart. I'll see you later. Bye. Oh, yes. This is one of my favorite hacks ever, actually. So what you're going to want is a bottle. Then you get a bunch of Ferrero Rochers and just start gluing them onto the bottle. Oh, so many. So many Ferrero Rochers. Then you put a little green wrapping paper on there. Maybe a little ribbon to help accent it. Ooh. Looks great. I love it. Oh, pineapple Ferrero Rocher. This one's honestly a masterpiece, and I can't wait for you guys to see what I'm about to do to outdo myself last year. Anyway, uh, let's go. Okay, so they actually don't sell giant Martinelli bottles. So I'm just gonna have to use this Coke bottle that I got uh, for that one video where I did the giant Mentos and Coke experiment. It's kind of the same shape as a Martinelli's bottle, so I guess it's just gonna have to work. And this time, we're gonna be using a lot more Ferrero Rochers. I'm guessing it's gonna be around two or three hundred. Uh, these chocolates are so expensive. Oh, anyway. Then we break out our glue gun, load it up. Here we go. Boobity boop. And we stick it right on, just like that. And then the next one. And the next one. Okay, cool. Now I just have to uh, do the entire bottle. <laughs> what? I just really like time lapses, okay? Okay, now that we got this bad boy all done, it's time to add the top part of the pineapple. Boop -boop. So I think that they just kind of like wrapped it around like this. Wow, this looks pretty cool already. <laughs> there we go. I'm not gonna lie, I burned myself like four times during this and uh, now I'm kind of scared of hot glue. But it's not a Robbie video unless I burn myself. Wow, this dried so fast. Okay, we just do that and cut the shape of the leaves. Boop -boop -boop. I think I need more paper. can't really see it, but I'm adding leaves and they're turning out okay, but I don't know. I feel like I just need a bunch, but pineapples don't really have that much. Jeez, I've been doing this for eight minutes. Woo. Okay, and this is what it looks like now that it's done. This is a big pineapple. This is a giant freaking pineapple. Oh my God. Get back in there. The little balls keep falling out, so I have to glue them back in. And the last thing we gotta do is add the ribbon. There we go, this ought to do. That's bad boy around there. And there we go! Oh, this looks pretty awesome to me. I definitely think I outdid myself from last year. Balls just keep falling off. Okay, now to give this bad boy to Tori. Okay, Tori, are you ready for your final gift? I've been expecting you. <gasps> Yeah? Yeah? I'm in awe. Do you like Dude. your giant pineapple? I'm gonna, I'm gonna cry right now. Yeah? I'm gonna cry out of pure happiness. What's in it? Nothing. I, I didn't wanna, it? I didn't, it, it's my Coke bottle. I couldn't find a wine bottle this big, so you get a giant Coke bottle instead. I love it. Me too. Centerpiece it. Yeah? I'm just gonna stare at it. Also, these guys like to fall off. Uh, oh God, I'm gonna set the left hand. Oh, oh. Thank you, pineapple. Oh my <laughs> god. Dude, 
killed it this year. Is this the best Valentine's uh, ever <laughs> in my life? Um, 23 years of it. I I'm, I feel bad because I don't even know any other words but just to stare in awe of it. Wow, <laughs> it's like bigger than you are. <laughs> I love it. How many of them are there? I don't even want to count. I think it's like two or three hundred. These better not all be gone by tomorrow, Tori. <laughs> give me like a week. I got it. This is dangerous, Bobby. You can't give me things like this. <laughs> 11 out of 10 Tories. What? Happy Valentine's Day, kids, girl. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you for all your gifts. I'm sorry I didn't get you anything. <laughs> wow. You know, Valentine's Day is wait, technically wait. for another I got few it. days. What? Hold up your hand. Are you going to give me my own gift? I will never. There you go. Happy What's she going to give me? Happy Valentine's Day. Wow. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, she gave me a kiss. Thank you so much. No Bob. I love you. Love you too. Thank you. Well, guys, I guess we're going to have to say that this one works. It's not really Valentine's Day unless you got some flowers. First, you're going to want to get some construction paper, fold it just like this. Then you cut a bunch of little slits up to a certain line. Then you unfold it, glue it to itself just like this. Make a couple of them. And then you get a stem or I think that's a straw. Yeah, it's a straw. And then you tape it right on there. Woo, what a pretty flower. Paper flowers. Oh, beautiful. OK, so it looks like the first step is to get some paper. Then you get a flat edge, make a line where you want it to stop. Boop. Oh, that is not straight. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get my box cutter and then we just start making uh, the lines straight down. Okay, after we get these all separated, we go ahead and get ourselves a stem. Now I got this chocolate rose and it has a stem on it. So uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and break that off. Oh, screw it. There we go. Then we just fold this in half. Wait, I was supposed to fold it in half before I cut it. Oh my gosh. I feel like I just made it a lot harder for myself. Let me grab our stem. Go ahead and tape it on. Just roll, roll, roll. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Oh my gosh. Oh, it fell off. Ugh. I'll deal with the stem later. I think I was actually supposed to glue it, but instead of gluing it, I'm just gonna use double-sided tape. Boop. Okay, I'm gonna try this again. I think that should do it. I really believe in it this time. What have I done? Why doesn't mine look like theirs? What did I do wrong? I think the stem might be a little small. Well guys, I'm gonna have to say, this one uh, kinda works. I don't know if I really wanna give this one to Tori. Uh, I thought this one's gonna turn out cooler, but it really didn't, so. I'm gonna have to say that this one kinda works, but not really. Maybe it would've worked better if I didn't use giant construction paper. <laughs> So for this one, you're gonna need a bunch of saran wrap. Then you just take your little uh, stuffed animal or whatever and just wrap it all inside of it. Just keep going and going until you use all the saran wrap. Keep putting little presents, then you got yourself a saran wrap ball. Put a little bow tie on it. Give it to your, your person. Give it to her. She'll love it. Or they will love it. Aww, how cute. Okay guys, let's try it. So the first thing we're gonna need is some cling wrap. And a boo -ba boo yeah, that ought to do it. Okay, perfect. Now that we have our cling wrap, pull it out and get our stuffed animal. I chose a llama for Tori because uh, I feel like she would like his emo hairstyle. Yeah, good choice. I think so. So now I have to somehow get him into a, a ball form, maybe. Oh God, I feel. Oh, this is scary. Oh, I don't know if I like this. <laughs> oh no, llama's a contortionist. Oh, gotta take the price tag off. Oh, don't need that anymore. Come on, get into a ball, please. Oh. Oh. I just ripped it. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Oh God, this is gonna take a little longer than I thought. <laughs> oh, this poor llama. Oh. I'm just gonna keep compacting it oh. until oh. it gets into a small ball shape. Then we're gonna go ahead and get some Valentine's Day candy and just start wrapping it up in there. Yes, just little handfuls at a time. Oh, and they just fell out. Boop. Keep going. 
and going, and going, and going, and going, and going. Oh, yeah, and I think uh, that ought to do it. Do I have a bow? Okay, now to slap a bow on it and give this bad boy to Tori. Okay, Tori Bratsky, here's another gift for you. Whoa! Happy, oh, oh. sorry. Happy Valentine's Day. The, the bow won't stay on. There you go. Oh, so fun. Oh my goodness, you should make this for the bed. He would love this. Do I just unwrap it? Yes. Oh my, I love this. Swing <laughs> it around. Viciously. Oh god. No. Oh my god. Tori. So much candy. Oh my gosh. So much candy is everywhere. Tori. What are you doing? I'm just playing. You don't want to do that. Candy's getting everywhere. But then it goes so much faster. Look, we're like already done. There's a thing. What is it? What is it? What is it? What? Oh my god, it looks like a little emo llama. I knew you'd like it because it's emo. <laughs> it oh, I know like you. An emo llama. You guys have matching hair. We're so sad. Don't be sad. It's okay. Cheer up, little llama. And little, I like. Uh, and Tori Nebraska. I like his little hair. He looks like a little emo llama. His neck's a little wonky. <laughs> yeah, he uh, was in a bit but, of a, you know. Uh, we just have to break it the other way a little bit. Wow, this is so much fun. There's, I have so much candy everywhere now. Well, have fun cleaning that up. I'll see you later. Goodbye, I hope you like the present. I like it. Away! <laughs> well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. Time to eat some more candy. Time for everyone's favorite part of the video, where we <laughs> hit the thumbnail! Woo! Hold on the green screen. This is gonna be, uh, this, is a, this is a pretty crazy one. So I'm not really recreating it as much as I'm just kind of holding it. Oh no! I have a green screen and I have green in the in the thing. Oh man, I don't know how well this is gonna work. Okay. Anyway, we'll try it. Yeah, that ought to do it. Oh my gosh! Ah! Now that I have nothing to get in my way. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. This is my craft corner, and today we're gonna be trying some fun hacks using 3D pens. My little channel we all know and love called Five Minute Crafts. Okay, let's see what the first one is. So you've just been sitting in your bed using your phone, but you have no place to put it. Where the heck are you supposed to put this thing? You got no side table? What are you gonna do? Just go ahead and craft yourself a phone holder. Just get your 3D pen, make some lines like this, reinforce it a little bit, and once you got the general shape, you go ahead and make the rest of it. You make yourself a box. A lot of people are gonna be telling you to think outside the box. I'm telling you to be the box, you know? Just make yourself a box. Perfect, you got yourself a little phone holder. You just have to make sure to leave a little spot for where your cord goes. This will be fun. Can't wait to have myself a fun little phone holder. Okay, so I don't really have a lot of experience with 3D pens. Uh, this is actually the first time I'm really using one. This brown stuff, I swear it is chocolate. It is not, um, uh... <laughs> Anyway, sorry, that's the, I should really wash my hands. Okay, that's better. Um, anyway, I don't really want to go and just put a bunch of 3D pen stuff all over my phone and then it end up melting my phone screen. That doesn't sound very fun. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to do a general outline. There we go. Because I don't think uh, it really has to be like 100% accurate. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna uh, I'm just gonna use this parchment paper as as the an outline for how big I need it to be. And I'm gonna go ahead and thumbtack it down so that it stays flat. Boop boop. This is the only real way I've found that parchment paper stays flat. Uh, I've tried tape and it just doesn't work very well. So thumbtacks, uh, thumbtacks gotta do. Uh, we got the general shape. We're gonna go ahead and break out our 3D pen. And I'm hoping I use this correctly. It says it fell asleep. What does that mean? I guess I have to wait for it to heat up. Oh, I can already tell this is gonna be annoying. Okay, here we go. It's doing a thing. It's doing a thing. <gasps> and it stopped. That's all I get. That's all I get. Oh no. This is going to be a long process. Process. I can already tell. It just doesn't want to go straight. If I do it on wood, does it does it stay straight? We'll try it on my phone, okay? Five minute crafts has never let me down before. It has to heat up. Oh. I also bought a second 3D pen. Uh, that way, while well, one is heating up, I'll just use the other one, and you know, vice versa. Apparently, I can put it on this uh, clear mat thing. I'm hoping this method works. Yeah, double pen. I feel like half my life, I'm going to be just waiting for these pens to heat up. 
I can already tell that this is going to take forever. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's still uh, pretty flimsy too. Hmm. Oh boy, this is gonna take a while. Okay, okay, peel this bad boy off. That's still very flimsy. I feel like I can break this very easily. I don't know how I feel about this. Well, uh, I guess we'll make the rest of it. Okay, so after um, a quick discovery, I'm starting to think that this clear piece of plastic wasn't to 3D print on because now it is stuck. What have I done? Oh no. Well, gotta start all over. How am I so good at this? <gasps> ah! I found this little finger glove that it comes with so I won't burn myself. <gasps> And I just broke it. Wait, no I did not. We are good. Okay, hopefully uh, this will help us out a little bit. Okay, so I finished the bottom and it is perfectly even with, oh no. <laughs> Well, time to try and uh, put them together, I guess. Okay, so I'm actually gonna put my phone in as a spacer. Oh my gosh. It doesn't really even, uh, I don't even know if this will fit. <laughs> what have I done? Okay, now I gotta make the sidewalls and uh, hope that I can get this to work. Okay, sidewalls are done. I mean, it's not the best case I've ever seen and it's very like flimsy. Like, look at that. <laughs> uh, oh, no, the side just broke off. Guys, overall, I think I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't really work. I don't know what the heck I'm doing wrong. Maybe I just need to practice, but I feel like 3D pen plastic isn't really supposed to hold a lot of weight. And maybe my phone's just really big. But yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't trust this thing to really hold my phone for a long time. Anyway, doesn't work. Okay, so you're out in public and you see a super dirty elevator button. Ew, you don't wanna touch that. A random guy comes up and he's like, Hey, I got the stuff. Sanitizers, masks. Wipes, you name it, we got it, okay? This man's your hookup. This is like how it was at the beginning of quarantine. You guys remember that? Dang, $30 for paper towels? That's not too far off. $90 for masks? Woo, they're really getting you there, aren't they? But you got yourself an even better solution. Just get yourself a glove filled with who the heck knows what and start covering one of the fingers with 3D pen filament. Slip that bad boy on your finger and you got yourself an elevator button presser. Don't need this guy, huh? You know, I think it would be easier just to cut off the fingers of the glove, but this is definitely a more reusable solution, so might as well try it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna need is a glove. Now I'm gonna stuff one of the fingers with paper towels. Boop, boop, boop. Come on, get in there. This really isn't very form-fitting to the finger. Well, it's uh, it's good enough. This looks so weird. Okay, now we just uh, cover this in the 3D pen to make our weird finger protector thing. Boop, boop, boop. It really doesn't like to stick to the glove. How do they do it so easily? So it looks like they started out with an up and down motion like this. Oh no. Why do I suck at this so bad? There we go. Looks good. Now we just gotta do the rest of the finger. This is gonna take a little while. Oh! Ow! Well, it's not a Robbie video unless I burn myself with a 3D pen. That doesn't sound right. Honestly, I could just cut the rest of this off. Boopity boop. Perfect. Now I have nothing to get in my way. It sounded a lot more evil than I than I anticipated it to be. This is taking so long. Okay, and this is uh what we ended up with. It's not the prettiest thing in the world, but I think it'll work. If I really wanted to, I could probably sand this down so that it's nice and smooth, but I feel like that would take a lot of work and uh, uh, eh, effort. <laughs> okay, so now I gotta try and get this out without ripping the glove. <gasps> it just comes right out, perfect. But does my finger fit? Let's find out. And... <gasps> I mean, it doesn't go into the very tip of it, but uh, yeah, you can almost make yourself a finger cast with this. This is pretty cool. And this is solid. I'm actually kind of impressed with this. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. Here's how to make yourself a fancy ball. Okay, so for this one, you're gonna need a balloon and just start wrapping your 3D filament all around it. Just keep going and going and going. Just pop the balloon, slide it right out, and now you got yourself a fancy decorative ball. First things first, we grab our balloon, blow this bad boy up. This is kind of big. <laughs> it's fine. Big balloon. Now we just cover it in 3D pen filament. Boop, boop, boop. 
I really hope this doesn't pop. This is like hot filament. Oh man, I can already tell that this is gonna take a sec. I should have gotten a better 3D pen. So the balloon popped on its own, and uh, this does not hold up its shape very well. I mean, the top part kind of is, but as a whole, not really. So I'm thinking maybe I can blow up a balloon inside of it and uh, keep doing this, and then hopefully it won't pop again. <laughs> I think I might have broken some stuff, but it looks like it's kind of working. Well, don't need this anymore. I guess we just uh, keep going. Oh my gosh. So far, I don't really like this. <laughs> Like, it doesn't seem to be holding up very well in general. But I'm gonna add uh, some more layers and we will see how it turns out. And the second balloon has popped and it is still not very structurally sound. I actually ran out of pink so I started using orange. I mean, it's basically the same color, right? I don't know if I just have a really crappy 3D pen or like, cause I've been doing this for over an hour and like, it's just not turning out very well. So yeah, I'm just gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. It's a thumbs down for me. Here's how you make yourself a fun little rig. Get yourself a marker, just start making outlines of leaves, fill it in a little bit, keep going all the way around your pen, slide it right off, and boom, you got yourself a fancy little rig. Wow! So cool! I can't wait to have myself a fancy ring like this one. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna need is a pen. This looks like it's about the size of my finger. Uh, it should fit, right? I mean, hopefully. Now I gotta try and make the leaves. Let's see. I mean, it's kind of a leaf. Look, I'm not that great at drawing, okay? I can barely even draw in 2D, let alone 3D. Come on. I think I'm gonna start off with the stem, then I'll add the leaves a little bit later. I'm trying to think maybe I should have chose a different color. It's because you can't really see it on the black part of this pen. Okay, I did the vine. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do the leaves. I'm gonna use green filament for the leaves just to make it stick out a little bit, I think. Ah! I hate how this gets tangled. Not gonna lie, this is my introduction to 3D pens, and I'm not a very big fan so far. Like, what even, what is going on with it? It just doesn't want to do the thing. Yeah, that looks just like a leaf. Can I take this off? Oh god, I just broke that off. Now it's going back on the, the pen. I'm gonna try and remake this leaf. Yeah, I guess that looks a little bit more like a leaf. Yikes. Okay, and uh, yeah, so we made all of our uh, leaf shapes. I mean, it doesn't look very good, but it'll have to do. Now I gotta try and slide it off without damaging it, which I think I already did. Oh no. And all the leaves fell off. Oh no, that's not good. But will it fit on my finger? <sighs> what? Oh, another leaf broke off. Wow, it's beautiful. I love it. <laughs> What a great the 3D pen ring. Oh, the details that you can really achieve with these things. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. Oh gosh, oh no. It's very weak though. Are you tired of the ear straps over your mask hurting your ears? Oh, they're so sore. Well, here's an easy solution. All you gotta do is make yourself an S-hook out of 3D filament, pull it right up, and use it to connect your ear straps. Slide it right over your neck, and boom, problem solved. This one seems pretty handy. Let's try it out. Okay, so S-hook, this is gonna be pretty easy, so we just gotta make an S. I'm gonna make an outline with this pen, just to, you know, really make sure that I get it. S. How hard could this be? Am I right? Yeah. Okay, pull this guy up. I'm gonna reinforce it just a little bit. There we have it, we got ourselves an S hook. Let's try it to see if it works. Okay, S hook, mask. Now we're just going to put the S hook right on the mask like that. Put it over our face. We're gonna connect it right there. Wow! Yeah. It looks like it's actually working. It's holding to my face and it's not on my ears, so that's handy. Hey guys, I guess we were gonna have to say that this one works. Okay, so you're in the middle of getting ready for work, school, whatever the heck it is you do. Boom! You break your freaking comb! All the bristles are gone! You just use this thing to the bone. Just get yourself an outline of a comb, start filling it in, and make yourself a new one! We are here for crafty solutions! Don't have a comb? Just 3D print yourself a new one! That easy, gosh! If you really want to go crazy, you can decorate it too. I don't know if I want to go that far. 
I just want to know if this would be a real utility you can use. That should be the goal for this one. Well, let's find out. Okay, so the first thing we got to do is find a comb outline. Perfect. Went ahead and printed it out with my crummy printer. And we're going to go ahead and print it out in real life with my crappy 3D pen printer. It loves to go to sleep after 30 seconds. Yay. Okay, now we just got to fill this guy in. Let's hope uh, this goes smoothly. Okay, we're all done printing it out. Now try and take it off the paper. Please don't break. Please don't break. Ugh. Maybe I shouldn't have used paper. I'm not really sure what kind of surface I'm supposed to use uh, with this 3D pen. I guess if I was a little bit smarter, I would have Googled it and, you know, came into this a lot more prepared, but I guess it doesn't look bad for, like, my first try making a comb. Now let's try it. Whew. Okay, let's hope this doesn't get stuck in my hair. Is ready for this? Oh, I already broke it. Ah, ouch. I mean, it's working for all intents and purposes. Okay, I'm just gonna break this part off. Oh, got some hair. I think it's kind of because some of the 3D pen is pretty scraggly and it really likes to hold on to your hair. But I mean, it's kind of working. We have this much of the comb left. Ugh, don't need that anymore. Ugh, look at all that hair that it took out. <laughs> well, guys, I guess we could say that this guy actually works. Here's a fun little trick. All you gotta do is get a random object, put it on your phone screen, and then you can outline it. How fun! Wow, you can literally make anything with this 3D pen. You can make a ladybug, you can make a leaf. Wow! How cute! Put the ladybug on the leaf, maybe add a straw. What are they gonna do with the straw? I don't know. Oh, they made it into a little earring. That's fun. I like it. Yeah, I'm down to see if this one will work. Okay, so for this one, we're gonna have to find images for whatever we're gonna try and make. So I'm gonna look up a uh, pizza. Pizza. Yeah, this ought to work. Okay. I'm just hoping that this isn't too advanced for me. Okay, this one looks good. Okay, yeah, I'll do this one. Okay, now that we have our image, we just uh, use a 3D pen and hopefully it doesn't mess up my screen. Okay, I'm going to start off with the uh, general shape. Here we go. Please don't break my phone. This is definitely proving to be a lot harder than I thought. The screen keeps moving. Let me do the crust. Now we do the cheese. I feel like I, I, I can do this on paper pretty easily. So I think I'm gonna switch to paper for a little bit. But you can't see the yellow on this yellow background. So it looks like we're switching to white. No, I broke it. I'll just uh, continue doing the, the, the cheese and then I'll fix this later, I guess. So now that we did the cheese, uh, we're gonna fill in the crust. Okay, now we just add the little pepperonis. Okay, and uh, it looks kind of similar. Yeah, I did an okay job, I'd say. Now it's time to try and uh, take it off the paper. Hopefully it actually comes off. Oh my gosh, I hope I don't break this. <gasps> it's coming off, it's working, it's working. <gasps> yes, I did it! I now have a little pizza! Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. It turned out pretty cool too, like uh, not bad. Pretty good for my first try, I think. Awesome, totally works. Oh wait, we already have a problem. <gasps> it looks kinda sharp, not bad. Now let's try and cut something with it. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and today we're gonna be trying hacks for the video. 37 genius hacks to make your life easier by 5 Minute Crafts. Crafts, 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 crafts. Bring on the crafts. So here are some fun life hacks that will be useful for you in prison. Here's how to make yourself a DIY knife. Okay, so first thing you want to do is get a candle, light that bad boy on fire, get your toothbrush, melt down the toothbrush a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Flatten it out using a bottle, and then you use your cell walls to help sharpen it. Boom, you got yourself a knife to help you cut your tomatoes. In prison? Why would you... Why would you need to cut tomatoes in prison? Well, I guess we have to try it now. Okay, let's do it. The first thing we're gonna need is my trusty toothbrush. Oh, there it is. Robbie's trusty toothbrush. We've been through so much together, haven't we? Scrub it, scrub, scrub, scrub. This is disgusting. Never underestimate the power of your toothbrush. Cleaning it, I think it's cleaning it. Oh yeah, my teeth feel so much cleaner now. And I still use it every day. Now that we have our toothbrush, I need something that'll heat this guy up. I'm gonna need some firepower. This blowtorch should do the trick. Ooh, fire. 
I'm also gonna need a bottle of some sort. Boobity boop. Yeah, this one ought to do. Okay, now that we have all the things we need, it's time to heat up this toothbrush. <gasps> oh god, it's on fire. Now, we flatten it using this guy. Oh no. I mean, they technically used a candle. So I can see how this would be a little too much for this. I'm gonna go ahead and use this barbecue lighter instead. Just a slow, slow heating of this <laughs> toothbrush. Man, I really hope I don't mess up my favorite toothbrush. That would be really unfortunate. Fun fact, I haven't gotten a new toothbrush in six years. It doesn't want to like flatten. This is taking longer than I thought. It's getting ever so slightly flatter every time I do it. Oh God, I think this might take a little while. I have an idea. I'm gonna try using my hammer and anvil. Uh, not this little guy though. I'm gonna use this guy right here. <laughs> oh, safety first. Oh, that's better. Smells like burned plastic in here. But yeah, I would definitely say that that looks a lot more flat. That's good. Now we have to go ahead and grind this guy until it's sharp. And after about 15 minutes, uh, it, it, it looks kind of sharp. Not bad. Now let's try and cut something with it. First thing we're gonna try is paper. Uh, it's not working very well. Yeah, I'm gonna have to say that I'm gonna have to put a lot more work into this if I actually want this to cut something. But for practicality use, I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't really work. Man, I was really hoping to improve my favorite toothbrush. Now the handle's just gonna be sharp whenever I hold it. That's no fun. Do you just have no place to put your toothbrush in your bathroom? Well, just hot glue a magnet right on the back of your toothbrush. You don't even need a magnetic strip, it's metal. Why would you need a magnetic strip? I feel like this one will work. So unfortunately, the only magnet I really have is this one. It's a giant magnet used for magnet fishing. It can hold up to like 120 pounds. It's a pretty big boy, uh, more than sufficient for what we need. But it's the only one I have, so I guess it'll have to do. Am I right? This is gonna be pretty complicated. I don't know if I could actually do it. Maybe attach it right to the back right there. And carefully put the magnet on. Maybe I should put the toothbrush on the magnet. Yeah, looking pretty good. Very solid, very on there. Maybe a little bit more uh, hot glue just to be safe. Yes, now this is what I call perfection. I even have a handle to hold my toothbrush now. I mean, it had a good handle before, but this is way better. Now let's go try this guy, shall we? Oh, wait. We already have a problem. Oh, I guess there's a little bit of metal on the bottom of the of the mirror. Okay. Yeah, that's on there. I'll try it on the part that they said to use. They didn't have a fancy mirror like I do. Oh god, that is that is stuck on there. This is ideal. Hey, wait, what the heck? What the heck are you doing in my spike? I'm sorry, Kyle's toothbrush, I didn't mean it. Now that I think about it, I don't even need this spot anymore. This is all I need. I mean, I can't close the mirror all the way, but do I really need to? Now this is innovation. You can keep the old way of doing things. There we go. Yes. Out with the old, in with the new. Actually, now that I think about it, I could put this toothbrush anywhere that's metal. Nope. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> ah, I didn't like to. Alive. But other than that, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one totally works. Here's how to make a scratching post for your cat. Get yourself a piece of wood, drill a hole for the rope, get an old piece of carpet and some rope. <laughs> Staple the carpet right on your piece of wood. Maybe tie some rope around that bad boy. Tuck it right in there. 
And boom, you got an instant scratching post for your cat. Where, like, where did the carpet go? There's carpet on this one, but there's no carpet on this one. I don't understand. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to try it. Okay, let's see what scrap wood we got. Yeah, that, that, uh, that should do. Okay, now I'm gonna need some rope or string or something. I don't even know where the heck I'd find rope. Just kidding, it's right here. Oh, it's gonna take so long to put this string on this board. And that's exactly why I came up with a plan. Just gonna grab one of these, and also one of these. And then I'm gonna try and attach this to the board. There's a little hole in this bit, so I think I'm gonna try putting a screw through it. This tiny one should do. And a boobity boo. Right there. Just drill this guy right in. It's a little off center. There we go. I feel like I need to put it all the way in. And then just for safety, I'm gonna go ahead and cut uh, this bad boy off as well. <sighs> ah, it just doesn't want to cut. Oh, that was so much more work than I thought it would be. Now I'm gonna go ahead and tape it so that it doesn't move like that. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm just hoping I can still get it on the drill. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get my twine and attach it to this hook right here. So in theory, this next part is gonna be really easy. Cause all I gotta do is get the string, attach it to the board. Okay, here we go. Woo! It's working! Woo! Oh God, I think I'm gonna have to do it a little bit slower. Woo! Oh, the rope broke. That's not good. Oh no. Woo! Okay, I went ahead and actually hung it up, replaced it with some longer rope. Hopefully the rope won't break this time. That is a hot glue mess. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's do this. Oh! Oh gosh, this is so scary. Oh! Oh no! It's starting to spin the other way. Maybe that's good. Build some tension. Oh god, it's actually going up. Oh, the more that I pull it, the higher it goes. Oh god. Oh gosh! Oh my god! It's definitely uh, not very neat. Uh, I feel like it could be a little tighter. But you know, I think this is a good method of doing this. Okay, take all the tape off. Oh, okay. Undo our bit. Oh. Ow, that hurt. It like hit my hand. That hurt. Oh my gosh, can we get a replay really quick? Oh, anyway, don't need uh, that anymore. But we do, however, have to make a bigger hole in this guy. Wow, that was easy. Go ahead and put our rope in to hang it from. Okay, now let's go test this guy out. Oh, Angel. This is our new office cat. We call her Gremlin because she talks a lot. Yeah. Anyway, I got you a present, Angel. Try it out. Do you like it? Come on. You like it? She's sniffing it. She's checking it out. I don't know if she likes it. She's like, what the heck is this thing? Okay, so it seems like she's not too fond of the uh, scratching post right now. But we have a secret weapon, and that's catnip. Oh, she's gonna love this. Rub that in there. Okay, let's go ahead and hang it up. Let's see what she does. Come on, you know you want it. Oh, it's not working. She likes the ground. <laughs> oh, she's just covered in it now. Oh no. Okay, I'll just put it on the ground where it is. You got catnip all over you. <laughs> You're going crazy. Are you not a big fan? You just want to eat this catnip, don't you? I don't think she's a big fan. She's more a fan of handcuffs. Yeah, I've got to say this one doesn't work. Here's how to get yourself out of your handcuffs. Find yourself one of these fancy paper clips and just shove it right inside the hole. Apparently it'll just open right up. I don't know how legit this is, but I guess there's only one real way to find out. Okay guys, so here are our handcuffs. As you can see, they are legit handcuffs. We got a little keyhole, and they won't come undone unless you have the key. Or, you know, if you cut your wrist off, then you could do that. Anyway, can we take this guy off? Now apparently you should be able to just put it into the hole and then turn it. Yeah, that's not working. Nope. Uh, 
Yeah, I, I don't know about this one. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Are you tired of using tape on your posters just for them to rip when you take it off? All you gotta do is tape a paper clip to your wall and put a magnet right over it. Boom, uh, no more rip posters. I feel like in theory this is a good one, uh, but we'll find out. So for this one, I'm gonna need some wall space, which really isn't something that I have. Even my ceiling is covered in posters. I guess that this spot is the only place that's gonna work. Go ahead and grab ourselves some tape. Yes, perfect. Then we grab ourselves some paper clips. Uh, uh, yeah, these ought to do it. So we're gonna go ahead and take these paper clips and just uh, tape them right to the wall. There we go. And then, oh, yeah, it uh, looks good. Go ahead and grab our poster. And I still don't have any other magnets, so I guess my toothbrush is just gonna have to do. <gasps> it's working! Honestly, guys, this is art. You don't need anything else in your life. This is all you need. This is beautiful. I I love it. Now, if I ever need my toothbrush, my poster, or some paper clips, I know exactly where it is. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. Here's how to make yourself a fancy curtain holder. Get two magnets, hot glue those bad boys together, boopity boop, then you spray paint that bad boy, and there you go, you got yourself a fancy Fancy curtain holder. Yeah, well, uh, let's do it. So still, unfortunately, I don't have a lot of extra magnets. So it looks like we're gonna have to just use the one from my toothbrush. And I was thinking instead of another magnet, I could just use something metal. Yeah, I think this, uh, this metal jar lid will work. Ugh. Don't need that anymore. Yeah, those ought to stick together very nicely, actually. But before I make a mess, I'm gonna break out some parchment paper. I definitely don't want this to get everywhere. Oh, that is a that is a clean rip. It's okay, this doesn't have to be perfect. Here we go. Ah, oh, there we go! Now I have to let this cool down for a little bit, otherwise uh, I'm gonna get really burned. Okay guys, time for the moment of truth. I'm pretty sure it's definitely gonna hold it. Here we go. Oh! Ooh, it's working! Wow! Look at that! Look how multi-functional this is! I got my toothbrush right here, and it's holding the curtain up, and uh, how convenient! Well guys, I uh, have to say that this one 100% works. Is it just too hot for you? Just go ahead and open your duvet cover, put a fan right in there, you should be able to climb right in. Wow, instant uh, cooling room. <laughs> That's fun, right? It's like a DIY fort. Minimal effort. <gasps> okay, here's our duvet cover, here's our fan. This is inside out. Oh my gosh, my life is falling apart. Oh. Oh, there we go. Plug this guy in. Ugh. There we go. The engines are ready. Then we just go ahead and get our fan and put it right in there. Oh god, it doesn't, the core doesn't, oh my gosh. I'm gonna turn it off before I actually put it in there. I am having a lot of trouble with this. Okay, now we just turn it on. Oh, it's working! It's working! Oh gosh. No, I plugged it. Yes! Yes! Uh, look at that! Woo! Now how the heck do I get in there? Okay. We're going in. I feel like I need to clean it up against something. I'll do this fridge. Okay. Into the dark hole! Oh my gosh. Get in here! Look at this! Wow! I have my own private fort! Oh, the fan! Just don't knock over the fan. Wow! Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's even better with a California king-size duvet cover. Wow! Just for scale, I'm five foot six, and I can lay completely flat. Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. Okay, out of the gaping hole. So here's how to put a duvet on the easy way. Put your duvet right on your duvet cover. Roll it up from the, the bottom down. Slide it right over your duvet. And then I guess you just unroll it. Could it really be that simple? I guess I've just been doing this wrong my whole life. Whew, okay, now it's time to make the bed. Like I do every morning. <coughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, like, what the heck? Sorry, I didn't mean to be that passive aggressive. As I was saying. Okay, lay out the sheet. Boobity boop. Then we put the duvet cover right over it. 
There we go. Yeah, looks good so far. Let me go ahead and roll this pizza up. At this point, it's gonna be more like a calzone. <laughs> this looks so strange. I guess we uh, put this guy over it like that. They just shoved it right in there. Shoved the whole dang calzone right inside the, the pocket. Okay, oh. now we have to unroll it from the inside. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, we did it! And it was at this point that I realized it's inside out. <laughs> but I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. Would I recommend doing this over another way? Uh, it's pretty much about as difficult as it would otherwise be. So, take it or leave it. Oh, my pepperonis! Okay, here we go! Three, two, one! Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and today we're gonna be trying fun life hacks from the video. 40 awesome life hacks that will save you a fortune by five minute crafts. Now bring on the crafts! Hacking life hacks. Why are they putting shaving cream on a phone? I don't understand. So you don't have packing peanuts? Easy, just use popcorn. Put all your delicate glassware right inside there with the popcorn. I definitely don't see anything going wrong with this one. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna need is a box. Yeah, this lens box should do perfectly. Yeah, don't need this anymore. Nice and empty box. We even got a little bit of extra padding in there, so that's good. Go ahead and pop some popcorn. Uh, two minutes ought to do it. Now the popcorn's done. Go ahead and put our glass in there. Maybe upside down. Yeah, that should help it a little bit. Drop our popcorn right in there. Yes! Looking good! And for good measure, I'm gonna go ahead and tape it shut. Okay, and I think we are all ready. Now let's test this bad boy. This should be a good test. Right down the stairs. Here we go. I don't know if this is fair because it fell on bubble wrap. <laughs> Ironically enough. Uh, maybe if I throw it from the balcony? Okay, here we go! Three, two, one! I didn't hear any breaking! Okay, so I didn't hear anything break when it fell. It looks like it's still in fairly good condition. So I guess we'll just open it up and see uh, if it's still intact. Okay, boys, moment of truth. Here we go. And... Oh, looks good so far. I'm gonna pull it out. It's still in one piece! Wow! This is either one very strong glass, or I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works! Who knew that popcorn could be such a good packing material? And it's biodegradable! Mmm, yummy! Is your iron just super dirty? Oh, How does it even get that bad? Just use toothpaste and clean it off! The aggressive uh, cleaning power of toothpaste, that ought to do it, yeah! But I really want to know what the heck is going on here. I'll treat you. Oh. <laughs> is the battery in your mouse just completely dead? What the heck? It's not working! And you don't even need both batteries! All you gotta do is put one new one sideways. Will this work? I'm not really sure. Who buys Ikea named batteries? They're just like, just go out of my way to get some Ikea batteries here. Okay, let's see if it works. Okay guys, so here's my mouse. I use this mouse every day, and I'm really hoping that this doesn't, you know, break it. I don't think it will, but, you know, there's always the off chance. But you know what? Five minute crafts, they've never let me down before, so I don't see why they would this time. So, okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and put battery in sideways, apparently. And theoretically, this should just work. Here we go. Okay, so so far, it's uh, it's not really working. There's the there's the cursor right there. It's not moving at all. I think I have an idea. I used to do this all the time with my RC cars because I never had enough batteries for them. Just grab a little bit of tin foil like this. There we go. Kind of ball it up. Probably don't even need this much. And you just use it to help it connect. I used to have like triple A's and then it would require uh, double A's so it just wouldn't work before. Oh, it would also help if the mouse was on. <gasps> it's, oh my gosh. What? Oh my, what? Would it have worked before? Oh no, it doesn't work without it. Okay, okay, so here we go. Add the tin foil, put the battery over, just a little bit, there we go. Put the battery cover on. Okay, let's try it again. Okay guys, so it wouldn't work crossways uh, like I had it before, but I made a discovery. If you just put one battery in, look at that, it's moving, it works. And there's only one battery in there. What? Look, I'll even, wow. <laughs> So I guess
guess you do only need one battery. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say it. This one actually kind of works. Wow, I am impressed. Does your ball have a hole in it and it just won't stay inflated? Oh man, all you gotta do is crack open an egg, get a syringe and take out some egg whites. Then put those egg whites right inside your ball. Just fill it back up, boom, your ball's all fixed. Apparently it can clog the holes or something. Wow, I don't know if this will actually work. This is an interesting one. Let's try it. Okay guys, so here's our soccer ball. Oh, this is about to bum me out. Oh, rip. Now we got a nice puncture hole in there. You know, from average use, nothing too crazy here. Let this deflate a little bit. One eternity later. Okay, now we get our egg. Boopity boop. <gasps> no! I didn't mean to do that. Ugh. Why does this happen to me? My room is gonna smell like egg forever now. Yummy. Cool. We will uh, try this again, maybe with an edge of a jar. Yeah, that's a lot better. We go ahead and get our syringe. Suck up the egg yolk. Ugh, I'm trying to get all the air out. There's a lot of air in here. Okay, I think that's about as much egg whites as we're gonna get. Put this off to the side, and we gotta go ahead and put it in this hole. I'm really hoping I don't break this. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, we got it in. Now we insert the egg white. Oh, right, that went in really easy, actually. That's kind of weird. Pull this out. Oh. There we go. Apparently, we just kind of roll it around. I spilled the egg yolk again. Why does this keep happening to me? Anyway, we just keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Ugh, just covered in egg. Yep, so just keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Boop, boop, boop. Oh, you can feel the egg yolk inside of it. Like it's slightly heavier now. Ugh, that's a little weird. <laughs> Okay, now that I got this rolled around a little bit, let's go ahead and pump this baby up. Here we go. Insert this guy. Boop. I don't even know where the hole is in this. Is it there? Where? Oh, it's right here. Here's the hole. And then this is where I gotta put the air. Boop. Let's pump it up. One hour later. Oh, you can definitely hear that coming out. <gasps> I'm gonna put the egg whites face down and hopefully it will get it to stop, you know, coming out. That does not sound good. Oh, it's definitely still coming out. Ooh. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work, which is really unfortunate because I was kind of excited to have a soccer ball. Oh well. Are your sandals just breaking all the time? Oh, I hate these sandals. Let's take an outline of your old one, put it on a yoga mat, make a little outline of the outside just like this, cut them out, tie them together like this. Oh, these are the ugliest sandals I have ever seen. What? Oh, I hate this, I hate this. I definitely don't hate a lot of things, but I can confidently say I very much dislike these sandals. Ugly sandals, sorry. Is your shower head just super clogged? Oh gosh. What did you do to your poor shower head for it to get that rusted. Ugh. Did you like- Did you poop on your shower head? <laughs> That's totally poop. <laughs> <laughs> Just get yourself a Sprite bottle, pour out all the soda, cause who the heck needs that? Get yourself a knife and do a little stabby stab. Oh no, a little murder murder. Tape it right around your faucet. And there you go, you got yourself a brand new shower head. It works perfect. Look how like not good that's coming out. Like that's not, you might as well just have the raw water just hitting you. Like what's even the point? Okay, so here's a scenario. Your friend brings over pizza, but unfortunately it's frozen? Wow, you really pulled through on this one, didn't ya? This girl's like, why am I friends with this person? So you're just gonna go ahead and grab a big old box of pine cones? Do I really have to grab pine cones? Like, are they necessary? Put some blocks in there, slap on your iron, and then put some tin foil. Plug that bad boy in, and heat up your pizza. It works like a charm. I feel like it would start melting those plastic bricks. I think they're plastic bricks. They don't look like ceramic bricks. Mmm, yummy. Oh, <laughs> melty cheese pizza. Looks delicious. We have successfully failed at this one. <laughs> well, let's, let's go try it. Okay, so here's our iron. Go ahead and plug this in. And then I have to somehow set it up so that it stays up by itself. Here we go. Oh, this feels kind of dangerous. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my gosh. Oh no. I went ahead and grabbed a box because they used a box to kind of hold their stuff up. So, so maybe if I grab a box, it will uh, help me hold this stuff up. Boop. Oh, you know what? It's actually kind of working. In the crummiest way possible, it's actually kind of working. I'm running out of random wood bits. I guess uh, this will have to do. Yes. 
<laughs> yeah, good enough. <laughs> go ahead and put some tin foil over it. Yeah, there we go. Clean surface. I like it. Now I'm gonna just uh, slap my frozen pizza on there. Oh, yes. This is gonna be so tasty, I can already tell. They also went ahead and used a hair dryer, so uh, I'm gonna do that too. And hopefully we'll have something that's cooked by the end of this. Oh, my pepperonis! <laughs> oh no! Looks like I have to be a little bit more careful. Stop flying off! Oh my goodness. My poor pepperonis. Okay. I don't know, what am I supposed to do about this? Uh, I'm just gonna put it on low. Oh, this is taking so long, I have to do it on high. Screw the pepperonis. Okay, so after reading the instructions, it says I have to put it in the oven for 25 minutes. I don't wanna sit here for 25 minutes doing this. That's crazy. It's gonna waste so much electricity. I'm running the hair dryer and the freaking flat iron. What the heck? At this point, just throw in the microwave. <laughs> okay, we will continue. We'll do it for the craft. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, I've had I've had enough of this. Let's see how cooked this actually is, shall we? So the cheese is just starting to melt. So that's good. The bottom looks pretty crispy. Kind of warm. That's good. But let's see how it tastes. It's still frozen on the inside. Mmm. Yummy. Well guys, if you're in a pinch and this is really all you have, I, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one kinda works. It's really not great though. <laughs> okay, so picture this. It's a hot, sweat summer day. And you and your friend are just fighting over the fan. Then your other friend comes in and he just strips down. You're like, oh God, Michael! Michael, why? Why do you always do this? You're just blocking yourself from his nudity. But he just goes and puts his pants right on the fan. Michael, it's a hot, sweaty summer's day. Your pants are gonna smell like balls. They don't seem to mind it. Why do they look so happy? Stop it! No! Well, it looks like I gotta freaking try this now. Thanks a lot, Michael. First thing we're gonna do, break out our fan. It's a little bit short, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my stool. Oh, God! Does this thing get higher? Like, does it get taller? It does! Don't even need this stool. Perfect. Then we go ahead and grab some pants and just put them right over our fan. Uh, we have a problem. My pants are too small. I'm too small of a guy. Do I have any sweatpants or anything? I guess not. Oh man, you need some big pants for it to be able to fit over a fan like that. Okay, I'm just gonna start her up. Okay, it's full speed. Doesn't seem to want to work. Oh man, I got it. I'll use duct tape. Tape on my pants, just like this. Yeah, that should do it. Come on. Oh yes, I can feel the cool, cool breeze. Actually, there's there's something coming out of here. You can barely feel it. You got this, pants. You got this. <gasps> there's actually wind blowing out of my leg hole. And this one too. Wow. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one kinda works. I think it would work better if I had bigger pants. But other than that, I think just the oscillating feature will do just fine. Okay, so here's another fan one. Put a little stick in your fan just like this. Hold it together with some elastic ties. Then you get some grapes and tape them straight to your stick. Then have your fan oscillate. So whenever it goes by, you take a grape. Wow, I'm really a, a fan of this one. I don't actually want to do this one. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> You're hanging out and your phone just randomly dies. Oh, don't you hate it when that happens? So you go rummaging through your purse and all you find is your charger cable. So what you do is you take apart a pad, get your car charger, plug that bad boy in, and get a nine volt battery, attach the spring to one of the sides. Apparently, it freaking charges it. What a freaking contraption. I love it. This is peak life hack right here, guys. Peak. Freaking A1 life hack. But does it actually work? We're about to find out. Okay, so here's our battery. Go ahead and take apart our pen so we can get this little spring. Don't need this anymore. Let me grab our car charger. Oh no. It looks like uh, this one's not gonna attach to the spring. Um, <laughs> I didn't think about this one. I'll try the old tin foil trick. Let's go ahead and attach the spring using some tin foil. Maybe, or, okay, another plan. I take the spring apart. Ugh, I didn't really want to do this because I wanted to save my pen. Stretch this out a little bit. There we go. Let me just shove it right in there, maybe. 
It'll fit. Okay, it fits. Yeah, that'll work. We'll just go and plug our cable right into it like that. Attach the spring to one of the sides. Okay, I messed it up a little bit, but that's fine. Okay, then we just have to attach it like this. First, I have to plug it in my phone. Boop. Okay, you ready? And... It charged it! It's working! Slow charging. Okay, so it looks like, uh, <laughs> it doesn't work super great, but it is charging it. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. Okay, so you're eating your soup, and then you realize you're using a fork? What? Why did I grab a fork? So you just take a cup, get some scissors, cut that cup down, and then just stab through the cup. And you got yourself a soup spoon. Beautiful. Peak life hack. I love it. Yeah. Look how content she is. She's just like, yeah, this is how I'm spending my Thursday afternoon. I'm an adult. <sighs> what? You're using your foot to take selfies? Wow, that's so cool. I love it. You should show me how to do that. Here's my sandal. So what you're going to want to do is flip one of those bad boys over. Make an outline of your phone using a pen, sharpie, I don't even know, whatever you want. Cut it out using an X-Acto knife. Slice it up. Then you go and get yourself a little melon baller and just take Take out all the extra stuff. Slide your phone right in there. Now you can use your leg as a selfie stick. What are you guys making me do? Okay, guys, now it's everyone's favorite part of the video where we reboot the thumbnail. Woo! Okay, so the first thing we're gonna need is an iPhone. Then we get our toothpaste. All I have right now is this uh, Disney princess toothpaste, so I guess this will have to do. And then just, you know, kind of position it. Felt like theirs was at a little bit more of an angle, kind of like. Kind of like that. Yeah, that should, that looks about right. Let me fix all these white lights. Well, I could just Photoshop it out later. I think even a little bit lower. Oh, that's a lot better. Okay, this looks about the same angle. We just go ahead and add our toothpaste. And here we go. They have kind of like a little bit of a swirl. So, yeah, that ought to do it. Oh, pizza! Come on. Yes, so we turn it. No, it's not coming off. Oh, it just squirted at me. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. This is my craft corner. And recently, our intern got a promotion. He's now full time. Unpaid, baby. So is this gonna count as a college credit? Uh. <laughs> uh anyway, it was a pretty crazy trip getting here. Let me show you some of the stuff that happened. And it tastes pretty good. Ooh, yummy. <laughs> Surfing? Maybe, I don't know, that's a little scary, isn't it? <laughs> Is this good enough? Jesus Christ, Mike. This is as far as I could go. <laughs> Okay, so the car got stuck. Now I'm walking five miles back to the road to see if anyone can help pull us out of the snow. I'll try a little bit. Yes, yes. Oh. One eternity later. So a dude just randomly pulled up. He's gonna try and pull us out. Oh, 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 come on, come on. Come on. Okay. Woo! <laughs> John, thanks for hooking it up. Dude, thank you so much, John. That's where I've been. That's why I haven't really been uploading videos. Let's get into making some freaking crafts. Okay, so you're just sitting there, chilling, eating your Chinese food. Your friend comes along, brings you a Coke. You're like, yeah, I'll take it. But then you go to open it and you mess up the tab. What the heck? He looks like a Daniel. I'm gonna call him Daniel. So Daniel goes and steals his friend's coat. Wow, Daniel. That's pretty petty of you. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> oh, no! <gasps> Daniel, what's wrong? Daniel, your face. <laughs> oh, Daniel. So Daniel goes and does the exact same thing with the candy stole from his friend. Wow, Daniel. How could you do this? And then your friend's like, I can't believe he did this again. Daniel has a solution. He has to redeem himself. You understand? So Daniel pulls out a chopstick. He's like, where are you gonna put that thing? You'll see what I'm gonna do with it. He's gonna rub it against the can. Yeah, I can. Come on! Boom! It pops open! You don't need no sticking tabs from the Coca-Cola can? You've been right But does this one actually work? Well, we're about to find out. Boo 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 Yeah, that ought to do it. So here's our ice cold refreshing Coca-Cola. Here's our chopstick. But the first thing we gotta do is remove this little tab. Boo 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 Come on. Yes. So we turn it. Just kind of bend it. Oh, shit! <gasps> gonna be harder than I thought. Oh my goodness. I wasn't expecting that. So here's a can with the tab pre-pulled off for us. So now we got that out of the way. Let's go ahead and start rubbing it with our chopstick, I guess. 
Come on, yeah? You like that? Oh! It opened! Woo! Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one 100% works. I love it. Mmm, delicious. So fun fact, this video about how to properly cut a pomegranate open and then putting it into a syringe to get the juice out of it. I actually searched everywhere for a freaking pomegranate and I couldn't find one. I went to six grocery stores. <laughs> They're just out of freaking season, okay? I looked everywhere. I spent all day yesterday looking for a freaking pomegranate and I couldn't do it. So I guess I just can't do this hack. I literally tried, I tried, okay? But this next one, this next one is a doozy. So you're searching around looking for food everywhere and you just don't have any because you're just a broke college student. But luckily, you find yourself some drawer pizza. Wow! I love myself some rock hard drawer pizza. Yeah, chip your freaking tooth on there. Instead of spending money on food, now you're spending money on the dentist. This pizza is pretty hard. You can't even cut it in half. You can use it as a bottle opener. <laughs> Just shoving it again. What is this? Why are you knocking all your stuff down? Are you just frustrated? You can use it as a hammer. Wow. Oh, they got really creative with this one. Anyway, what you're gonna want to do is steal your roommate's glass of water, take her sandwich out of the microwave that she was cooking, chuck it. She doesn't need it. Put the pizza in there with a the glass of water you stole, microwave it for a little bit. Hopefully, some magic will happen. And now you got yourself a nice soft pizza. Ooh, yum yum. You know, guys, I happen to be a pizza connoisseur. In fact, I have one tattooed on my butt right now. That's a story for another day, guys. But I have to have some two day old pizza in my fridge right now. Let's try this one, shall we? Go ahead and grab our leftover pizza. Oh, yes, this is days old. Perfect. Oh, pizza! Oh, 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 that's hard as a rock. Thanks, Toby. That's all I needed. What? You just need me to tell you that the pizza was stale? Yep, thanks a bunch. Now, unfortunately, I don't have any cups laying around, but I do have this wine glass from that last video I did. Go ahead and put our glass in there. Maybe upside down. Yeah. Drop our popcorn right in there. This should be a good test. Yeah, this baby's pretty tough. It still has a bunch of butter from the popcorn all over it, but you know, it'll work. Go ahead and fill it with water. Ooh. Oh, that looks so clean and yummy. Now we just go ahead and put it in the microwave with our pea. Oh. It's too tall. Uh, it's okay, I have an idea. Yeah, this vice should do the trick. Wow, now I just take this wine glass and put it in this little jar I have. There we go, now it can stand straight up. Life hack. Yeah, that ought to do it. Perfect. One minute I do. Guys, I just realized that right below my microwave, I have all these mason jars. I could have just used one of these as a cup. Oh, oh well, you live and learn, I guess. Guys, it's done. Oh, baby. Oh, ho. Ooh, this looks so good. Let's try it. Okay, guys, this is the first official pizza review. So here's our pizza that we microwave with the glass of water. Here's the pizza that we microwave without the glass of water. Well, for one, the one that we microwave with a glass of water, it softened up a little bit, but the one without the glass of water, that has a lot of bounce to it. Look at that. That cheese is almost sagging. The crust, it doesn't feel stale. But with a glass of water, it actually feels a little bit more stale. Not bad. Now for the one without the glass of water. Oh, in the trash. Well guys, I guess I'm having to say that this one freaking works. Mmm, delicious. Okay, so you're just sitting there really just enjoying your corn. And then you wave your friend over because you just got so much corn. But unfortunately, she has braces. Oh, Look at the sheer disappointment in this girl's face. <laughs> your friend's like, what up, little pop chat? I have braces, see? This girl's a victim. Look how crooked her braces are. Honestly, if he was my dentist, he would be fired. So your friend's like, oh, don't cry. Kebab. And you're like, yay. Fruit and cheese. Honestly, I think that sounds better than corn. You're just watching her eating her corn. Corn. In jealousy, you might stab her. That's a good idea. We'll stab her <laughs> with corn. Just kidding. You're gonna put the skewer inside the little corn cob pieces like that, and then pull it out. You can eat corn again. Yay! She is jealous because now she has corn stuck in her teeth. She should have done it this way the whole time. Well, do you guys know what time it is? It's corn time. Now we bring this pot to a boil. Okay, now that's boiling, we break out our corn, and just plop it in there. Ooh, we are getting steamy. Let's off to the side a little bit. Now we just leave it in there for seven minutes. I'll see you when it's done. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. 
Okay, it's been seven minutes, and this is actually the first time I ever made corn on the cob. Strain it out in my sink because, <laughs> you know. Oh, my corn! Oh, it's so hot. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, now apparently we can just grab our corn and grab our skewer, and we just uh, stick the skewer through the corn. Yeah. Oh, that's still so hot. Got this. <gasps> Oh, oh, it's so hot. Okay, no, it's not coming off. Oh, it just squirted at me. Oh, I got it right through all the corn kernels. Now I'm gonna pull out, ready? And this really doesn't wanna work. Ah! I have an idea. What if I put it through the corn kernels, then I get my trusty knife and just cut it off from underneath. Oh, oh my God, guys, it freaking worked! Ugh, I got corn juice all over my camera. Wow. I mean, it took a little bit of finessing, but mmm, delicious. Actually, wouldn't it just be easier to take the kernels off with a knife like this? Look at that. All those kernels just came right off. You don't even need a freaking skewer. All you need is a knife. I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one uh, kind of works, not really. I would give this one a two out of 10 in terms of efficiency, so I'm just gonna go ahead and enjoy my corn. So you are catching up with your friend with the hottest of gossip. So hot. And you're just engulfed in her story, eating your french fries. But little do you know, your hands are completely covered in french fry grease. Oh, That's so gross. Honestly, all you gotta do is wipe it on your pants. Honestly, this is the only life hack you need. Stop watching this video right now. You don't even need any more life hacks. Just wipe your hands on your pants. That's what I would say if you want to gross out your friends. Instead, just grab yourself a straw. Bend that bad boy in half. Boom. Now you got yourself a pair of chopsticks. No more grease. Crazy hands. Guys, I don't know if this one will actually work. It's just so darn risky. <laughs> so you know the chopsticks that we used to open that can of Coke? Yeah, well, we don't actually have those anymore. All we have is this darn dirty straw. How the heck am I supposed to eat these kisses with a straw? Oh! Well, we bend it in half. Oh, wow. These are actually making pretty good chopsticks. If I can actually grab them. Oh my gosh, come on. There we go. Oh, mmm. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. So you find yourself a cupcake. Wait, where is this girl? <gasps> this girl had braces before. Where are your braces? I feel so lied to. One, two, three, go. What do you, what? <laughs> Anyway, she goes to take a big old bite and she gets a frosting all over her nose. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> oh, whoa, she really went hard. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I didn't know it was that kind of video. So here's a life hack, just use a napkin to wipe it off. Imagine if that was actually the life hack. No, 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 that's not the life hack. What you're gonna wanna do is just get your cupcake, rip off the bottom, and now you got yourself a beautiful little cupcake sandwich. Now you don't have to worry about the frosting getting all over your face. Now this one looks delicious. Okay, so here are our cupcakes. I'm gonna go ahead and eat one for uh, science purposes. Apparently, if you go and eat it without making it into a sandwich first, you just get it all over your face. Oh man, my teeth are green. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna try this again. Oh. oh yeah, I can't believe I got it all over my face. They were right. I thought this was candy, but it's actually a ring. Mm, man, this just gets everywhere. So now we're gonna try their method. So we just go and cut it in half, just like that, and pull the, the ring off, and we just make it into a sandwich. Wow! Now that's so much less messy. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. Man, I have so much flashing all over me. <laughs> oh, okay guys, now it's everyone's favorite part of the video where we make out the thumbnail! Okay, good thing I got extra corn. Yeah, this one ought to do. Before we do that, I'm gonna pull down the green screen. Go ahead and put it in my mouth. <laughs> yeah, that ought to do it. Is it gonna hurt? Uh, be really careful. Is it gonna hurt? I would just be careful. I would just, I would just. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and today we have a very special guest with us, and that is Tori Dabransky. Hello, oh God. We're gonna be trying some fun games from the video. Mystery box challenge and other fun TikTok challenges you have to try with friends. That's why I brought friend. Am I just friend? What is this? Wait, am I just friend? What? Is, what? Uh, this is awkward. I gotta go. Okay. Are you ready to play some fun games? I guess. Well, friend. I'm so glad to be your friend and on this fun friend channel. Let's play some good games together, friend. Okay, let's go. Wait, where are we going?
Okay guys, so here are our mystery boxes. And now we're gonna see who goes first. Are you ready, Tori? I'm excited this. Uh, we'll do a classic game, a rock, paper, scissors, even though uh, I'm really bad at that game. You are really bad at that game. Okay, ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot? Yeah. Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! I won! I won for the first time in my life for rock, paper, scissors! Take that. It's okay. It's okay, you win. Good job. Okay, so. What's your prize? Wait, who goes first? <laughs> I guess you, you can choose. Okay. I guess I'm going first. So, so first things first, I gotta put on my blindfold. Oh, don't need that anymore. Okay. Awesome, can I have my hat, please? Thank you. I can't be seen without my hat. Okay, Tori, so you're gonna find a random object in this room, and then you're gonna put it in the box, and then I have to guess what it is. How many rounds are we doing? We'll do four. Okay, I'm ready and was intrigued. Should I show the camera? Do a little, okay. Be good, don't bite them, please. Wait, what? Bite okay. me? Yeah, don't bite them. Tori, I'm afraid! Is it? Oh, it's a, it's a baby! It's a, it's a baby! baby. Oh, oh! I got it! I won this round! Don't hurt my child. <laughs> okay, Tori, it's your turn. Okay, so that was my box. It with your box. Okay, right, Tori Brasky, let's just blindfold you really quick. No, no, God, just, stop, no stop. we need to blindfold you. I'm trying to blindfold you. <laughs> Calm down. Okay, also close your eyes. Oh, they're closed. Oh, I don't said. know if I can trust you. No. Okay, so you sit. You stay right here, okay? okay. Now here's your box. Okay. Oh, stop, stop hitting it. You made okay. me hit it first. Okay, Tori Brasky, here's your object. Hey, Tori. Nope. Here's the box. No, 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 no. Oh my god. Oh, oh, that was dangerous, okay? Is it gonna hurt me? Is it gonna hurt you? Yeah, is it gonna hurt uh, be really careful. Is it gonna hurt me? I would just be careful. I wanna get I would no just, answer. I would just how, how? proceed with caution. That's all I have to say. Okay, I think you're joking. <laughs> <laughs> it's a plant. It's a plant. Okay, you have to guess what kind of plant. Are you playing? Don't pluck it. Don't pluck, don't pluck the plant. Tori, you're gonna hurt the plant. I think it's a fake plant. No. Okay, what kind of plant is it? What kind of fake plant is it? I think it's a fake flower. What kind of flower? You have to guess know. to the T what kind of flower this is. Otherwise, it doesn't count. You didn't guess what type of baby it was. I don't so need to. It was fake a baby. No, you didn't say that. You said a baby, so. What other kind of babies are there? It's a flower. I don't know what type. It's a flower. You have to guess what? What color flower? <laughs> Let me feel the colors. Okay. Okay, I'm honestly, I might be wrong. I'm probably going to be wrong, but I'm getting a yellow flower box. You got it! I you got, got it! it. Yellow. It's yellow! Oh, fuck. Oh. Ooh, I'm, I know my flower colors. Wow! How did I do that? Now it's my turn again! Get <laughs> your phone out. Okay. I'm ready to win another round. Okay. Now let's see. Can I put this thing on right? My hat on right? Oh, it's perfect. How'd you get it so perfect? Perfect. Okay. It's good. Okay. <laughs> Let's get your next object out. Get me the object. Okay, it's ready. <laughs> I feel like it's gonna be you. No, I would never use myself as an object. Tori, you're not an object. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Is this your foot? <laughs> it's my foot. <laughs> oh, it's your foot! It's a sweaty... <laughs> it's a sweaty girl foot! How'd you get it? Well, I guess I got that point. Okay, guys, here's my object. Here we go. Yes. Ooh, I don't know if I want to touch. I need to wash my hands after this. Uh -huh. Stick your hand in the hole. Did you already put it in there? Tori, stick your hand in the hole. Ew, that's so gross. It's... <laughs> what is this? It's bricky. Is this like... <laughs> Tori. What is it? I like how it feels, it's fun. What is it? I don't even know. What do you think it could be? I want to guess laundry lint, but <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think that's the only thing I can think of. It feels gross, but in a kind of nice way. So your guess is laundry lint? Guess what, you got it wrong. Woo! It's cotton candy! Woo! Woo! I got feels. I won this round, Tori Dabransky. You did, I do have to wash my hands after this. Is it gross? So I guess that's a point for me. So we laid out the tape every six inches so we know how far we shot. But I made a little twist for this one. We're gonna try and put the toothpaste on our toothbrushes. Okay, Tori Dabransky, so since I won the last round, you have to go first. Why? I don't wanna go first. You <laughs> go first. No, you get to go first because I decided to go first. So you, so, so you get to go first. Okay, that's fine. I get this one though. 
Do I just hit it as hard as I can? You have to be right here, and then you go. <gasps> but and then, you but, but you have to go, you have to aim for this to the pink, pink one. Wait, do you get pink or blue? I want blue. You want blue? Bernie yeah. Bransky gets blue, and I get pink. I, just so you know, I'm not really aiming. I'm just gonna hit it as hard as I can. Oh my god! Ready? Oh my god! What? Tori! How did you? <laughs> you got it all the way over here. How did you get it all the way over here? I got it all the way. You got it on the mystery box. <laughs> Press. Oh my god. Tori. <laughs> what happens if we Oh god, oh god. You ready? Oh god, that was up. <laughs> oh my gosh. Got so far. <laughs> okay. Oh, you got it in my carpet. Oh god, I think I'm running out of toothpaste. Oh no. Oh no. I'm out. Well, I did it. I got okay, some so you did that much. You got it really far. I'm not going to lie. You got it really far. No, I'm really good. That's pretty. You got it all the way on the mystery box. I don't even. Let's break out a tape measure really quick. Okay, Terry Debranski. Okay, here, can you grab this? Oh, where do we go? Oh! Lori, 13 feet? How did you do 13 feet? You're Dude, crazy, you're that's crazy! Like, that's my first try, too! Uh, wow. Take that toothpaste. I'm just gonna be toothpaste all over your room. Yeah, you think you could beat that? Probably. <laughs> you are a lot stronger than I am. Okay, guys, now it's my turn. Okay, I'm gonna aim for my pink toothbrush. Are you actually aiming? Okay, ready? And one, two. Ah! Oh! What is this? Wow, Robbie, you can't even make it six inches. <sighs> oh! Okay, ready? One, two, and. Oh! <laughs> so close! Wow. I one, two. Oh! It's not that hard. Last chance, boys. <laughs> Oh my gosh, okay. Aw, oh, it's only at eight feet. Oh, wait, three no. foot eight. Aw. Oh. 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 I only got three foot eight inches. Oh. I lost this round. No! I lost the round. This is the face of a loser. Tori, don't worry. I'll win on the next one. <laughs> one so she gets to decide who goes next you go first i go first you go first you're number one robbie i am number one <laughs> just like i'm gonna be number one in this game <laughs> okay bet Don't okay i have to pull it don't mess up oh this is already way too oh, no! Okay, I'm gonna have a pep talk. You got this toilet paper. You got this. You're strong. You got this. Hold it together. I'm putting my faith in you. So you better do it, dude. Toilet paper, you got this. Are you ready to lose? Okay, Tori, you can't do this. Oh gosh. Come on. Mess up. 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 Come on, Tori. You can't. No, you already got past me. <laughs> you already technically won. Huh? No! Wait, 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 wait. Uh, how is she doing? How is she doing? <laughs> Tori, no. No. Robbie, no. move, move, move. Forgive me. Ah, that's it. Ah, take that. Dang. Uh. I won. Okay, guys, so I got it to about right here, but Tori got it all the way to about right here. That's like... That's like five inches. I got that's five almost inches. an entire foot. What? I'm just talented. What can I say? How could I lose? You didn't talk to your toilet paper. I like, I got it hyped. I got it ready to perform. And it did. Uh, I'm so proud of her. She did great. Wow. I'm going to win the next game, Tori Brits. <laughs> just you watch. Okay. Oh. okay, so I this last one, so Tori gets to choose who goes first for this one. Oh, uh, it's you again. It's me again? <laughs> what? Okay, here's our ping pong ball. Okay, Tori, you might want to move back. I don't want to, I don't want to hit you in the face. Okay, ready? Ready? One, two, and... 
Oh! I got seven. I got seven? I want another try. Five, two, three, two. What? <laughs> okay. Some of a bitch. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh! Okay, I'm gonna guess 10. Okay, I got, my score is 10. Beat that, Tori Dabransky. Beat okay. that. I'm ready. Okay, Tori Dabransky, here's your ball. I'm gonna watch this real close. One, two, one, three, four, five, six. You got six. I got six. You got six. Okay, I got, I do some more. You're supposed to do it between each one. No. No, that's not. No, it was not. how fast you could do it. No, it's bouncing. Wait, really? I yeah. thought it was. I thought it was. You have to do it one for each. No, no, that's how you do it. You have to do it for every time it bounces. So you said how fast. I'm okay, ready? I win. And ready? one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It was a draw. You guys have one more. Okay, one more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You take this! Rude! You never throw your balls at a lady. Tori Bransky, take that. How does it feel to lose three times in a row? Uh, How does it feel? You have a 25% uh, success rate, Robbie. Oh no! Wait, ready? Cool transition. So here are our candles. We got them all lined up perfectly in a row. And since Tori won this last time, she gets to choose who goes first. Oh, I wonder. It, it's it's going to be you again. Why do I gotta go out I can breathe better this time. Okay, I guess I gotta do this. <sighs> okay, I guess it's time to blow. Oh, I gotta do my lung exercises. <laughs> oh, blowtorch me. No, blowtorch. No, I need my blowtorch. <laughs> That's how we do things, okay? You're not from around here, are you? What is this, a lighter? You don't need that. You ready? One. Wait, I need to do my exercises. Okay. One, two, and. Two. You got so far! I wasn't prepared. I bet I could do them again. Oh, so close. They all like they flickered. flickered. They all flickered. Okay, so these are every six inches. So one, one foot, foot two, two foot, foot, three foot, three foot, three almost four three foot. and a half feet. You have to beat that, Tori Bransky. Okay, I'm ready. Let me light this for you really quick. You want, you want to see some real efficiency? You want to see some real speed. It's your turn. Why do you think I'm not gonna do as well as you in this one? Blow! 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 <laughs> okay. Well, I'm f dude. I can't do this that far. <laughs> oh, you did almost. Dude, I can't! Okay. Almost. One, two. I have to get up. Oh, okay. Happy! <gasps> <laughs> Ew! That's so hot. Yeah, no, I can't. Got do hot it. wax on you. I have two, two and a half. I have two and a half? Oh! <gasps> won this one! You lose! Let's see if the intern can do it. Okay. You got this. Wow. Oh, they're at four. No! You got four feet? One more candle. It's because I didn't do any lung exercises. I wasn't prepared. Y'all breathe. Y'all knew you were gonna do this. I needed, you know, I needed to do like some chest exercise, maybe go for like a swim in the ocean for a little bit. Look, you still got six inches farther than me. Could have done better. I really could have, Robbie. So who do you want to go first this time? No, you won. Oh, I won this time. Yeah. I won. I actually won for one. Woo! Okay, Tori Dabransky, I want you to go first. So the first thing I got to do is set up these cups. Okay, here we go. Advantage here because she has smaller feet. Okay, Tori Bransky, are you ready to go through my cup maze? Yeah, I 
trust myself. Okay, Tori, you memorized them all? Blindly trust. Try and <laughs> knock down as little amount of cups okay. as you can. Oh. Oh! Okay, I did one. Oh, Tori! Oh, oh, you hit two! Oh my god! You knocked them all down! I Half of them were knocked down. Oh my god, Tori! Oh, keep going! You're almost there! Keep going! There's more? Yeah, there's more! What do you mean? There's what more! You got another like two feet. Go! <laughs> Keep going, keep going. <laughs> oh my god, you're doing so good. <laughs> there. So you only did one, two, three, not good with two cups. What? I hate that. I don't think I'm gonna do that good, if I'm being totally honest. Why don't we trust? Just gotta go for it. Now you have to rearrange them. Those are Tori Debrancy's cups. She got two cups. Now she's gonna set them up. I'm ready. Oh God, <laughs> give me a second. I guess I'm not that ready. Now I'm ready. Tori, you gave me no room to walk. How am I supposed to help? Levitate. I'm gonna take off my shoes. Maybe be born with smaller feet next time, dude. Oh, not my problem. Okay. Believe. Okay, I believe. Blind trust. Oh! Oh my gosh, all my roommates probably hate me. Oh! oh! Almost. Walk? I didn't know you're supposed to just slowly do it. Oh my gosh! You've done it. <gasps> Look how far I got. You got it. Boy, take that. I'm gonna take my cups. You ready? Oh! Look at all the cups I took down into front. I mean, the, look. Do you see that? Robbie, these you, are all your cups, you, and these are all my cups. You, you see that? I won this round, Tori Debranski. It depends. You touched like more cups than I did. I guess you can take me to knock them over. I didn't knock any cups over. Take. Can I do it? No. No. The, no. Wait. I should be able to do it without my. Okay. Next game. Up. Next game. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even need to memorize it. This. <laughs> you're gonna knock them over. Oh, you already knocked one over. No, I did it. You already knocked it over. What? You're just gonna scoot. What? No, you can't do that. Am I knocking them over? No. Tori. <laughs> look at all the ones you knocked over. Now we're gonna go back and watch your feet knock them over. Oh no, Rob, look at all these cups you just knocked over. <laughs> your cup stack's not looking too good now, is it? Those are all yours. You knocked all those no, over. I did. Okay, so Tori's already sitting down. I need a good stretch. Tori, we both stretch. I don't stretch. Okay, then once we get in position, the intern is gonna pull out the chairs from under us, and he's gonna do it right. Right, intern? I think so. I hope. Okay, great, great. Okay. Let's go back. <laughs> no, I'm too far. <laughs> okay, now squish your legs on me. I can't. There's a f there behind you. <laughs> okay, pull it, intern. We'll see what we can do here. <laughs> yeah. Keep going, keep going. Oh, no. <laughs> uh -huh. is this, this is a fun game you could do with your friends. I'm going to pull. <laughs> Get ready. We're doing it. We're doing it perfectly. We're floating. Now we're trying to walk like this. We got this. We're floating. We're floating. Woo! Tori, hold on. Oh, here. Oh, hold on. You, you lean back slightly. Okay. Oh, we did it! That's scary. I don't like that very much. Well, guys, I guess we can say that this one works. Wait, it's not one of those videos. Oops, sorry. Okay guys, so since I won the last one, Tori has to go first on this one. I'm ready. So you have to cross your legs. In front of it, behind uh, it? Like, yeah, in front of the pole, like cross. You have to go. Okay, maybe I'll sit down. Yeah, but you have to like cross them like crisscross applesauce. And then put this foot inside of here. You have to do it while you're standing. Why? Okay, I guess I'm gonna go first for this one. <laughs> you have to cross your legs. We have to rewatch the video. Okay, so I pulled up the video. Uh, we, we're gonna do it live in action right now. Put one foot in front. I want to hold myself. You have to hold yourself up. I'm, I don't have upper body strength. You got strength. this. Just hold. All my muscles are on my legs. So is it like this? And then yeah. put it down? And then you put this foot back. <laughs> yes, okay, we did it. Okay, now you have to try and get up. To so stand up? You just have to just try like... and stand up. You'll be stuck. <laughs> I guess. Wait, Tori, you're not even <laughs> stuck. What? Okay. This didn't work. Um, what the heck? Okay, I guess it's my turn. Tori won this one. How do I do it? You put it down. Stand up. Wow, these are big muscles of yours. Yeah. 
That's it. I guess maybe I did you're it. supposed to use your arm. Oh. That's the only way I can see you getting stuck. That was anticlimactic. Woo. I guess we're gonna have to say this one doesn't work. So here's the board we're gonna be drawing on. Here are our Sharpies. Uh, do you wanna go first or should I go first? We don't have a winner from the last We really one. don't. We don't have a winner. Uh, we can do rock, paper, scissors. Okay, okay, ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Okay, I won. <laughs> so here's your Sharpie. Are you drawing on my back? Wait, I need a Sharpie. Here you go, Tora Dabransky. Thank you. Okay, Tora Dabransky, you ready? I'm ready. So I'm gonna draw on you, and then you're gonna draw on on, uh, on that. Okay, ready? Um, What can I draw here? I don't even know. Uh, I, okay, I think I got it. Ready? Oh no. Okay. <laughs> you can't you can't look at the camera. I'm not, I'm just guessing. Are you coloring me in? Maybe. Okay. Oh! Oh god. Okay. Maybe we should do it. Here you go this way. This is terrifying. Oh! Whatever you're drawing is scary. Okay, you're gonna be crying. Oh! oh. <laughs> I think you know what you're drawing. Okay! Okay, well, if I had a guess, I would say it's a butterfly. Oh! One second, one second, let me. Well, based on oh, what I okay, guys. Drew, okay, guys. It's so, like a Pokemon. Okay, guys, so this is mine. This is what mine looks like. And this is oh, Torpy. Did I get it? Is this what you drew on me? Oh. I don't know what it is, but this is what you drew. You ready to see yours? Yeah, what is it? Okay, it's come over here. My... Here, you can see it in the, in the, in the ah, viewfinder. That's my sweet new ink. Show me my sweet new cat. Okay. Go get this. You right ready? Now. You ready? Oh, what the f? <laughs> Why? That's so ugly, Robbie. I'm not proud. <laughs> This is better. Whatever this is, is better than what you drew on me. What is this? Looks... What happened to Toby? That's not Toby. I got some of it right. Okay. Got the angry eyes. It's my turn. Yeah, okay. That's fine. I'm gonna flip it, flip it over. Flip it and reverse it. Perfect. A blank slate. Okay, guys. It's my turn. <sighs> okay, my back. Okay, ready? Okay, I'm gonna start drawing. This is what I'm drawing, but <laughs> okay, look. This one might take me a little bit. Do it slow, do it slow. Oh my gosh. Wait, what? Wait, wait, what? No, no. Your hands in front of it. I'm just making sure. Can you see it on the on the viewfinder? Oh you yeah, drawing? you can. 100. Okay. What the heck is this? Wait, I lost. Wait, go back. Retrace it. I lost that one. Wait. <laughs> what even? <laughs> <laughs> I want to know what you drew. Okay, I'm done. Don't let me. I think it looks. I don't know what the heck you were trying to draw here. I don't know what kind of stuff that you this is. Please. I can't wait to see what it is you drew. You got his ass. Right, so. Wait, <laughs> to him? What? So, I do want to see what I drew on you. I need to see what you drew. Hey, ready for your new back tattoo? <laughs> what? You drew Goku? Wow, that's our right. yeah. Good job! Woo. So, here's, here's Tori's and here's mine. Wow, I definitely think. <laughs> Okay. This is pretty close. I don't know. I feel like I got closer. I if don't I'm being think honest. so. I I don't see a man when I look at this. One. <laughs> okay. We need we need an unbiased judge. Intro. Okay. <laughs> so I need to know. Okay. Just how close? How close does this? Okay. Do you like number one? Yeah. I can really see the abs. Maybe some of the arms, like the the shoulders the here. Part. Yeah. It's like you don't really know. Like this is not even a face. It looks like you were trying to draw in cursive. Like T N T T. I don't. Okay. So that's mine. And then here's Tora Dabransky's. All right. What do you think? Who did it better? I want to say, in all honesty, Robbie did it better. Oh, yeah! oh, I won! There is no. Guys, it's not you lose. There's literally, there's literally a tennis ball with a speech bubble in his. Is random you get, lines. You got, uh, I definitely think I won. Here. No, this is rigged. He's paid. And this is all fake. No. That's what it is. You get the college credit, okay? I actually don't know how college credit works. <laughs> anyway, uh, on to the next challenge, Tori. Okay, Tori Dabransky, so here's our jar, and here is our egg. I don't know if you're ready for this one. Are you ready for this one? I am prepared. So, I already, so messed, up. I already messed up. I already messed up. I already messed up. Okay, Tori, you ready? Mm -hmm. Listen. You have to just keep hitting it. You have to hit it fast. <laughs> <laughs> this Gorg be here all day. Gorg be here all day. Ah! Come on, hurry up! Hit it fast, dude! Dude, oh my god, come on! <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> lapping you right now. 
now. You haven't even tried to pick it up. Neither. <laughs> yes, I have. How is that? Is that good? <laughs> Looks like the yolk's on you. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Ooh, that was a close boy. <laughs> That's okay. We have all day. Three days later. I'm gonna get something else. It's so small. There you go. Well, what happens if we hit it a little bit? <laughs> It just moves a little bit. It's okay. <laughs> Tori, I feel like you're not taking this one seriously. I'm not. <laughs> we'll use this lens. Okay, ready? Okay. I'm ready. Huh. 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 <laughs> oh, you cracked the egg a little bit. No. <laughs> Tori, you aren't hitting it hard enough. <laughs> what are you doing? The egg's broken. Ew. It's moving around a little too much. Okay, we got <laughs> Ew. Ew. That's so good. <laughs> this isn't working. It's leaking out a little bit. Look. Our egg is This defended. is how eggs work. We need a new one. Okay, we're gonna try this container now. It's clear, so maybe it'll trick us. <laughs> Wait, there's a container on the egg? I want you to borderline break this container. We are breaking the container. <laughs> Bransky won this one! Take that, dude. Uh, Take that. Oh! Okay, guys, the classic bucket challenge. We have to try and not spill it. We have to be on our backs and hold it up. Anyway, let's do it, Tori. You ready? No. <laughs> She's ready. I, I don't want to do this. Let's, no, she wants Enter! Can you hold it up for us? Enter bucket of fires, please. Please bucket us. Oh, oh are you okay? Yeah, it didn't even hit me. Oh, oh, got it. I want to cry. This is going to so be awful. So I just pour it over you guys? No. Pour it on him. I'm moving out of the way. <laughs> ready, <laughs> set. Okay, now we have to try to take off our shoes. Tore it down a little bit. <laughs> I already told you what I was going to do. Lost. Oh, dang it. Even though I'm all wet. Tori lost. That's how it works. <gasps> Wait! Because of my trust issues, I'm gonna guess it's a cake. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and today we're gonna be playing a little game called Cake or Fake. Cake or Fake! Cake or Fake! Cake or Fake! Basically, we have to guess if it's a cake or a fake. A fake means it's a fake cake. It's not actually a cake. It's a real object. I know it's a little confusing, but you'll get it. As always, guys, make sure to keep scoring. Tell me what you got down in the comments down below at the end of the video. And if you guys want to watch the other three that I've done, I'll put a link to them down in the description down below or in the card right here. Anyway, let's get into this. Okay, starting off, we got like a weird detergent thing. I don't really know what the heck this is supposed to be. I'm going to guess that this one's a cake. I don't know, just something about how the handle is on this bottle. It doesn't look right. It just doesn't look right to me. And? Oh, that cut really easy. Oh. oh! What? That's a cake, right? I'm pretty sure this is a cake. Okay, one point for me. Now we got this giant ice cream cone. I'm guessing that this is definitely a cake. This has to be a cake. Look how fluffy it looks. Plus, there's literally macaroons right there. Like, come on, this has to be a cake. Oh, he's cutting a slice out of it. It's a cake! That's two points for me. Macaroni and cheese. Ooh. This looks yummy. But it's a little perfect. You know what I mean? Like, look how much cheese is in there. That's a lot of cheese! Because of my trust issues, I'm gonna guess it's a cake. And... What? Another freaking cake! I am on fire today! Up next, we have... Ooh! Is that a Toby? That's a tennis ball, isn't it? What are you doing to Toby? Do you see his eye? It looks like you're putting it in his mouth. I'm guessing this is a fake. This is a real Toby. Wow! It's a real Toby. I was right. Look how delicious this looks. This has to be a fake. I don't think this could be a cake. This looks like a real sandwich. A real delicious sandwich, if you know what I mean. Oh! It was a real sandwich! Right? Or is it a cake? I can't tell what this is supposed to be. <gasps> no! No! This was a cake the whole time? What the heck? Okay, I don't 
didn't get that one. Oh, it's a little kitty and a chimpanzee. Oh. I'm guessing this one's a cake. It's a little too obvious. They're cutting off its head. And it was totally a cake. Oh, look at this cute little bird. This little baby birdie. It's definitely a cake. Slice right through the head. Is it a cake? Wow. Look at this perfect little, look at this perfect little cake. Wow. Next, we got some black beans. I am going to guess that this is a fake. This is, in fact, real beans. Oh. And I was right. It was fake. Oh my gosh. Is that is that supposed to be like duct tape? That's crazy. That looks really good. Like that looks just like duct tape. Like that could literally pass as duct tape. But I know better. That's a cake. Let's see the results. And oh, what is it? Is it a cake? They cut through it really easy. It was a cake. Oh! I trusted my instincts and I got it. Now this donut. Is a donut already kind of a cake? I mean, either way, would it be a real donut or would it be a real cake? I feel like it's a cake because, you know, that's just how things go. Wow! Yeah, there's, it's a little birthday cake. A bowl of Cheerios. Oh, this looks delicious. Perfect little bowl of Cheerios. Add a little bit of fruit. You got the perfect breakfast. Mmm, chef kiss. But is it a cake or fake? It looks pretty good. My eyes are telling me it's a fake, but my mind is telling me it's a cake. What a predicament! I'm guessing it's a cake. Wow! That bowl cut so weird. Look at that. It just went. <laughs> it's a cake! Now we have an Aquafina water bottle. It looks a little too perfect. There's just way too much detail in this image. This has to be a fake. And Oh, it's totally a fake. I was right again. Now we have a little, what is that? An Oreo? I think it's a real Oreo, so it's a fake. This is a fake Oreo, which means it's a real Oreo. <gasps> Wait! It was a cake the whole time! I feel so lied to. Oh, toilet paper. Remember when toilet paper was hard to get? Oh, thankfully that's over, am I right? Anyway, it looks really good. I'm guessing it's a, it's a fake. Is it a fake? It's a fake cake. It's not a real cake. Smash it! Oh. This one was real! I was right! Oh! It was a fake the whole time. Little Superman shirt. I can already tell this is a cake. Instead of taking a rose, you're like, oh, I'll take a sleeve. Thank you. A little cupcake. I'm guessing that this one's a real cake. Mike, but, like, you're not even, oh, you just smashed it in your face. Okay. I wasn't sure where you're going with this, but yeah, I guess I get the point. Nice uh, face smash. Did he order a cake or a cheeseburger? <sighs> the bread looks a little off, so I kind of feel like this is a cake, but it could be a real cheeseburger, like a really crummy cheeseburger. I'm guessing it's a cake. Oh. Oh, it's a real burger. It's way too hard for him to cut. Look, the meat bag is falling apart. A little St. Patrick's Day cupcake. Oh, it's so cute. I'm guessing that this one is a cake. This is another one of those, like, it could be either or. It's a real fake cake. It's a real cake. And then we got Mike eating the cupcake. Okay, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good intern. Come on, I'm paying you to film cakes, not eat them. This watermelon looks really good. And it would have all tricked me if it weren't for that stem. That stem does not look right, so I'm guessing it's a cake. It's actually a cake in disguise of a watermelon. Oh. Oh. I was right! Yay! Is this a real cake or not? What else could it be? This is a cake. It's a real cake. This joke is getting old. It wasn't a cake! I was wrong the whole entire one! Oh my, what the- <laughs> I can't trust anyone now. I can't trust anything. <gasps> oh, wow. I'm sleeping with my eyes open. I can't believe it was a laptop. Egg. I'm guessing this is a real egg. So it's a it's a fake cake. It's a fake. Smash. Oh, look how that came out. Oh, we got this fancy buggy. I'm guessing it's a cake. I mean, we already have the knife going through it. Like, what else could it be? Why would they just saw through a car? That is wild. Look at that. Look at the detail of this cake. I love it. This is a beautiful cake. Llama. Honestly, it looks a little too fluffy to me, so I'm going to have to guess that it's a fake. <laughs> it didn't get cut through. I was right. There's a real stuffed animal llama. Now we got Raising Canes. Ooh, not sponsored, but I wish. If you guys want to sponsor me, Canes, I would take it. I will be the new spokesperson for Canes. If you guys give me this chance, this opportunity, I would not squander it. Anyway, I'm guessing this Canes is a, it, it's a, it's a cake. It's, this is a real Canes. I've gone to Canes enough, and I know that this is not real Canes. Oh, that's a beautiful cake, though. Good job. Wow, even the drink. Even the drink was a freaking cake. What? How? How did they do it? So many layers. Just layers on layers on layers on layers of layers of lies. <laughs> we got a fancy wine bottle. I'm guessing this one's a cake. And this is a very tall slice. Oh, 
You guys know it's a cake. This little peach, is it a cake or a fake? I'm guessing it's a fake. It's a real peach. It looks a little too real. You ready? Oh, oh, it's a real peach! I was right! Ooh, it's getting a little hot in here because uh, my AC is broken, so I'm sorry if I look a little bit sweaty, guys. Oh, this Homer thinking about beer. It's definitely a cake, but I can still admire it. It looks like a really good cake. Is it hollow inside? If it's hollow, it's a real Homer. Nope, there's cake in there! I was right. Even the beer is made out of cake. Mmm, yummy. This cheeseburger! I feel like it's a real burger. This is gonna be a fake. And cake or fake! Cake or fake! Cake or fake! And it's a real burger. I was in fact very correct. Headphones. I'm guessing these are fake. Oh! What? No! It was a freaking cake the whole time! But how did they do it? Honestly, that was a good one. Cake or fake? Okay, we got this clock. What is it? Uh, I'm guessing this is a real clock. So it's a fake. And... No. 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 Is it really? Is it really a freaking cake? This was a freaking... It was a cake the entire time! Cake or fake? This little uh, carrot cake. I think it's a sponge. That's a sponge, right? You almost tricked me there, but I know it's a sponge. <gasps> it was a cake. I have no words. They actually got me. That looks just like a little sponge. This shoe! I'm guessing this is a fake shoe, and then they just dressed it up to look like a cake. No. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. No! How the heck is this a cake? How do they... Ah! Guys, I am so confused. How to fill out your ballot. Wait, the ballot was a cake? The ballot was a... Even the ballot was a cake? I was so cute. I didn't even I thought the intern just put the wrong clip in here, but it it was actually him just cutting open the ballot. And it was a freaking cake. I don't even know what that's supposed to be. <laughs> but I'm guessing it's a fake. I feel like it's just a granola bar. What was it? It was, in fact, it was... It was a granola bar. And last time I checked, granola bars are not cakes. Battery or cake? I feel like it's a real battery. So it's a fake. Oh, stop. Stop. Stop it. Stop it. How is this a cake? How did they make a battery into a cake? I am disgusted. This is literally a crime against humanity. A little tiny block of wood. I'm guessing this one's a fake. And we were right. It's in fact a fake. Planters peanuts. Mm. Peanuts. Honey roasted. Peanuts have never lied to me before. I'm guessing this one's also a fake. And... And it was a fake! This pumpkin! This pumpkin looks pretty real. Uh, actually, I feel like it's a fake pumpkin, but I'm guessing, I feel like it's a real pumpkin. They're gonna cut it with that butter knife? Okay, if they're cutting it with that butter knife. I was right, it's a fake! It's not even a real cake! This little bar of soap, this very blurry bar of soap. <laughs> I'm guessing this is a very blurry fake. <gasps> Oh, he's struggling. Oh, that's definitely soap. I was correct. This lime. I think this lime is a real lime. It's a fake. I was right. It's a real lime. Cake or fake? These uh, coffee mugs. I feel like they might have put uh, some cake inside of them. So it's, the outside's gonna be real. It's gonna be a fake, but on the inside, it's gonna be a cake. Watch. That just broke open. Was that like chocolate? It was made out of chocolate, right? <gasps> oh! It was a cake the whole time! This is a this is a real balloon. This is a fake. Is it gonna pop? If it pops, it's a fake. It didn't pop, but it's still a fake. Oh, it did pop. There you go. See, I was correct. Eggplant or cake? I'm guessing this is a real eggplant? It has to be. It's gotta be. Is it a real eggplant? Please be a real- it's a real eggplant. I was correct! This coconut looks beautiful. What is a cake? Oh no, it's a real- oh wait, I was right! It was a cake the entire time! But was it a coconut cake? <laughs> a stack of towels. I feel like this is actually a cake? How weird. What a- what a strange cake. Dang! So not just the towel, the detergent is also a cake. Return envelope. Is this another ballot? I feel like this is gonna be a fake. The watermelon, oh, no. Stop. I fell for the same thing twice? I fell for it twice. Are you joking me? <sighs> Let's see. This looks like an apple, not a plum. I feel like this is a fake. I have, I have trust in this apple. This is a real apple. Oh! <gasps> 
It was a plum? What? It was a plum the entire time. How weird. I guess I get that point. Cup. I feel like this is a, a fake, this is a fake cup. It's a real cup. Boom. It wasn't a cake. I was correct. Oh my God. And sorry to smoke. I really hope the smoke detector doesn't go off. Oh my gosh. It feels dangerous. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and this is my craft corner. And recently, I've been spending a lot of time on a little app called TikTok. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. It's pretty freaking addictive. Like, I would spend hours on it and just not get anything done. Honestly, if you don't see videos for a while, you can blame TikTok. Anyway, I was scrolling through TikTok, and I saw that they actually started selling cakes at McDonald's. And they're only $9. So now it's my personal goal to try and find one. Did you know McDonald's sells $9 cakes? Oh, hi, Gibby. Now this is some Casey Neistat. Oh, I forgot my keys. Hello, can you please let me in? Hi, Tori. Hi. Hi, Tori. Hi. Looks good. Okay, let's drive. Okay guys, this is McDonald's number one. We're gonna see if they have the cake right now. But first, we gotta mask up. Perfect. Like, are you guys selling cakes? No, we're not, I'm sorry. Oh, okay, thank you. Okay, so first one, no cakes. Let's go to another one. Okay, McDonald's number two. There's a bit of a line. Okay, order when you're ready. Word on the street is you guys sell cakes. Uh, not at this location. I don't know about other locations, but we don't. Can I get a camera shake? We don't have any right now. Any right now. Do you guys still have the McRib? Uh, no, we don't. McDonald's number three. Hey, welcome to McDonald's, how may I help you? It's my birthday, I heard you guys sell cake, so I was wondering if I could buy a cake. Sorry, we don't sell cake. Are you guys still doing the shamrock shakes? No, sorry. McDonald's number four. A man on the internet told me that I can buy cake here. Birthday cake? No, I'm sorry. Can I get a shamrock shake then? No, that's that small, medium, or large? I'll have a large. Well guys, I guess they don't actually sell birthday cakes at McDonald's, but at least I got my shamrock shake. So I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one is a lie. Well guys, I wasn't able to get myself a cake, but I was able to get myself a McFlurry. But unfortunately, it's a little hard right now. Also, all the Oreos are just in one spot. Whatever shall I do? So the first thing I'm gonna need is a drill. And then we're just gonna stick this in. Uh, I think I'm gonna need a different bit. Oh yes, this one should do. Does it fit? It looks like it's a perfect fit. Lock this bad boy in. Oh, you guys ready for this? Stick it in there. Yep, that's pretty on there. Stick that in, and here we go. Oh my gosh! <laughs> wow, that is very much working. Yep, that's pretty mixed. That's delicious. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one 100% works. Oh, I got ice cream everywhere. Green style corn dog. All right, so this is what you'll need. Pancake mix, panko, cheese. I use mozzarella. And any hot dog you like. Two cups of pancake mix, one cup of water. I like doing half and half, half cheese and half hot dog. So just cover it with a batter. Use a spoon to help you cover it with panko. Okay, so the first things first, we gotta make our pancake batter. So we grab our complete pancake and waffle mix. And I'm the kind of person who doesn't really, uh, you know, measure whatever they make something. So I'm just gonna do what feels right, okay? Go ahead and add my water. Bring out the Mixatron 5000. I think we need more water. That looks about right. Put this off to the side. Break out our wieners. Oh, yes. He said he only used about half of a hot dog, so I guess we don't need these anymore. I'm gonna put a chopstick right up in there, just like that. Boopity boop. Break out our cheese. Cut this guy down. Ooh, baby. Mmm, dude, I love cheese. Stick that on there. And unfortunately, I don't have any breadcrumbs, but I do have these croutons that I can just uh, crunch up. Boopity boop. One eternity later. 
Yeah, that should do it. Go ahead and take a little swim with our hot dog and cheese. Oh, baby. And we dip it in our breadcrumbs. Oh, baby. Boobity boop. Turn that on. Let that heat up. Put in our oil. That's probably way too much. Or, you know what? Maybe it's not enough. So I actually had to switch pans because the other one was warped. And apparently with this kind of stove, you need it to make full contact. Otherwise, it won't actually heat up. Kind of weird, but I was waiting for 10 minutes and it didn't heat up. And this one heated up right away. So... Oh my gosh, this feels dangerous. So I guess I'll fry it. Oh my gosh, it keeps popping at me. It can't make full contact with the pan because the pan's so small. I guess that I just have to do this. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use my pliers to actually flip it over. It did say wait three to five minutes, so that's what I'm gonna do. Five minutes later. And this looks like it's about done, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put out a plate. Okay, some napkins to help dab off the grease. Drop that right on there. Ooh, got a little steamy. Just let this cool off for a little bit, and then we try it. I do gotta say, it smells pretty, uh, interesting. But that is because we use smashed up croutons instead of actual breadcrumbs, so I feel like it's gonna smell a little bit weird. Mmm. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you can see the cheese just completely melting out of that. It does look good. Like, you never know. It might be delicious. Well, let's try it. Mmm. Actually, you know what? Oh, man. Woo! Oh, that cheese. Oh my God, look how stretchy. Oh, this is beautiful. I gotta wrap it back around just to contain it. But how does the hot dog taste? It's not bad. Well, yes, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. And it's delicious. Okay, so now that we have all this extra pancake batter, what are we gonna do? Oh, batter, batter in a like, rice oh, cooker? Why would you ever do that? Wait a minute, wait, what is it? No, it's a pancake! Probably. Well, luckily, I happen to have a rice cooker right here. All you gotta do is just pour all the pancake batter in there. Ooh, yummy. Yeah, that should do it. Put that right inside of there. Put our lid on. And I'll see you guys in uh, about 20 minutes. Okay, it's been a good half an hour. Oh, it looks like it's actually kind of baked. Let's see how it turned out. Uh, I should have put like spray in there so it didn't stick. Uh, it looks like it's still a little uh, raw. Maybe I made it a little too thick. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little bit more time. Later. Okay, I wait another 20 minutes and uh, <laughs> let's see what the results are. Here we go. Oh! Oh my gosh! <gasps> it's a perfectly cooked giant pancake! What? Well, this side's cooked. This side's not really. I feel like you could probably flip it though, and this side would be cooked. But this side looks pretty cooked. But how does it taste? Oh my gosh, so fluffy on the inside. Honestly, you could bake a cake like this probably. Not bad. This looks pretty yummy. No, nope. that's definitely a pancake. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one 100% works. Let's make cheese its at home. Cut each slice into fourths using a pizza slice. Once you do that, you're gonna grab a sheet pan and lay it out with some parchment paper. Spread them out about an inch apart and then grab a straw and put little holes in the middle. You're gonna grab some sea salt and sprinkle that on top of them. Throw them in at 275 for 25 minutes. They're freaking crazy delicious. These things are no joke. Here's our sheet. Add some parchment paper. For this one, I made sure to grab an assortment of cheeses. We got pepper jack. That's my uh, personal favorite. Some gouda. Gouda's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> and then Swiss. You know, uh, I don't even need to put a hole in it because this one already has holes. Then we go ahead and cut them up. Just gonna get rid of these round parts. Oh, mm, mm. oh man, I love cheese. Then we get our straw and start poking some holes. Now I got a bunch of cheese stuck inside this straw. I'm gonna see if I can blow it out. It doesn't wanna come out. Well, that's a lost cause. Now we're gonna pop this baby in the oven. Oh, I almost forgot the salt. Oh, so much salt. That's probably a little too much salt. I added a little bit of pepper. And in we go. See you in 25 minutes. Okay, and they're all done. These turned out really good, actually. Like, this one actually kind of looks like a real cheese. -in. But how does it taste? I mean, the first one I want to try, I think, is the Swiss. Ooh. It's like a perfectly puffed little piece of cheese. And it's hollow. 
Oh, look at that. It's actually hollow on the inside. Dude, this is awesome. They taste just like cheese it Okay, up next, we got the Gouda. And I bet they're gonna be Gouda. I already used that joke. I'm sorry. <laughs> This one's not as crunchy, but still, it's still really dang good. Wow. And then last but not least, my personal favorite, the pepper jack. Oh, oh my gosh. Dude, these are actually so good. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say, now this one works. So I just bought a toaster and I have some steak. I mean, cool steak in a toaster. Put it into a toaster. And the other steak into the toaster. Looks like our steaks are getting seared. All right, let's try to get out our steak. That is a flavorful steak. It is packed with flavor. Whoa, okay, guys, so here's our toaster, and here's our steak. Plug this bad boy in. This feels very unsanitary, and that's exactly why I bought a brand new toaster. Okay, here we go. What, what's happening? I don't got beef with you, bro. I only got beef with my cousin Ricky because he... Ah, we don't gotta talk about it. It doesn't go in all the way. <laughs> okay, down we go. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on uh, the highest dial it goes, and that is seven. I'm excited. I feel like this one might actually work, and uh, I'll never have to grill a steak again because I can just shove it in my toaster. And now all we have to do is wait. One minute, 37 seconds later. Okay, so it's been about uh, two minutes, and it looks like it's actually kind of cooking it already. Um, weird. Very weird. I kind of wish that I'd seasoned it. Uh, oh my god, it's starting to smoke. I really hope the smoke detector doesn't go off. Well, guys, well, it uh, popped up. Oh no. Oh gosh. Okay, guys, never use a fork to fish out your toast in the toaster because you'll get shocked, but... <gasps> What? This is actually cooking. What the heck? I'm gonna put it back in for a little bit because I feel like this might actually work. Another round, please. Get in there. Just shove the whole thing. This is disgusting, but you know, <laughs> it might actually work. I'm excited. Honestly, guys, that looks pretty delicious. Nothing sounds more tasty than uh, meat in a toaster, you know what I'm saying? Especially when it's smoking. Uh, <laughs> this is how you smoke your meat in the toaster. That is steamy. You can just see that meat dripping with anticipation. I'm just waiting for my smoke alarm to go off. Okay guys, it looks like it's all done. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. This is like Korean barbecue, do it yourself. <gasps> it's actually cooked! What? Okay, get out of here. Slap that on there. Wow, that, that's, that's actually not bad. <laughs> but how does it taste? Let's try it. I mean, it's actually cooked all the way through, which is kind of weird. It's actually not bad. I was not expecting that. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. But you know what? Cooking in the toaster seems kind of unsanitary, so I guess you're going in the trash. Oh, I thought I was a steak, but I'm toast. Hey, okay guys, that was our favorite part of the video where we record the thumbnail! Woo! Where's the thumbnail? Oh yeah, that's right. I haven't made it yet. This one's gonna be an original thumbnail. So for this one, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my meat, grab my toaster, and that's all we really need. Yeah, something, uh, something like this. Yeah, that ought to do it. And this one's a two-parter. So I think on the other side, I'm gonna do something like this. Yeah, that ought to do it. Okay, now that we're done with the thumbnail, I uh, guess I don't need uh, this anymore. Let's go in the trash. Brother? Oh my god! What have they done to you? No! Well, that works. I must avenge my brother! Stop! Stop! This isn't a joke! Ah, that's actually really hot. Like, <laughs> Dude, this was my life savings! Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and recently, my new intern actually started working full time, and now he lives here. And I pranked Tori like a million times at this point. I figured, uh, why not prank the new intern? So that's what we're gonna do, and just in time for April Fool's Day. So make sure I give this video a big ol' thumbs up, and down in the comments down below, tell me what your favorite prank was. Okay, now it's time to start pranking the intern. So this one looks pretty good. But the first thing I'm gonna need is the intern's phone. Okay guys, so the intern's been here for about two weeks and uh, I actually memorized his bathroom pattern. So he goes to the bathroom every single day at exactly 5.52 p.m. and it's currently 5.51 p.m. So he should be coming out any minute. Okay, 
guys. So we got his phone, and I'm actually going to take it out of the phone case, and then we're gonna go ahead and replace it with my already broken S10. You know what? Maybe we should break it a little bit more. Oh, that's, that's beautiful. Next, we're gonna need a screw. Here we go. Yeah, that oughta do. Or should I say, that oughta screw. Oh, that was a bad joke. Boobity boop. Now that we have our cut up screw, go ahead and just hot glue it right to the phone. Oh yes, looking good. It also said to get shards of glass. I guess I could just use this top from a Ferrero Rocher that I got. Oh, perfect. Yeah, that looks pretty legit to me. Now I just put on the case, do the other side. Yeah, I definitely think that the intern will fall for this one. Can I talk to you for a second? Hey Mike, how's it going? Hey, dude, actually, before you talk to me, have you seen my phone? Oh, I've was... been looking all over for it. I actually wanted to talk to you about that. Why? So, so you seem like you've been really homesick lately, and uh, I feel like your phone has been nothing but a distraction because you've been, you know, talking to your friends and your family. Yeah, you know, they're my friends and family. So I destroyed your phone. Well, that is the most stupidest thing you've ever done, dude. dude why'd you take it? Just break it. That's so messed up. <laughs> Destroy this? Do you think insurance is gonna pay for this? <laughs> Dude, wait a second. This isn't my phone. No, that's totally your phone. Wait, this isn't my my phone's white. Like I think I have a confession. What? What? You've been pranked. I, I, I've been pranked. You've been pranked, been pranked bro. Whatever. Can you just leave? Dude, I don't even care about my phone. I don't even know where it's at anymore. Well, I'll see you later. Bye. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one 100% works. <laughs> So the first thing I'm gonna need are some pins. Boobity boop. Yes. Ah, oh, perfect. Grab our hot glue gun. We have to wait for it to heat up. 15 minutes later. Okay, so this is all heated up, but I actually decided to go with my original glue gun. You know, the one that this all started with. I'm sorry, glue gun. I'll never leave you again. <laughs> good times, good times. Anyway, don't need this anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some of these out. Yeah, like four should do. Then we go ahead and break out the wire cutters. It went flying everywhere. So we got those cut up. Then we get some hot glue. Dab it on there. And we stick it right on my finger. It's as easy as that. Get a few more. Then we do the back of my finger. Same thing. Ah, that's actually really hot. So I guess I'll put it on the needle first. Let it cool down just ever so slightly. And just stick it on there. Okay, yeah, that looks uh, that looks pretty uh, decent, I guess. Then we're gonna get some fake blood. I only need the tiniest amount. There we go. Get a little bit of blood. Dab it right on the glue to kind of hide it a little bit. Anyway, let's test this out on the intern. How the heck do I open this very carefully? Oh my gosh. Mike! Oh my god, Mike! Mike! Oh, dude, I stabbed my finger dude, dude, like four times okay. it's gonna be with a pin! Oh my god, dude! Why? Oh my god, I don't dude, know how I did it the first time, but I did it three! Oh my god! Oh, oh god! What is this? What is what happened? It's a it's a pin. Is it real? What are we gonna do? Mike, calm down. What are we gonna do? Dude, calm down! It's just a prank! Dude! You've been pranked! What do you mean? What do you mean? Dude, you're are you not hurt? It was a prank the entire time! Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. Well, I'll see you later. Okay guys, so here's our ice cold refreshing Coca-Cola in a mini size. Here's my sewing kit. And luckily I already have a needle that's been threaded already. Go ahead and break out our Mentos. And we just stick that right in there. Yes. I'm gonna need some pliers. That is perfect. Open up our Coke. Ah, no! There we go. Now carefully put that right over the Coke bottle. Put on the cap. Cut off the extra string. And we're all ready to go! Now let's test this out on the intern. Oh, hey, Mike. Oh, hey, Robbie. How's it going, buddy? I'm just debating whether I want some pizza rolls or not. Would you like an ice cold, refreshing Coca Cola to go with your pizza rolls? Yeah, it would be awesome. Here you go, have it. It's a, it's a mini size. Perfect serving size, in my opinion. Yeah. Mike, you're getting it everywhere. What are you doing? I'm drinking some Coca Cola. You just got it all. You're getting it all over the floor. You've never drank Coca Cola before, Robbie? Stop making messes in my house. What the fuck? How dare you? It's 
free Coca-Cola. Can't argue with that. You know, Mike, I, this was actually a prank on you, but I think you're actually pranking me. I just got free Coca-Cola, and this is my day off, so you're cleaning that up. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. So first things first, I'm gonna need a bottle. Yeah, this ought to do. Let's go ahead and dump out that flower. Perfect. Grab some fishing wire. And last but not least, we're gonna need a pencil. Actually, a straw should do just fine. So we grab our straw and our fishing line, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and tape the fishing line onto the straw. Whoop. Yeah, pretty easy. And stick that right in there. Oh no, my straw is stuck inside my bottle. Let me pull this fishing line and... Wow! It comes right so we just grab it. I'm just gonna grab some tape. Just tape it right on me. It's pretty unsuspicious. I'll just be like, Whoa! Oh my god, it's floating! Will it work on the intern? We're about to find out. Okay, guys, so I actually made the intern sign a contract that whenever I press this button, he has to come no matter what he's doing. So here we go. Oh my god, guys. It's working. He's coming. Bro, is everything okay? Yeah, dude. Let okay. Ball. I, okay, I have a very important uh, job. I hope it's important. I was in the shower. <laughs> You were in the shower? Well, I need a peaceful bath once in a while. Yeah. Dang! This actually works so good. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay, the, your important task is I need to show you this magic trick. Better be a good one, because, you know. <laughs> okay, you ready? Yeah. I'm going to make this straw inside of here float. <laughs> <laughs> Was it a good trick? Did you not like it? A A for effort. A for effort, Robbie. A for effort, Robbie. Guys, I can't believe he actually fell for that one. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one 100% works. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> Just gonna go ahead and grab this guy. Oh, hey, Robbie. And my baseball bat. <laughs> Go to Mike's computer. Go to YouTube. Oh, looks like he was watching my channel. And he's even subscribed. I'm surprised he's still subscribed after all these mean pranks I've been doing. But you guys should definitely hit subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you get notified every time I upload a video. And we're just gonna go ahead and put broken screen. Full screen it. Oh, awesome. Okay, guys, here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Toby, what have we done? What happened? Oh. Oh what my happened? gosh! Oh, dude, dude, Mike, dude, I'm so sorry. I, me and Toby were playing some baseball in your office, and I actually played baseball with a tennis ball. Look, I, I accidentally hit him into your TV. That's company property. You know, I know. Well, I could get in. Look, I was just practicing my baseball. I was expecting to pay for that. We're really sorry. I don't care. I'm gonna get in trouble. My boss is gonna fire me when he finds. <laughs> Mike, I am your boss. Oh. Also, Mike, I have a confession. Are you in love with me? No! This was a prank the whole time! Oh, well, if it was... Check it out! It was a YouTube video! Oh, you know, if it wasn't a prank, would you still buy me a new one, though? Uh, uh, I mean, uh, company I, property, right? I, I gotta, oh, uh, uh, I gotta, I, I, I gotta go. I'll see you later. Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this uh, one works. Uh, are you actually breaking the computer? Company property, Robbie! Baba boy. Okay, so for this one, I just need a mirror. Oh, yeah, this is what you guys look like. You're just a camera, see? All you guys are is a camera to me. Well, that sounds a little bad. You guys are just a camera to me. You guys mean a lot more to me than that. I swear. Anyway, we're gonna get our mirror. Can we get our phone? And we just take ourselves a photo. Yeah, these turned out pretty good. I have to admit. Now let's go ahead and send it to the intern. Okay, guys, so Mike is chilling out on his couch right over there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and send it right now. What fudge is this? One goofy guy, I swear to God. You've been pranked! Oh, hi, Robbie. I sent you a crazy photo! Yeah, I mean, joke's on you. I'm gonna post this all over on this. What? No! No, Mike! Yeah, no. I'm gonna this thing go viral. I'm gonna break Give your phone back. again! No! Stop. I'm breaking your phone! Stop! 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 I'm gonna break your phone! Stop! This isn't a joke! What are you? Oh, oh. Watch it! Whoa! No! Watch it! We play fire with fire right now! Calm down! Calm down! Calm down! Your phone's, your phone's right there! 
Your phone was right there. Your phone's fine. Oh, that was my. Phone. That was a bro. That was a phone from before. I'm so. I really tired. Two phone pranks. One day. Ha 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 ha
Honestly, it feels like this one's gotten a little bit lighter, but not too bad. They still look about the same color. What if I add a little bit more lotion? Wow! That's still pretty close. Let's just go ahead and do the arm test really quick. So this is uh, the regular concealer, okay? And then this is with added lotion. What? Dude, it's pretty freaking similar. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. I don't know how far you could dilute it before, you know, it stops working, but you know, you're a little short on concealer, just throw a little bit of lotion there and it, it, it works. It's like when your mom says, hey, you almost had a perfume, just put a little bit of water in there. Anyway, yep, it works. Okay guys, so here's our mascara. Yeah, one of these ought to do. How's this one? Oh, no, looks uh, pretty not dry to me. Nope, nope. Honestly, all these are pretty new still. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go ahead and break out my heat gun. Bibbidi boop. And we're gonna go ahead and dry this out. Oh, oh no, it made it even better. It's starting to like bubble the mascara off of it. And now it's smoking. <gasps> Did it work? Oh, that's really dry. So now we're gonna go ahead and break out our kettle. Oh, I didn't think it was smoking that much. Oh my God, I have to go turn off my fire alarm. It does kind of smell like plastic's burning. Boil some water. Okay, that sounds like it's almost boiling. Uh, that's, this might actually be a little too hot, if you know what I'm saying. Go ahead and pour that into our cup. Oh yeah, that's nice and warm. We just uh, dip that in there. And now we wait for one minute apparently. I'll see you then. Okay, it's been about a minute. The results are in. Ooh, that still feels, uh, <laughs> that feels pretty dry. Although I think it's because, you know, I used a heat gun on it. Anyway, let's, uh... Oh. Eh. Guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one kinda works. I would give it a straight three out of 10. Although I don't really know a lot about mascara, so uh, do with that as you will. Okay guys, so here's my shaver. Oh no, I got my hair everywhere. Oh, this is actually kind of gross. Oh no, my hair, it's everywhere. Break out our trusty lint roller. Boopity. Oh, wow. That cleaned up a lot of it, actually. I mean, it's cleaning up a lot of it. But uh, there's still a lot of random little hairs all over. I can use another sheet, I guess. Oh, no. No, I keep messing up the sheets. I feel so bad. This is Tori's lint roller. Okay, I'll try this again. I mean, it's cleaned up most of it. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one kinda works. Okay, guys, so I don't have any, like, star-shaped stickers or any, like, randomly-shaped stickers that I could use for this. So what I'm gonna do... So I'm just gonna get some parchment paper and some duct tape. Oop, stick it right on there. Then I'm gonna break out my X-Acto knives and just, you know, make a shape. Let's make a star. Yeah, that's kind of a star. Oh boy. It's kind of not the best star. Oh no! Okay, uh, uh, that'll have to do. And then maybe let's do a triangle. Or sorry, let's do a square. A little bit easier here. Let's also do a triangle. Yeah! Let's peel that off. So here's our... <laughs> So here's our little triangle. Here's my square. I guess it's more of like a, a diamond almost. And here's our star. It's not pretty, but you know, it'll work. Okay, let's see. If you see a little bit of makeup on my face, it's uh, definitely not because I just did the hack without actually recording it. That would be silly. Guys, I accidentally did the hack without recording it. But we're gonna do it again. So I know what's gonna happen, but you guys don't. Maybe you do, I don't know. So here's our star. Yes! Oh, that's on there. But then we get our square. Put that right there. And our triangle right below that. Then we grab our blush. Boopity boop. Yellow's good. Let's do yellow. A little bit of contrast. Oh, yes. Speaking of contrast. There we go. Pink looks a lot better. So now we got yellow on my face, blue on my hair, and pink in the background. I love it. Okay, what do you guys think is about to happen? Well, you're about to find out. Here we go. 
This is that a square? That's a square. Okay, but will this turn into a triangle? Oh, <gasps> that's a little triangle. You guys ready for the star? I don't know if you can handle this star. Ah! <laughs> What a derpy looking star. It looks like Patrick Star. You got, look at that. A little Patrick Star on my face. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. It's actually pretty cool. I like it. Down in the comments down below, let me know if you guys think this should be my daily makeup routine. If we get 10,000 likes, guys, I'll wear my makeup super crazy like this in the next video. I'll do all sorts of shapes. I'll go, I'll go crazy, just do it. Okay guys, so luckily I got a bunch of random lip gloss here. So we can really go ham on this color. We got pink and pink and slightly orange pink. Wait, these are all pink. Oh, uh, mm, it looks like uh, we're doing a custom shade of pink. <laughs> Let's start out with this pink. Here we go. Mmm. Ah, oh, yes. I can definitely tell that my lips are a different color now. I'm starting to think that lip gloss is not what I was supposed to use. I think I was supposed to use lipstick. So what they're saying is I just mix random lipstick shades together. Let me see if I can find more lipsticks. Okay, I was able to find some more. We got this very pink one. Oh, oh, that's really pink. Wow, what a custom shade of pink. Maybe mix a little bit of red in there. Yeah, I've never seen lips this color in my life. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one 100% works. So now that I got all this lipstick on my mouth, now whenever I go to kiss Tori, it's just gonna get right on her. And we can't have that, can we? So I'm gonna go ahead and break out my finishing powder. God, it's everywhere. Just drag it on my lips, but I think it's working. It looks great. Yeah, I definitely don't think that this lipstick is going anywhere. Now let's try it. Oh! It's definitely less. Like, look how much less that is. Although, I put a bunch on before, so a lot of it probably came off on the first go. But that's definitely a lot less. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually kind of works. Now we add the fire. Ha! Come on, spin, 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 spin. Cotton ball? No cotton ball. Now let's try the mallet test. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. This is my craft corner. And today we're gonna be trying some fun experiments from the video. Stunning slime DIY ideas and jaw dropping experiments that you can make at home. Five minute crafts. Let's go check out the first experiment. Whoa! I looked freaking everywhere and I thought that I had cotton balls, but I don't. I don't have them. I looked through all my bathroom stuff and I don't have any freaking cotton balls. However, we do have ourselves some cotton swabs and I figured I could just take an individual cotton swab, just take the cotton off of them one at a time. <sighs> one down, a grip of them to go. I wonder how many of these actually equal one full cotton swab. I think about uh, this much should do it. This looks like about one cotton ball, right? I think we need a change of scenery. Oh, that's a lot better. Then we grab our ice tray, put that in there, go ahead and add our water, and I'm gonna do a couple more just so we can have a comparison. Yeah, that ought to do it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in the freezer for a little bit. I'll be back when this is frozen. The next day. Okay guys, it is the next day. You know it's the next day because I'm wearing a different shirt. I wanted to give it a little bit of extra time to make sure that it was frozen, and it is frozen solid. Let's see if I can, oh. So this is our cotton ball ice cube. Whoa, and this is our regular ice cube. Two brothers. So remember, cotton ball, no cotton ball. Now let's try the mallet test. Oh, that completely shattered. As ice does though, you know, that's just what ice does. Okay, you ready for the cotton ball? One, two. I don't think I, I, I this is such a beautiful ice cube. How could I possibly? What? It actually stayed together. That's actually kind of impressive. Let's try one more good whack. What? Yeah, that is so cool! I mean, it eventually falls apart, but it's definitely a lot stronger than regular ice. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. Okay, 
Okay, so the first things first, we're gonna need a little bit of water. Yes, good, good. I think I might actually put a little bit too much in there. Ooh, that's some high quality H2O. Then we go ahead and add some acetone, otherwise known as nail polish remover. Boop -a -boop. And I don't have any rubbing alcohol on me, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use this hand sanitizer. And yeah, maybe just a, a bunch of pumps of that. This smells so weird. I'm not going to lie. Then we go ahead and mix. Oh man, I'm getting this everywhere. Oh no, that looks so weird. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab my ice cube trays. These ones are shaped like Legos. So we're gonna have a bunch of uh, death Legos. <laughs> Legos of death. When you do this, make sure to really get this mixture everywhere. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. On the real note, please don't do that. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and pop this bad boy in the freezer for a few hours. Okay guys, it's the next day. I waited an entire night and it never actually completely froze. It's more of a slush than an ice cube. You take it out and it's just kind of like slushy. I think it's mostly because alcohol doesn't freeze. So the part that did freeze was probably the water. Anyway, we're just gonna take this concoction and just put it in a pan. Oh, this just smells like straight up rubbing alcohol at this point. Oh, we almost got a little Lego. That's that's kind of close. Anyway, you guys ready to see some flammable Legos? <laughs> well, uh, a, fl a flammable slushy, I guess. Sorry, I stepped away to get a pan. That way I can uh, put it on top if the flame gets big or something. Okay, let's see what happens. You ready? This is kind of scary for me. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, ready? I'm gonna go ahead and light this on fire now. It's just putting the match out. Come on, get on fire! Wow. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. <laughs> Whoa, okay guys, so the first thing we're gonna need is a little plate. Then we're gonna go ahead and get our paper, slap that right on there. Get a little bit of water. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, that ought to do it. It just said wet paper. It didn't say like how wet. I'm gonna like really drench it to make sure it's good. Yes, looks it looks good to me. And it's so blue. Let me go ahead and grab our tea light. Luckily, I have a bunch of them. Here we go. Oh wait, that's uh, <laughs> this one runs on batteries. <laughs> Don't need that anymore, am I right? Get a real tea light candle in here. It looks good. So now all I have to do is light this, and if it goes well, I'll go ahead and add two more glasses to the side once I know uh, this will actually hold. It's barely lit. There's so much wax. I really hope this doesn't affect our experiment. Grab our jar, and then we just apparently put it right on there. Okay, now when I lift this, it should uh, come with the plate. Ooh! Wow! How kooky! But will it hold two other jars? Here we go. You ready? What? Wow, that's really cool actually. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one actually works. I wonder how hard this is actually gonna be to take off. You guys ready? Oh, that wasn't too bad. Sweet. Okay, so here are our forks. And I don't have any toothpicks, but I have some matchsticks, which I'm pretty sure should work, right? It's like the same thing. Oh, I ripped the wrong side of this. Oops. Yeah, but like this should this should do like the same thing, right? Just go ahead and, you know, sharpen them up a little bit. Ah, oh, yeah, that, was, that could be a toothpick, right? <laughs> so apparently we just put them together like this. Yes. We stick in our toothpick just like that. And then what I think I'm gonna do is take the other side of the matchstick and just tape it to this glass right here. Go ahead and grab some tape. Yeah, that ought to do. Oh, yes. I think this is gonna work out perfect. I don't see how this could possibly go wrong at all. Oh, that's the tip first. Uh, yes, there we go. Okay, and then before I add the fire, we have to try and get this to actually balance. I think this might be the hard part, honestly. I think I need a new toothpick. Here we go. Is this going to work? I don't know. That's not working. I I don't know how the heck they did this. Uh, I'm gonna try it with a bigger stick. Oh yes! After about 20 minutes, I finally got it to balance. Uh, uh, looks good. But does it spin? Ooh, it does spin! Oh, oh man. 
Okay, we are back in business. <laughs> yeah. oh. After tinkering with it for a while, I think I've gotten it. Yes, yes, I done it. I did it. Now we add the fire. <laughs> carefully, carefully. Very, it's very dimly lit, but it's lit. You can kind of see it. Okay. Now, theoretically, it should just move by itself. I don't know if the flame needs to get bigger or something, but it's gonna happen. Just watch, it's gonna happen. Look, Five Minute Crafts has never let me down before. So, if they say that this is gonna spin, this is gonna spin. Oh no, I, I talked too loud. I accidentally put out the candle. <laughs> I should really invest in a regular lighter. What if I just had a flame here? Would this do anything? You know what? I'm just gonna cut off the tip of this candle and we're just gonna, we're gonna see what happens. But will it spin? We're gonna find out. <gasps> Come on, spin, 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 spin. spin. I'm starting to think it's not gonna spin. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. First things first, we grab our tin foil. Looks pretty good. Then we go ahead and grab our scissors and just cut kind of like a swirly pattern. I'm gonna start off with a circle and then I'll go to the swirly pattern. Yeah, I don't need this anymore. Dude, this is dulling my scissors so fast. Would not recommend doing this with scissors. Yeah, that looks about right. But I think I might have made it a little too long. Six and a half hours later. Okay, so after a couple more attempts, I think I got it. Yeah, that's not too long. Uh, hopefully this will work. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get a matchstick and a cup. I'm just gonna tape the really long stick to the cup. They used putty, but you know what? I'm using what I got. Yeah, that ought to hold. And then we get our tin foil. Just slide it right on there. I think I need to sharpen the tip. That should help a little bit. And I think we're in business because it actually spins now. Ooh. Then we go ahead and grab our tea light. Place it right there. And now we light this bad boy. That's such a small flame. But will this work? What if I put it a little bit closer like this? And then I lifted this up. I need a bigger candle. Here we go. Stick that right there. I'm gonna melt the bottom a little bit so it stays. There we go. And is that gonna help? Guys, nothing's happening. It's not spinning. I don't know what to do. do I, I'm gonna spin it manually and see if that helps it. Guys, nothing's happening. Maybe if I move it a little bit closer. Oh, I think I did it. Oh my gosh, it's actually working. Oh my, wow. It's actually working now. Okay, I just had to move it really close to the candle. Whoa! <laughs> Is this how engines work? Honestly, I just feel like a mad scientist now. I made this thing move by itself. If that's not skill, I don't know what is. Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. 10 out of 10. Love this experiment. How cool. Guys, so actually after playing with this a little bit, if you go to the very top of it and you blow down, it spins really fast. Whoa! How cool is that? Look at it go! Okay guys, so here's our first candle. Just make it so it can stand up by itself. Boom, perfect! Now we light the top. Go ahead and light our other candle. Okay, now we blow this one out. And then we use the smoke to relight it. Oh, I don't think I was fast enough. Nope. I feel like there's like a breeze in here or something. Oh, my vent's open. Come on, light, light, light. It doesn't want to work. What am I doing wrong? Guys, it's not working. Come on, light. Oh, it kind of worked, it kind of worked. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, I did it. How high can we go? How high can we go? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, it actually worked that time. Woo! Oh, that was like an inch away. Oh, that one was really high. You can do it, Candle. You can do it. 
It doesn't want to work. Well, I successfully did it twice. So, I mean, I couldn't get it to do it very far. Maybe this time. Come on, light, 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 light. Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one actually works. <laughs> okay, so the first thing we're gonna need is a little cup to put this in, of course. Then we grab some glue. Boop, boop, boop. We got some blue glue. And apparently it changes color. Then we get some hand cream. A little bit of liquid soap, a little bit of shaving cream. Oh, this is expired. <laughs> and unfortunately, I don't have any hair mousse, so I can't use that. And I'm not sure what they meant by activator, uh, but I'm pretty sure they mean lens fluid, which is just for like contacts and stuff. Okay, now we mix. Mix, mix, mix. Mix, mix, mix. Mix, mix, mix. Mix, mix, mix. And hopefully, we got some puffy slime. Uh. Uh, this isn't slime at all. This isn't puffy anyway. I don't know if the mousse would really do all that much. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Which is kind of unfortunate, because I actually really wanted to play with some slime. <laughs> okay, guys, now it's everyone's favorite part of the video, where we recreate the thumbnail! Woo! Okay, so I'm actually gonna change this one up a little bit. I'm just gonna hold it like this and, you know, hope that that actually looks good. If not, I'll just recreate the thumbnail the other way and it'll look cool, I guess. I don't know. The first things first, we gotta change our shirt. Oh, there we go. Don't need these anymore. I feel like a whole new person. And then for our slime, I'm just gonna get some of these guys. Ooh, so satisfying. And I'm actually gonna cut it open. Oh, you are free. Oh, that looks pretty. Ooh. Do the other one. Yes. I like it. Do a handful of these guys. Ooh. Yeah, that looks, uh, that looks pretty neat. Yeah, that ought to do it. Dude, 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 what are you doing? Yeah. Oh my god. I'm done with it. I, I can't live with you. I can't do this. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. This is my craft corner. And today, I was scrolling through TikTok like everyone does. You know, like you do. And I stumbled upon this guy who does nothing but pranks. The guy's name is Wigafellas, if you guys want to check him out. He also has a YouTube channel. I'll put a card to it right here if you guys want to check out any more of his vids. Anyway, on a side note, as you guys know, I actually moved the craft corner into my house. I'm okay, don't worry. And I actually ended up bringing the intern with me. So now, he lives in my house. Oh, just look at him. Now he's sitting in my kitchen, eating my snacks. Is that my laptop? What the f And honestly, I don't think I can do this anymore. So today, we're gonna try out some of these pranks. Let's do this. So the first thing we're gonna need for this one is some candy. Let's see what we got inside our magic closet. Oh, you're not candy. What? Colorful, but not candy. Where the heck could the candy be? Oh wait, it's right here. Oh gosh, oh, so much candy. And I'm definitely thinking that chocolate is the way to go. I'm gonna use a little bit of spread for the spread. And then I think I'm gonna get some Hershey's bars and kisses to make uh, the nuggets. I'm gonna see what I can roll into a nugget really easily. Can I roll the kiss into a nugget? Oh, yeah, that's getting kind of close to what we're going for. Oh, yes. What about the Hershey's bar? Can I make this? This is gonna be harder than I thought. Looks like we're using Hershey's kisses. Rolling, 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 rolling. Oh, this is looking a little too good. Oh, no. I'll make another one for continuity. Just really sell this uh, nugget. <laughs> Let's go set up the rest of the prank. Oh, yes. The green screen room. A perfect place to do some shenanigans. Like this. Yeah. You like that? Now I'm in space. What the heck are you doing? You're supposed to be doing pranks! Oh my god, how could I forget? Stop looking at me like I'm crazy! I'm talking to you over there. Stop it. So now we're gonna get our Nutella. Open her up. Most people would use a spoon for this. But not me. Yes! Just really make it believable. And now we add the final touch. 
Now let's try this out on the intern. Intern, your dog launched a butt shuttle. What? She freaking pinched a loaf. I have no idea what you're talking about. She built a log cabin. She has paws. How does a dog build a log cat? What are you, dude, just say it. Let's just say your dog planted a tree in my house. Did she take a crap or something? Yeah. It's over here. Come here. Come check it out. No, I literally took her out like for lunch and everything. It's right there. I just cleaned Bro, this up, what dude. She... I'm sorry. Dude. What has she been eating? Like it's so messy. You... What has she been eating? Look, you asked a very important question. And we need to find out what this dog's eating. Bro, use a mint. A mint? How about I do this instead? Dude, 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 dude. What are you doing? Oh my god. Uh, uh, you, you might want to change your dog's dog food. What is wrong food. with you? Mm, not very good. <laughs> Honestly, you won't eat any more of it. Jeez, I'm sorry. Fudge, man, why would you eat it? Hey, guess what? What? No, I don't want to know what. Maybe I should wait till he's done cleaning it up to tell him. <laughs> yeah, thanks for cleaning up after your dog. Well, I mean, it's common courtesy. I'm sorry. Like, why is it so heavy? Bro, is she okay? Wait, Kiri, bro. No, Mike. I'm serious, dude. There's something wrong with that poop. Dogs, dogs don't normally poop like that. Mike, come back. I have something to tell you. What? Come here. Mike, this entire thing was a prank. How would you eat dog poop? It, that, that, was was that, prank? it was chocolate. It was chocolate. It was chocolate. It was chocolate? It was chocolate the whole time. No, it's not. It's chocolate. Try it. It's chocolate. You want to lick it up? Yeah, it's Nutella? Up. Yeah. That's a good chocolate, too. Oh, oh, so do I have to clean this up? Because it's not my dog who did this. It's literally you. So why should I clean it up? Well, guys, I guess I'm going to have to say that I'm this not. one works. I'm not cleaning this up. <laughs> Quick. Okay. <laughs> this one's gonna be good. Grab my peanut butter. Extra chunky. And now that we got our peanut butter, we're just gonna go ahead and stick our finger in. Oh, gross. Look at that. It's pretty convincing if you ask me. One moment. Oh, gosh. Something in my ear. Now let's try it out on the intern. Oh, hey, Michael. Do you want to see a, a magic trick? Uh, sure. Here, uh, what's that? Oh! That came out of my ear, bro. Why is peanut butter coming out of your ear? That's not peanut butter. This is my earwax. Dude, are you sure? Do you want to taste it? No. Dude, you yeah. need to go to the hospital. No, I don't. It's yeah, just, I do. This is normal. You need to get your ears. And it's really tasty. You should probably get your ears. Sure, 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 sure. It smells like peanut butter. <laughs> Why are you... <laughs> I have something to tell you. That you don't take a shower? No, that you've been pranked. It was peanut butter the whole time. You were actually co very correct. You're way too smart for these pranks. Just for being in your house, I am being pranked because you're disgusting. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't actually work. Or maybe he's just a little too smart for these pranks. Oh my goodness. Mustard. Perfect. Hey, Mike, you want some mustard? For what? What? Mustard? Why? Well, I want ah! <laughs> oh, hey, Mike! Ah! Dude, stop, stop, ah! stop! Don't put that on me! Uh, don't put that on me, bro! Come on! Ah! Okay, guys, so here's our Mentos, here's our Coke. Now I need to carefully open it. Oh, yes, the perfect angle. What the heck? This didn't work at all. I'm so disappointed. Mike, how could this not work? What were you doing? I'm trying to squirt you in the butt with Coke. Why would you do that? Dude, I just want to play some Minecraft. Well, guys, I guess I'm going to have to say that this one, it doesn't work. Oh, man, I just knocked the Coke over. Dang it. <gasps> Why did you fail me? What you doing? I'm taking some Instagram photos. Oh, that's nice. 
Okay, hey Mike, uh, you ready to go to the mall? Yeah, dude, I'm pretty excited. I haven't been since I've been here. Okay, guys, I've been in this closet for three hours waiting for him to fall asleep. Some mustard? Huh. But for what? Stop, huh. stop, stop. Stop, huh. stop. Huh. I got some on my hands. Huh. You're gross. Huh. Stop, huh. stop, huh. stop, huh. stop, stop, Robbie. Huh. Hey guys, welcome to my closet. Let's do a little closet tour. Here are all my clothes. Here are all my shoes. And these are all Tori's clothes. And in case you guys didn't know, I have a boot problem. But enough about that. We're just here for the pants. Oh yes. This pair should do fine. Okay guys, let's go ahead. Get our Nutella. Yes. A little bit more for good measure. Oh, it's perfect. There we go. Oh, yes. Okay, let's do this. Oh, oh God! Oh, oh, my! Mike! Oh, oh, I need your, oh, my God, I need your help, Mike! What? What? Mike, I need, oh, I need your help! Move, move, move! Oh, my God, you're helping! You're gross! I need your help! What oh, do you do? What are you doing? I need your help, please! Oh, it's all over me. Nutella, it's just Nutella. You didn't actually poop your pants? I didn't, it's all, <laughs> I think, oh. I don't know if I trust you. <laughs> well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one totally works. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't this a good one, Mike? Robbie, I really think you went a little too far. I'm, I've had it, I'm done with it. I, I can't live with you, what? I can't do this. This is, no, that's it, don't put your, get your hand on my face. I can't freaking do this. Goodbye. I wonder what his problem was. I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. What have I done? I messed up. I shouldn't have done what I did. Robbie, I really think you went a little too far. Maybe I sent it a little too far, bud. Stop, stop. No, I need your help! <gasps> I thought I was doing it for the crafts. Goodbye! But I should have done it for my friends. At the end of the day, crafts are all I know. What the heck am I doing? I have an outro to film. Oh man, I really hope this doesn't destroy my toaster. This is so scary. Live at 10 o'clock at night, in his craft corner, Robbie Epic Thank you! Thank you very much! Hi! Whoa! Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and this is my craft corner. And today, we're gonna be trying a bunch of fun TikTok life hacks. Let's do this. Okay, so here's my mask, here's my tea light. Now we're just gonna go ahead and hot glue the little earpieces onto the tea light. Boop -boop -boop. So that's good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and let the glue cool down. Yeah, that looks uh, that looks pretty good. I mean, it's a little crooked, but it's okay. Is it gonna float? I have no idea. I guess we just have to try it out. My prediction is it's just gonna burn up the mask. But here we go. Okay, you got this candle. You got this. Come on, it's not even lifting up the mask. Oh, I'm getting wax everywhere. Do I let the do I let the flame get a little bit bigger? I'm gonna let it get a little bit bigger and then I'm gonna let it go. Okay, are you guys ready? Oh no, it burned out. Oh, oh no, my tea light burned all the way out. Two hours later. Okay guys, we're back and I put a brand new tea light in there. 
Ooh, baby. That is bird and bright. Okay, I think we're all set. You guys ready? I'm gonna let go. In three, two, one. Oh god, oh god. It's not lifting it up at all. And I'm kind of scared that it's gonna light this mask on fire. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Oh my god. What the f Okay guys, so this one actually looks like a lot of fun, but I definitely want to make sure that I'm safe So I'm gonna be wearing two pairs of gloves a face mask and also earmuffs so I don't go deaf face mask first Ooh. Then I'm doing my earmuffs and then the gloves Okay, maybe one set of gloves is enough. Can I still wear my hat with this on? Oh, no, that's not happening. <laughs> okay, so here's our little bottle. Here's our flamethrower, guys. So first I'm gonna fill it up with the gas. Okay, three, two. It's not working. I don't know why it's not working. I'm really not sure what the heck's going on here. One, two. Oh, that's unfortunate. I was really excited for this one to work. Yeah, the gas is definitely going when I half press it. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. That's pretty lame. Probably one of the best kept secrets for solving the Rubik's Cube. You can solve any Rubik's Cube starting in any position. You're gonna turn the left side counterclockwise, turn the top clockwise, so it looks like this, over and over again. Okay guys, so I went out and I bought a brand new Rubik's Cube for this. I didn't have a Rubik's Cube, can you believe that? I could've swore I did. Anyway, before we do this, I have to do the painful part. You ready? Mixing it up. Oh boy. Yeah, I don't know how to solve a Rubik's Cube. I think Tori might, but I don't. So this might be the last time this ever gets solved by me. So the first move is I have to do it up like this and then over one like that. So up, over, up, over. And then I have to keep repeating it until it solves itself. So, <laughs> here we go. Okay, let's see how long this takes. I'm gonna go ahead and do this for 10 minutes and uh, we'll see if let's it works. Do this. Let's 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 do this. Okay guys, it's been like 15 minutes and I've uh, been doing the same thing and uh, no, the same results. I feel like the reason this wouldn't actually work is because these four never actually change. So these four will be yellow, but these four will always stay the same. If you go, if you slide it up and then slide it to the side, these ones will also never change, see? I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Completely bogus. Get your pip towel, do a snore and a wee. <laughs> Okay, so let me practice the first basic sound. You want a little something like. Oh no, I just got a booger. Oh, snot rocket right out of my nose. That's disgusting. Now, here's our paper towel roll. Here we go. Wow, I actually kind of sound like a lion. This is actually pretty neat. say that this one totally works. Okay, this is seriously one of the best hacks I've learned from TikTok. I saw a couple videos making this twisted bacon. It looked so good. They said it was a perfect combination of crispy and chewy. I put it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes, flipped it over, put it in for another 20 minutes. It turned out perfect. Okay, so here's our tray. Here's our bacon. The real star of the show, honestly. Don't need that anymore. Now the bacon is free. Now it's time to twist some bacon. I'm just hoping I'm doing this right. Bacon twists, bacon twists. Okay, one down, a pound to go. Wow, these are looking pretty good. Now I'm gonna toss these in the oven for 40 minutes. That's a long time to wait for bacon. But uh, yeah, I'll see you when this is done. One eternity later. Okay, and this is how they turned out. They were in the oven for about 40 minutes, so they're pretty crispy. They have a fun little twist in them, so that's nice. But how does it taste? We're about to find out. Oh my gosh. Wow, this is pretty good. Do I say that's better than normal bacon? Eh. It feels like I got a lot less bacon out of this, which I know isn't true because that's not how science works. Ooh, but I really do like how crispy it gets. It is pretty nice. So bacon twists, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one 100% works.
If your feet hurt, you need to get in your car right now, drive to Home Depot to wherever they're selling these PVC pipes at, and purchase bare minimum two of them. You need one for the car and one for the crib. I no longer have any foot pain. <laughs> Okay guys, so I don't actually have a giant pipe on hand. I have an easy solution for this. I'm just gonna go ahead and break out my shop vac and take off this guy. This should do perfectly. This is all I need you for, thank you. Okay, are you guys ready for this? So apparently it's supposed to be just like this great massage on your feet. Let's see if I can even balance on this. Oh God. Oh, oh. I'm gonna use a chair for balance. Ooh, that does feel nice on my feet. I'm not gonna lie. That's pretty good. Ooh, that's pretty nice. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. Okay, so here's our bread. Go ahead and break out a couple of slices. There's our plate. Boop -a boop Let me go ahead and get some Hershey's chocolate and just put them right on the center. Boop. Put the top on, break out our glass, and just go. Oh, that's not good. The bread broke. I'm gonna try this again. Maybe I need less chocolate in the middle. And here we go. Break away the outer part, and we should have ourselves a nice little chocolate pouch. I mean, it's kind of staying together. It looks pretty good. Let's go throw this bad boy in the toaster. Boobity boop. Here's our toaster. Here's our little chocolate Uncrustables guy. I'm just gonna put it right in. Oh man, I really hope this doesn't destroy my toaster. And now we wait. Oh, and it's done. Oh, oh, hi, hi. Get out of here, toaster. Look how beautiful oh. that is. This thing is toasted to perfection. Let's go ahead and rip it open, see how it looks. You ready? Oh, ho, ho. that looks pretty delicious. I'm not gonna lie. But how does it taste? It uh, tastes just like chocolate on bread. Wow, I didn't expect that outcome. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one is delicious and it works. Okay, so here's our wine bottle. I tried to make sure that I got one that looked exactly like the one that she had. That way, there wouldn't be any differences. So, it has to be pretty much the same thing. Plus, this is bubbly, so it'll help it actually burst open. In theory. Oh, dude, that looks just like her bottle in the video. Like, to a T. I want everything in the video to be as close as possible, so I'm even sitting down. So, it looks like she just got her wine glass, and she sort of just went like this. So I guess I'm gonna keep doing that until it pops open. It's kind of scary because she's not even wearing like proper pants. So if the glass broke on her leg, it could totally cut her. I mean, I could only talk so much about safety, but geez. Maybe if I shake it. This is so scary. It's not working. What am I doing wrong? Oh, uh, so she did it kind of hard. So, okay, let's try it. One, two, and this isn't working. I broke the wine glass. <laughs> it actually freaking worked. What? Oh, it smells like my parents' house in here. Wow. Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. This was awesome. I'm gonna try this at parties. Mashed potatoes. Made from potato chips. Three ounces of potato chips with one cup of water. Got our chips with a big spoon. Just get them moistened first. So now after a couple of minutes, you can see, look, quarter cup of half and half. Now we're talking. Okay, guys, so here are our chips. Classic Lay's. Here's our stove. Smack a pot on there. And we put in a bunch of our chips. Ooh. Go ahead and add a little bit of milk. And we just start crushing these bad boys up. Ooh, get back in there. I wonder if this is how you make mashed potatoes in prison. I wouldn't be surprised. I mean, I feel like potato chips are gonna be a lot more common than just a potato laying around. I need more milk. Okay, I feel like this is gonna take a little while, so I'll let you guys know uh, how this turns out as it progresses. 328 AM. Okay, it's definitely progressing into mashed potatoes. Chips are just like mashed potatoes that are like dried out into chip shapes, right? So I wouldn't see why we couldn't just rehydrate the potatoes, make it into mashed potato. Yeah, so this is kind of how it turned out. It's kind of really slimy and squishy looking. It still definitely has quality of chips. It looks like it's the texture of chips a little bit. Like you can see some of the flat bits still in there, but 
I feel like this is about as good as we're gonna get. Well, I guess it's time to try it. This is gonna be interesting. Ooh. So it smells uh, just like potato chips, but how does it taste? It tastes kind of like um, soggy potato chips that have been fried. <laughs> I mean, if someone handed me this and told me that was mashed potatoes, would I argue with them? Probably not. But would I say that it tastes weird? Yes. Yes, I would. Well, guys, I guess I'm going to have to say that this one actually works. We got our hand sanitizer, and then we got our paper towel. Yo! Okay, guys, so here's our hand sanitizer. Here's our napkin. Go ahead and squirt some of that right on our plate. Yeah, that ought to do it. Now, apparently, all the napkin has to do is make contact with the hand sanitizer and it just magically combusts. <laughs> yeah, I don't think this one's actually gonna work. You guys ready? Three, two, one, and... Yeah, this one doesn't work at all. In the video, what I'm pretty sure ended up happening was they put their hand sanitizer on, lit it on fire, the camera doesn't pick it up, and they put their napkin in, and boom, it got set on fire. Oh God, oh God, oh God. I just burned the heck out of my car. Apparently this is still on fire. Oh man, that could have ended badly. Anyway guys, it does work only if you light the hand sanitizer on fire first. You've been life hacked. To have the fire extinguisher on hand just in case. Here we go, I got one that I think will work. Okay, you guys ready? Three, two, Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and this is my craft corner. And today we're gonna be trying a bunch of fun TikTok life hacks and pranks that I found. I'm gonna tell you right now, I spent hours looking for these things. Just constant hours and hours of mindless scrolling. I did it for you guys, okay? Anyway, let's do this. They say that you put baking soda into ketchup, something cool happens. Oops, more shaking. This one looks like it's gonna be a lot of fun. So let's grab our baking soda and our ketchup. Oh man, I really hope I have freaking ketchup. Oh, I'm in luck! Oh boy, I can't wait for this mess to happen. This is honestly such a waste of ketchup. This is so much ketchup. So can I just, here we go, here we go. Oh, yeah, I think that should be enough, right? Okay, now we have to mix. Shake, shake, shake! <laughs> Very powdery. Let's really mix it all together. Dude, it's starting to expand. Oh, I'm scared. This is gonna be scary. Okay. Oh my gosh, I'm so scared. Oh my gosh. I'm scared to open it. I feel like it's just gonna pop open. Okay. Keep sho- Oh, it's solid now. It's gonna bust. Oh my god, it's gonna- Oh gosh. I'm kind of scared. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna throw a spoon at it. Oh gosh. I get this rake. What if I poke it with this rake? Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh my gosh. Come on, cat. Come on, cat. Dude, I'm so scared. <gasps> that is in a very, very solid bottle of ketchup. Like it feels like glass. Oh my gosh. Shake it up some more. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna open. Oh gosh. Oh no. Oh my god. Ooh. That got everywhere. Oh, it keeps going. Oh no. <laughs> wow. Oh. oh no, I got it all over my white awning. Oh, I really hope that doesn't stain. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. <laughs> Let's go find ourselves some cheese. Mm, this is gonna be good. <laughs> I'll throw it a Bransky! Yes? Hey, I have something for you. What is it? Come here. Yeah. No, come here. No, what is it? Tori, come here. No. No, come no. here. No, tell me what it is. No. <laughs> <laughs> Get him, Veg! Get the flying cheese! <laughs> it is what it, he threw cheese at me? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you go! <laughs> I got you. Oh wait, you can decorate my Christmas tree. It looks beautiful. Perfect. I love it. Thank you. You did good. <laughs> and 
fancy. Well guys, I guess I've got to say that this one works. I don't think Tori ever saw it coming. She threw it at me. Benj, you don't want this. This is gonna be revenge cheese. Let me in! I'm gonna cheese you! No, you're not! I'm gonna cheese you! Here you go. Take it. My fiance got sweaty on his run. Time to dry him off. We're gonna need a few things for this one. And that's exactly why I'm taking you to my garage. Oh yes, welcome to my garage. Wait, I need to turn on the lights. Welcome to my garage. It's basically my craft corner, but only, you know, the garage stuff. And if you walk with me a little bit over to the right, we have a bunch of storage bins. I still have to kind of organize them a little bit, but in one of these, I have a bunch of paint stuff. I'm guessing it's the blue one. Oh yes, it's my paint stuff. This is exactly what we're looking for. Don't need any of that. Okay, I'm gonna clean this up really quick and then we're gonna get to it. So now that we have our paint roller, we just go ahead and grab our trusty leaf blower, and we just go ahead and tape it right on. Boopity boop. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Pretty on there. Plug it in, plug it in. Go ahead and put on our toilet paper. It should just slide right on there. I'm pretty excited for this one. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Oh, Tori Dabranski! Come here, I have a surprise for you. I have a special surprise. <laughs> It's a really good surprise. <laughs> I got you! Oh no, she's hiding. <laughs> Would you like surprise? No! <laughs> I don't! <laughs> Wait, no, 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 Eventually. Dude, now we're gonna have to clean all of it up. You can pray! Welcome back! Wait, no, try it! I need your help clean this up! Come back! <sighs> well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. Now I have to clean all this up. <gasps> guys, we need to make this. Four Oreos. One fourth cup milk. Smash. Keep smashing. One tablespoon sugar. One tablespoon flour. One half teaspoon baking powder. One teaspoon cocoa powder. Stir. Put one Oreo in there. Sink it and have it covered with that stuff. Microwave. One minute. Okay, guys, the first thing we're gonna need is something to put this masterpiece in. What a beautiful mug. If you guys wanna follow me on TikTok, my ad is at Robbie Epic Sauce. Along with everything else. Anyway, after that, we grab some Oreos. All I have are the golden Oreos, and it blends in with the background. We're supposed to grab three of them. No more, no less. Go ahead and mash them up. Oh, yes. One fourth cup of milk. Add a little bit of sugar. Like this freaking needs any, am I right? Half a tablespoon of baking powder. Yeah, that's about half. One tablespoon of flour. Boop. I actually don't have any cocoa powder because uh, mine actually exploded. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this hot cocoa mix. I'm sure it's like pretty much the same thing. Like it's just cocoa powder, right? I probably added way too much. Oh, one tablespoon? Oh, that's way more. Oh, we are good. Probably a little too much. Mix, mix, mix. Mmm, that looks delicious. Oh, God. <laughs> we go ahead and add one more Oreo for good measure. And just bury that right in there. Now you're going in the microwave for one minute. And this little piggy went to the microwave. I'll see you in one minute. Okay, what's the verdict here? Ooh. Whoa! Looks like it could be a cake. I feel like it needs a little bit more time, so that's what I'm gonna do, but I'm impressed. Let's try it out in 30 seconds, shall we? Okay guys, and here are the final results. Can you see that? Can you can you can you see inside? So it kind of looks like it cooked actually. It looks like a cake. It's no longer liquid inside. It actually looks uh, you know, cake-like, so that's pretty cool. I'm pretty impressed so far. But how does it taste? Let's find out. This is Robbie's official taste test review. Maybe I should start a food review channel. Yeah, so this is uh this is uh, this is what it looks like. Definitely interesting. <laughs> It tastes like a cake, like a very moist cake. Actually, this is, this is like one of the moistest cakes I have ever eaten. Look at that. Oh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of Nutella. Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby, boo. Ooh. Oh, 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 this is gonna be good. Woo! I'm gonna eat this whole thing. Well, guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one definitely works. And it's delicious. First, take a pint glass, same way. Let's just 
regular refrigerator to get monster and I can go to my giant monster fridge to get monster. Ooh, baby. This has to be the best thing I've ever found on the side of the road. Well, technically Kyle found it. Anyway, got our monster, got our glass. Well, I'm using a mug for this one. I'm sure it's the same thing. Cracker open. Also, I know they use beer for this one, but I'm using monster instead because I don't drink. Also, I really want monster to sponsor me. Okay, you ready? One, two, and <laughs> oh no, there we go. Oh, wow! Dude, it's not fizzing up at all. That's great. The perfect pour. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one 100% works. So am I the only one that didn't know when you blend together regular sugar, powdered sugar, it turns to cotton candy? What the heck? What? Okay guys, so I really wanted to do this one, but unfortunately I don't have any powdered sugar. I literally looked everywhere. I just have no powdered sugar in my house. But I googled it, and it said I can make powdered sugar in the blender. Well now we're just killing two birds with one stone. Okay. Here's our high power blender, and we just go ahead and toss in some sugar. Gotta save some for the second part where we add more sugar. I'm starting to think that this might be a ruse. Here we go. is fine. That's probably better than store stuff, if I'm being honest. Mmm, tasty. Okay, so now that we have our powdered sugar, we go ahead and add more sugar. Yes, this is totally going to work. You see the two different types of sugar? I'm excited to have some cotton candy. Okay. Back in the blender it goes. It doesn't really look like cotton candy is being formed. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Oh, gosh. Yeah, so uh, this is what it looks like. You know, I've eaten a lot of cotton candy in my day, and I can confidently say that that is not cotton candy. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this doesn't work. Which is really unfortunate, because I was looking forward to having an easy way to make homemade cotton candy. I guess I'm just gonna have to buy a cotton candy machine. Okay, guys, so first things first, we're gonna need a liquid. And this is kind of clear, so I'm gonna brighten it up with some blue food dye. Boo, boo, boo. Mix, mix, mix. Ooh, that is a really pretty purple slash blue. I wonder how this monster tastes now. It definitely tastes a little bit more blue. I think the color does something to the flavor, I don't know. So now we're gonna go ahead and pour it into a wine glass. Perfect. Oh no, but I actually wanted to put it in this wine glass. Well, all we gotta do is get a straw, do a little snip, snip. Put these guys really close together, and hopefully some magic's about to happen. Just kind of dunk it in like that. Is it gonna work? It's not working. Okay, we'll try it again. Maybe I cut the straw a little too short. <gasps> no, it's working! I got it to work! It's working, it's working! Oh my gosh! Wow. Science at its best. I'm gonna try it with a longer straw. <gasps> it's working! It's going, it's going, it's going, it's going, it's going, it's going! Oh my gosh, it's still going. Oh my god, keep going, keep going. What? Oh! Well guys, I guess I've got to say that this one 100% works. It just kind of stops whenever you get to the end of the straw, but it actually works. I don't know what I use this wine glass for, but it tastes a little weird. Just gotta get a charger real quick. Perfect. All right, the batteries have to touch mm. one this way, the other one the other way. Mm. Then you put the other one on the top like this. All right, guys, the last step is just to plug in the phone. See, as you can see, it's connected. Plug it in. Oh. One more ship. Okay, guys, so here's our charger. Here's my phone. And instead of using small batteries, I'm gonna go ahead and use giant D batteries. Honestly, if these don't work, I don't know what will. So we just go, whoop, and then so that it touches. Just like that. And then we put this battery right here. Wait, I need to flip one of these around. Just like that. Okay, that's better. So we put it like that. Then we grab our phone. Plug it in. Three, two, one. It's not working. I think my charger might be broken. Here we go. I got one that I think will work. Okay, you guys ready? Three, two. What? Nothing? Oh, maybe that will do it? No, nothing's happening. How the heck am I gonna charge my phone now? Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Really unfortunate. I thought this would be a really viable life hack. TikTok, I trusted you. Teacher is bored as farts with no students to teach. Oh hey, let's throw crap in the microwave. Lipo, surely this will be fine. Beaker, a little water. 
Is this a bad idea? Still gonna send it? Call me Thomas Freakin' Edison. Okay, so here's our microwave. And what I'm gonna do just to be safe is get myself a surge protector, plug it into that bad boy, and I take that surge protector and plug it into another surge protector. Now I'm double safe. That's how it works, right? I really hope so. I don't have a beaker, so instead, I'm just gonna go ahead and use this measuring cup. Can't forget the water. Oh no, Ugh, I really need to do dishes. <laughs> Yeah, that should be enough. Go ahead and grab our light bulb. Something like this ought to do. It's even low wattage. Drop that in. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, gonna have the fire extinguisher on hand just in case. And... Oh God. Is it gonna light? Is it gonna turn on? Turn on, turn on, turn on. Yeah, nothing is happening. It's kinda scary, so I'm gonna stop it. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one Work. What a shame, I was excited to light up my microwave in new and fascinating ways. I've been attacked by a demon. He unzipped my face and then he scratched me. Tori, what did you do to your eye? Hey guys, how you doing? Hey. My name is Robbie and today we have a very special guest. Come out here, Tori Dabransky! Okay, guys, in case you guys didn't know, this is my girlfriend, and no, we didn't break up. We're still together. We're still together, thanks for asking. Bye -bye. And today, we're gonna be trying some fun makeup hacks from a little channel you guys might have heard of. Have you heard of it? It's called Five Minute Crafts. Never heard of it. Let's get that? out of here. Oh, okay. Leave. Stop, I need you for makeup. Come back. Okay, yeah, let's check out the first makeup hack. <laughs> So the first thing we're gonna need is to put Tora Dabransky's hair back because we don't want to get latex in her hair. Now we grab our liquid latex, just pour a little plate of that. Ooh, you excited? No. And then I put all around. Don't move, don't move, don't move. I'm pretty good, there we go. Now I add some more latex. And we gotta wait for like 10 minutes for this to dry. Later in the void. Now it's time to cut it open. Mm -hmm. You want You want to do it? Mm -hmm. Okay, You here, get get into the camera. Oh my gosh, this is scary. Yeah. Oh my. Okay. Hey, I can talk again, hello! Oh man, we gotta put this back on. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and pull this back a little bit. Okay, okay. and then I kinda wanna make this match your skin color a little bit more. So I'm gonna put on some foundation. Dude, this stuff is powerful. You can't even tell it's there now. On camera, it looks great, okay? Then we go ahead and blend it in. Really just blend it in. This might take a while. There's a lot of makeup here to blend in. Okay, looking pretty good. Okay, so now we get our black face paint and then we just uh, fill her right in. Yes, just get right, just get right in there. Ooh, yes. <laughs> looks so pretty now. Hey, hey baby boy. Now it's time to bring in our fake blood. There we go, let's add some more fake blood. Oh! <laughs> We're just really testing the limits of this napkin, aren't we? <laughs> Good thing we got name brand napkin. Ooh, I'm liking this. This is looking pretty scary. Pretty hairy, pretty scary. I should have given this to you at first, but I forgot. There you go. Now you're wearing pink apron. <laughs> Robbie's. <laughs> Rob is the so king funny. of crafts. So the recipe actually calls for nails. So I'm gonna look through my tool uh, box really quick to see if I, ooh, here's something we can use. I like that, here, hold that. It's a good thing I have a bunch of this hardware just laying around. Okay, you ready for this? This is gonna be the scary part. So I'm gonna have to screw it in like that. I don't know if it hurts you. Please don't move. <laughs> Ooh, here we go. Yeah, so one down. Looking pretty, that's looking pretty spooky already. One down, a few more to go. There we go. Looks pretty, looks pretty good. I'm gonna add a little bit more blood just to really sell this. Wow. <laughs> Aren't you impressed, Tony Dabrowski? <laughs> I'm gonna take this off so we don't have a pink apron on. Hey guys, it's Tori Dabrowski. Today I'm gonna show you how to do this what? wonderful Screwed up your face! <laughs> Aren't I so funny? So I guess we're gonna have to say that this one 100% works. So Tori actually decided to put in some red contacts and it looks really cool. Whoa! Well guys, I guess it's everyone's favorite part of the video where we look at the thumbnail! Woo! So 
the first thing we're gonna need is a little pad. And also some more liquid latex. Okay, so they just kind of ripped theirs in half like this. They put the fluffy part on the outside. Do you want your left or right eye? I feel like the left eye would be easier for me. So Tori doesn't want me to get it in her little eyebrow, whatever's left of her little eyebrow here. So I'm gonna have to be really careful to get it kind of like up here instead. We're gonna go ahead and add the latex around the eye. Pretty good. Now we let it dry for a little bit. A few moments later. Now that that's dry, we go ahead and break out our fake blood. You can't tell, but Tori's winking right now. <laughs> Ooh, yummy. Tori, where did your eye go? Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Now I don't really have any pencils, so we're actually gonna use a drill bit because I feel like it kind of goes better with the theme. It was actually Tori Debranski's idea. So now I have to carefully put this drill bit in your eye. Don't move, please. Tell me if I hit anything. It's so scary. I feel like this is gonna be harder than I thought. Oh no! I can't really get it in. <laughs> I'm gonna get some scissors. Hmm, Robbie. <laughs> don't move. Here, I'll put, like my I'll put my finger back here. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take it off, and I'm just gonna put the holes in already. Put that in. That's a little better, I guess. And then I gotta redo the liquid latex on her face. Yeah, oh, we can, now I just gotta put it back on. Now let me put it on. Be very, very careful. Ooh, that's looking pretty spooky. Now the only problem is we have to let it dry again a little bit. So I guess we gotta wait for it to dry again. Uh. Now that it's dry, I'm gonna touch up some of the blood. Right up in there. Gravity from the blood would have gone down like this. Maybe touch up some of this. Tori, what did you do to your eye? I don't know how to use tools. <laughs> this was Tori's first time using a drill. You can't be mad. <laughs> That's a pretty scary face, Tori Dabransky. I don't know how you do it. Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one totally works. And it looks really crazy. Do you like it, Tori? Mm -hmm. Nebranski's turn to do my makeup. Ready? I'm ready. Are you ready to, to do this? I'm prepared. Are you committed? I'm so, committed. So, for, so first she needs to put on the zipper. She's gonna use some liquid latex for that. We just go like that. See? And then it's gonna be good. Yeah. So she's putting some liquid latex on it. And then she's going to put it on my face. Oh my gosh. So now she's adding the liquid latex around it so that it stays in place a little better. Now we have to wait for this latex to dry. I can't really talk very much because I feel like it's gonna come off. And also, Tori has a finger at the bottom of my throat, so it makes it a little harder to talk. Yeah, that looks uh, pretty good. Now we're gonna do some face paint. It looks like ketchup. So instead of glitter, we're actually gonna just use more fake blood. That way it looks really gory. Plus, I don't really want glitter because glitter kind of gets everywhere. Yeah, that's looking pretty scary. <laughs> wow. Is this is this the whole tutorial? Is this everything? That's it. Okay, I'm gonna put my hair down. Oh no! I unzipped my face and now there's no skin underneath. Do you hate it when it happened when that happened? Don't you hate it when you unzip your face and there's just no skin? Yeah, me too. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one totally works. Pretty cool makeup tutorial. Uh great for parties. Just show up like this at a party. I bet everyone will love it. Okay. <laughs> Okay, time to see how I got these scars. Well, I don't have any of the scars yet. Uh, Tori's gonna put them on my face. We're gonna, I shouldn't have put my hair down. Why did I put my hair down? Gotta put my hair back up, I guess. Like how we did Tori's eye because we don't have any of that weird putty stuff. So we're just gonna go ahead and use some toilet paper instead for the base part. Okay, time for the first scar. Ooh, baby. Mm, yummy. To the neck. Yeah, there we go. Cut that off. Is good? Oh, it's great. I'm not very good at this. <laughs> it's okay, I believe in you. Just this part that's right by your eyebrow. Just get it in there. You look great. <laughs> right on my eyebrow. Now she's gonna cut it. Oh no! <laughs> so sorry. You're doing great. This really looks quality. Just add a patch. I took part of it off on accident. I need to add it back. Okay, now we wait for this bad boy to dry. And by wait for it to dry, I actually mean force it dry. Okay, we're all dry. Now all we gotta do is cut it open. Cut me open, Tori Dabransky. Oh. Split me in half. I already did that. Oh, you already did it? Yeah, maybe that's why it wasn't working so well. Oh, I'm gonna keep so... <laughs> I, could, here, I, would, wait. I would pull them open a little bit. 
Yeah. Just really ripped me open. These are great. Okay, now it's time for makeup. Ooh, yes. Flesh tone. I love it. Flesh tone me, daddy. But that guys, Tori actually has the account daddy on Among Us. So now she's daddy. And I have the account dirt. This definitely doesn't look like we just glued toilet paper onto your face and then put a buttload of concealer on it. It doesn't? That's good. At all. No, it looks very natural. It's looking pretty good to me. If I just keep adding more, it'll just make it more obvious. Pretty good. Yeah, you look great, Rafi. Gonna add a little bit of finishing powder. Thanks for finishing me off, Daddy. I really appreciate it. Now we're gonna add the blood. Mm. Yes. Ooh, bloody. Oh, that blood. Ooh, yes. Get in my gouges. What? That does not sound very good. Just get it all inside my gouges, Tori. I've been attacked by a demon. He unzipped my face and then he scratched me. Look. I was moving something and I said, hey, can you scratch my face for me? And he was like, yes. And he really overdid it himself, okay? Wow, this looks pretty good. Okay, so here's Tori Nebraska's and here's the original. Yeah, looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. What do you think, Tori? You did a great job. I think you did a fantastic job. Let me actually get a mirror. Oh, actually? Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one totally works. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and about six months ago, my buddy Hair Jordan got really mad at me after I pranked him really hard. Oh, oh my god, I stabbed my head! Oh my god, I'm crash and sick, dude! I'm gonna be sick. And then it turned into a total prank war. And eventually, I guess it just sort of got between us, so he just stopped hanging out with me. But after apologizing about a thousand times, he finally forgave me, and today we're hanging out. And it has been really boring. So I decided to pull some pranks on him. It'll be just like old times. Okay guys, so here's our contact solution. Here's our glue. All you gotta do is mix that up into this guy. Boobity boo. It's clear, so you can't really see it. Next one. They didn't tell me the ratio. This is kind of all my glue, so I'm hoping that this is enough. Then we go ahead and add our food coloring. I use red and yellow because that actually makes brown, I'm pretty sure. Oh, that looks just very red. Oh no. What other colors can I add in here? Ooh, green's a good choice. Well, just gonna have to mix this up and see what- Oh, that is a beautiful brown. That is perfect. Oh my goodness, this is awesome. Mix, mix, mix. Let me go ahead and add our contact solution. Boobity boo. Again, I don't really know how much to mix, so I'm gonna do it kind of a little bit at first and then do a little bit more as I go. Oh no, this is great. Let me add a little bit of baking soda. Mix, mix, mix! Oh my gosh, this is so perfect. Now let's go put it on our toilet. I have to go to the bathroom. Okay. So here's our toilet. Grab our cling wrap and our tape. Ooh, this is pretty, uh, ew. <laughs> I think I might have to do a I'm sorry video part two. Go ahead and click the card over here if you guys don't know what I'm talking about. After this video, of course. Anyway. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Good thing I use white tape, it really blends in with the toilet. Then we go ahead and grab our slime, and then we just kind of glob it on there. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> Oh no, I don't know if I made enough. Let's just spread it out a little bit. Oh, this is disgusting. I love it. Put <laughs> some toilet paper in there. Oh, yes. That's awesome. Okay. Okay, now it's time to call Chris. Ooh, oh my god. Hair Jordan. What? Hair Jordan. What? Dude, I completely messed up the toilet, man. Why are you telling me? I don't want to see. No, that. dude, I need I your help. Know. It's an emergency. Chris, no. Ah, no. I, don't help I need your this. help. This is an emergency. No. Come on. You do it. You're holding a clog. Dude. Holy crap. No! Dude, why did you help me? No. I don't know what to do! I've never clogged the toilet before! You you broke the seat? Was this already cracked? Did you do that just I went ham on this toilet, okay? Dude, you gonna know if you let me out! I'm not letting you out though! Let me out! Let me out! Let me out! I can't! I don't wanna be in there! Come back! Chris! Chris! No, Chris! Chris! Come back! No, 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 no. I have to confess something. Yeah. 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 That's not real. That's not real. <laughs> it's not real? even real. Look. Yeah, see? I can just put my hands in. Stop. 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 It's just slime. You come back. Isn't it funny? It's just slime. I don't know if I believe you. Well, guys, I guess I'm going to have to say that this one 
works. Okay, so here's our silly string. Here are our Febreze bottles. Now I have to somehow fadangle uh, the logos off of these things without ripping them. Does this come off? Oh, it does! Oh, that makes my life easier. I'm just gonna go ahead and break out my craft knife. I think this is actually a job for my scissors. Come on. Ooh, almost cut myself. This is proving to be a little bit harder than I thought. Wow. In case you guys ever wondered what the inside of a Febreze bottle looks like, uh, this is it. Wow. Interesting. Does it still work? Oh, perfect. Now for the other one. I think this one's gonna be a little harder. Oh, no, it just comes right off. Okay, now I have to somehow just glue this right on there. I'm gonna cut the top part off a little bit. Hope it fit. Yeah, that actually looks pretty legit. Wow, that's such a cute little Glade spray bottle, actually. I love this. Use a little bit of glue stick to help it stay on. And boop -de boop Yeah, that looks pretty good. Boop. Let's go try it out on Chris. Okay guys, so I'm gonna use my watch. It's gonna activate an app on my smartphone to make a fart noise. And I'm gonna say that it smells so bad, so Chris will be forced to use the Febreze. And then when he's caught off guard, I'm gonna spray him with the other one. It's the perfect prank. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hide my phone right on my chair. And now we wait. Three days later. Oh, oh, hey buddy. What's up, dude? Uh, welcome to my office. Thanks. Thanks for letting me uh plug your merch for you. <laughs> I like your shirt. So I, do you know why I brought you in here? Hang out, I thought. I have a very important thing to tell you, and that's, uh, oh, dude, bro, are you kidding me? Oh, 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 yeah. Dude, stop. Oh, dude, oh my god. Oh, stop. Stop. Oh, it's silly string. This one works. <laughs> okay, guys, so here are our glasses. We got a nice pair of Ray Bans. I'm gonna use some of the leftover slime from the toilet prank. Ooh. Ooh. Get a nice glob of that. Oh, turn on the Roomba. <laughs> and it's French. <laughs> Just put it on my lenses. Oh, yeah. Dude, he won't even notice that. Oh, that looks so gross, actually. Oh, okay. Let's go test it out on Chris. Oh, hey, Herr Jordan. Oh, what's up, dude? Hey, uh, do you wanna, do you wanna meet me out back real quick? That sounds like you wanna fight? No, I just, uh, just meet me out back. Woo! Hey, dude, so, what do you want? It's, like, really bright out here. Oh, I just, uh, I wanted to give you a gift. Really? Yeah, I got you some sunglasses. Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh, nice. Thanks, dude. Yeah, no problem. I, th I thought you'd like them. You know, it's a, it's a I'm sorry gift. What the heck? What the heck is this, dude? Look at this. What is this? <laughs> dude. Is this <laughs> Yeah, it is. Dude, take them back. I don't want, I do not want those. You got it on your face. Oh, my God. Where's the hose? <laughs> you have a hose back here? I don't have a hose back here. Ah, dude. Come on, take me in. Come on, I don't know the code. Let me in. The code. Let me in. Let me back in. Stop, stop. Let it was me a prank. in. It was a prank. It was a prank. How is it a prank? This is the slime from earlier. The toilet slime? Yeah. I pulled it out of the toilet. Let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Come on. You've been playing in this door, dude. I guess, I guess I've got to say that this one works. Still way too bright out here, dude. You've been pranked. I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my basket of tape. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Chris is actually a really heavy sleeper. Oh man, Chris is a really deep sleeper.
sleeper. Like, how the heck did he sleep through this? <laughs> okay, now it's time to wake him up. <laughs> what the heck? Stop off of me! What is going on? What the heck? Holy! Oh, dude! Why in the hair? In the hair? Come on, man! Chris, guess what? Ah! Guess what? You don't been, say it. You don't been. say it. You have a friend. Oh, 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 this is ripping my hair out. Oh, 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 this is ripping my hair out. Oh, 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 guys, I guess we're going to say that this one works. Oh, no. Oh, no. Can you get me a monster? No, I, I don't work for you anymore, dude. Chris! For old time's sake. Okay, I, I guess. Thanks, dude, I really appreciate it. I really, I really appreciate it. What flavor do you want? Uh, give me, uh, give me the orange one. What? You been pranked! Bro! Something's up. I had earplugs in the whole time! Yeah, I believe it. You can't hear anyway. <laughs> I need a hearing aid now. Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. Crafty Pan has never let me down before! <laughs> Can I get this out of my teeth? Oh, my teeth are green forever now. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. Some of you guys know me as a professional life pack tester and the Crack King. Also known as the guy who drinks way too many Monster Energy drinks. One day, I will get sponsored by Monster. And being such a crafty guy, you'd probably assume, oh, Robbie was probably really popular at school, wasn't he? And you'd be correct. Hey, Tori Dabransky. Yes? You believe I was popular in school, right? That's what you tell me. <laughs> but I don't know. You're, pro you're probably more popular than me in school, but that that's not really saying a lot. And considering that I graduated high school, uh, oh my God, I'm getting old. 10 years ago, almost 10 years ago, oh no, oh no. I'm getting really old, oh my gosh. I graduated almost 10 years ago in 2012. Ah! Guys, I know what's cool, okay? I know what today's youth is really into. You guys are into fun TikTok dances and uh, Logan Paul. That That's what they're into, right? So now that I have all this dirty craft money, I can think of nothing else besides going back to college. You know, even though I already graduated UCLA Film School, according to Google. So in order to help me with my fun transition back into school, today we're gonna be trying how to become popular. Nerd versus popular student. Girly hacks and DIY school supplies by the one and only Crafty Panda. Just kidding, they're not the one and only. They have so many channels. Okay, now let's see what the first step to becoming popular is. But before I start, make sure to hit that subscribe button Button. Turn on all your notifications and give this video a big old thumbs up. Anyway, okay, 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 uh. Okay, guys, so the best part about school is ignoring everyone, and the best way to do that is to wear headphones. The wireless ones are even better, because then people don't even notice, and then they talk to you no matter what. It's a great activity. Everyone's just jamming along, don't have to talk to no one, but all you have are these dumb, stinky, gross, wired headphones. Ugh. But here's a great solution. Just take out your scissors. Oh boy, yeah, wow, look at her. Look at her go, she has wireless headphones now. Uh, I'm gonna be honest guys, I really don't wanna do this. I don't wanna ruin another pair of headphones. I don't wanna do this.
this one, because uh, I've already done it, so I'm, sk I'm skipping it. That one's going to be a hard pass. So you're having a bad hair day, and you go to your friend, and in confidence, you show them, and they're like, oh, this is disgusting. How could how could you be a person? How could you exist? I have the perfect solution for Get you. Get the extensions and just shove them right inside your beanie. You stuck tape to hold them out. Perfect. That will never come off. This plan is full proof. And no one notices. Just everyone's like, wow, this is so real. They're so realistic. But little do they know, it's not real at all. Oh no, it just fell right off. She's a liar. That's a, sh her hair. Oh, her, uh, what? Oh my gosh. Well, it looks like it's time for me to try and find some extensions. And by find some extensions, I really mean steal them from my girlfriend. Just gonna venture into our bathroom really quick. <gasps> These are perfect. I mean, they don't quite match my hair color, but I guess they're good enough. <sighs> oh my gosh, I really need to clean off my desk. Everything's just been such a mess since the intern left, okay? I just messed up so much. Look, intern, if you're watching this, please come back. I just really miss having you around. You're just so much better at cleaning than me. Oh. Ooh, oh my gosh, this is like almost an entire pack of Oreos. Um, ah, there we go, much better. So just go ahead and grab your weave and start taping it inside your hat, I guess. Ooh, these are some messy extensions. I should have stole a pair from Tori that were already brushed out. Go ahead and break out some gaff tape. Here we go. I truly hope this goes as smoothly as in the tutorial. If not, I'm gonna be real mad. Just kidding. I, 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 I have chill. Oh! Just tape your hair just right in there. Yeah, that should uh, hold that in there. Okay, now let's try this bad boy on. <laughs> Are you guys ready for the moment of truth? Oh no, the tape, <laughs> tape is already falling off. I don't know if I like this. I'll see you guys on the other side. Oh, yeah! Oh, no. Oh, like half the hair fell out. Oh, that did not work at all. Oh, this is great! I fully feel like I've unlocked my full potential. But what does Tori think? Oh, Tori Dabrowski! Two hours later. Guys, it's been two hours. I'm starting to feel like she's not gonna come. One pair of pants later. Oh, hello! Tori Dabrowski! Tori, look, we match. What happened? Why, why can't your weave? I, I see, like, <laughs> oh, what is this? No, no, stop. What is this? Why? Wait, are you Why? clipping it? No, you can't clip it in my hair. I use duct tape. Ah! 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 No, Tori! I can't be seen without my weave. Why are you clipping your hair? Because the tutorial called for duct tape. But these have clips for your hair. Look, Crafty Pan has never let me down before. You can have your extensions back. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Tor now, Tori Dabransky, I'm up. I must see you out. Get out, get out. You don't like my weave? You don't like me? You can, you can get out of here. Get out of here. Sorry. Sorry. Don't tell me how to do my crafts. <laughs> well, guys, according to Tori, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. And what a shame. I was really looking forward to taping more hair into my hair. <sighs> On to the next one, I guess. Oh no, she's getting mad. Oh no, she brought the pencil. Oh no. Oh no, she broke it. Now she's sad. But this coffee. Oh, who, why the heck do you need coffee? Oh, she's mad. She broke the pencil. That pencil never saw it coming. Why is she mad exactly? Oh, this girl is talking to this guy. And now she's mad. But now she's got to get revenge. All you need is some food dye. Just go ahead and put it right in their coffee. Ooh. <laughs> Yummy. When they're not looking, just switch it over. Oh, but what's this? We have someone who's going to intervene. No, no. She switched them. She did the double switcheroo. The double quadruple sw switcheroo! She knew that's what she switched! Switch, 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 switch. So now, when the girl goes to drink her coffee, the other girl's just getting normal coffee! But in real life, she was pranked! Got she it. pranked herself! You gun got did it! You did it to yourself! And now everyone is laughing at you! Congratulations, you played yourself. I've never learned so much about how to be popular in my life. So moral yeah. of the story, pranks, not cool. If that's the case, I'm never gonna do another prank in my entire life. But for the sake of the video, I guess we're gonna try this prank. This is a pretty old prank, but I don't think I've ever done it to Tori Dabransky. So, uh, <laughs> let's test it out. Just go ahead and grab ourselves some of this. Ooh, yeah, some of that should do. Okay, I swear I'm not crazy. This thing is talking. Do you guys hear this? 
What? There's a voice coming from this thing. I think it's a cursed object. But in all fairness, I did find this giant speaker on the side of the road. And it would be really rude to kick the ghost out of my house, so <laughs> you get to stay for now. Look, now back at the task at hand. We're just gonna go ahead and get some of this stuff and then put it into this stuff. Yeah. Ooh. Yes. Now we mix, mix, mix. Look, how green could it be? Oh! Oh my gosh, it got all, it dyed my skin. It, oh my gosh, it's dyeing my skin. It got everywhere, all over my table. Ah, yummy. <laughs> wow, I think that this one is surefire to work. Can I get this out of my teeth? Oh, my teeth are green forever now. Uh, let's just hope that Tori doesn't notice. Oh, why do I live in a place with stairs? Oh, Tori Dabransky. Would you like to, would you like some delicious monster? It's, it, I, I just, I started drinking it already. I don't want it anymore. No, just drink, come I, on. I like know. we've never swapped spit before. I know, when it comes to you giving me things, it's either a prank or it's a nice gift. And I don't feel like this is a nice gift. Tori, this is a nice gift. I'm just trying to, stop, no, Tori, 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 it's okay. What is it? It's just monster. Is it? No, it's not, it's not just. No, it's just monster, Tori. You were gonna die? <laughs> I'm trying to make your, I'm trying to make your teeth match your I hair. would have been so f***ing sad <laughs> if I drank this. I would have cried. Am I popular uh, yet? No, I would. I'm no. trying to become popular. No, I'm gonna make fun of you now. I'm gonna oh. bully you, dude. Oh my gosh, maybe the video is right. I'm gonna straight up bully you. <gasps> The video was right! This isn't how you become popular! Oh my gosh, I think Crafty Panda might be onto something. Well guys, I guess in this case, Crafty Panda was 100% right. Okay, so since the last one didn't really mull over very well with Tori Dabransky, maybe this next one will. They're like, yeah, she dresses like a dweeb. You know what would be a great idea? If I put lipstick all over the back of her shirt. I love it when my friends do that. And then all the other friends laugh. What was the joke? This is the only surefire way to be popular at school. Or so you think. This girl's gonna go and turn it all around. Just take that darn dirty jacket and add even more lipstick to it. But make it permanent. Just put some dye and then you just go ham. You just start making out with the back of your shirt. Ooh. Heather number one doesn't like it because Heather number two and three absolutely adore this fashion. If you're trying to be popular, this is the way. Take that. Heather number one. So first things first, I'm gonna need to change this shirt. Oh yes, this one should do. Oh, wait, I wasn't supposed to change my shirt yet. Uh, okay, we got our shirt, we got our saran wrap. Oh gosh, oh my goodness. And then I don't have any of that fabric dye stuff, so I'm just gonna use real lipstick. This literally feels so dangerous. I guess I just won't put it over my nose. Okay, it won't stay. Mm-hmm, mm. Masterpiece. It definitely looks like someone made out with my shirt. But will this make me popular? Let's find out. Oh, hey, Tora Dabransky. Oh, hi. How you doing? I can barely see you. It's so dark in here. Welcome to my darkness. Do you uh, notice anything different about me? Do you put stuff on your back? Oh, my gosh, guys. She's noticed. Yes, I did. What is it? It's the newest fashion trend. Is it blood? <laughs> no, Tori. It's lipstick. See, it looks like someone made out with my back. Okay. Yeah, it looks good, right? See, it's uh, it's all the rage. I mean, if you say so, I guess. Do you think I'm popular now? Sure, why not? I believe you can be popular. Well, guys, if a cool girl like Tori Dabransky says I look like I could be popular, I guess I'd be popular for sure. So I guess we're gonna have to say that Crafty Panda was 100% correct again. Here's a list of my goals. Eat healthy, exercise more, and become popular. Duh. And what better way to do that than draw a, a donut? On your backpack, I guess? All the cool kids, they love donuts. Look at her, oh, she loves it. Oh, wow. Donuts wow. in fashion right now. Don't believe me, just Google it, I dare you. So I'd rather not ruin any more of my shirts today, so I'm just gonna go ahead and draw on a lens cap. Shirt, lens cap, it's the same thing, right? I can't wait for everyone to be like, oh my gosh, I love your lens cap. So I guess we start off with brown. This is gonna be the donut part. You can't have a donut without the dough. I guess you could technically skip the nuts though. Ooh. Now we're gonna go ahead and draw the outline of our frosting. Then we're gonna go ahead and fill this guy in. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, uh, no. What have I done? What have I done? Okay, now for the sprinkles. <laughs> Ooh. 
And there we go. We have our donut. It's not the prettiest donut, but who do you think I am? ZHC? Come on. Yeah, this is uh, this is pretty fun. I like this donut. I'm so glad I did this. I feel 10 times cooler. Okay, I know that last one was a little bit boring. I'm really sorry. Uh, but this last one <laughs> is gonna make up for it. The Crafty Pan is back at it again. Oh my god. This is not very family friendly, Crafty Panda. So now we got two guys just checking this girl out while she's working out. And then this other girl comes up and she just gets super jealous of all the guys just staring at her. Uh. Mm, uh, caboose? <laughs> and she's like, dang, I wish my butt was voluptuous like her butt. Oh no. Honestly, how the heck are they getting away with this? This is not very family friendly to me. So she just goes ahead and cuts some circles in her workout pad. Gee, I wonder what these are gonna be for. Whoa! Oh my, oh, that will definitely get the boys going. They are like, wow, she, you did such a good job. Just look at her go. But little do they know, she actually stuffed her pants. Ooh. What? I'm a It don't take very long to figure it out though. And they both call her out. Oh no! So moral of the story? Uh, I guess there is no real moral of the story. <laughs> so we just go, no, 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 Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. Today, we're doing something I've never done before. This is requested a lot. It's commented on almost every single video. So I've been trying life hacks and crafts for three years now. But today, instead of normal crafts, we're gonna be doing Minecraft. I've actually never played Minecraft before, so this is gonna be pretty interesting. One more thing, guys, before we start, if you guys want me to do even more Minecraft in the future, make sure to hit that like button. If we get this video to 10,000 likes, I'll know for sure that you guys want me to do this again, and I will I will absolutely do it. Well, if you guys are new, uh, hello, my name is Robbie. Uh, I make craft videos. Not really Minecraft videos, like I make arts and crafts, and I try life hacks. That's my whole thing. Okay, what do I do? What is that thing? Oh, God! 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 Okay, okay, wait, how do I move? What? 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 Ah! 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 How do I jump? How do I jump? How do I jump? How do I jump? Oh, God. Oh, wow! Is this my skin? I don't like this. Just, like, moving. <laughs> I don't like walking. I kind of want to grab my other keyboard. A new keyboard! Wimpy, wimpy, wimpy! Hefty, hefty, hefty! Ooh, oh, my gosh. This is gonna be... I probably shouldn't have done that. Oh, dude, this keyboard's so much better. Why are you so sad? Stop being so sad! Oh, I just drowned. I don't know where the refrigerator I am. Oh, I see you. Oh my god, I see you. You're the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. It's so dark, I can't see anything. <laughs> I'll save you. I'll save you. I like this whole, can this be my house? What do I do? Why'd I die? This doesn't seem like a very chill game. Now there's creepers. And now I died again. So I'm just... <laughs> I'm just beating my wood. I'm beating this tree until I get wood. I made a pickaxe. Wait, now I can kill you. Murder! Murder! I have full hearts. It's a battle to the death. I want to live in the middle of this mountain. Wait, what What the heck? When did we get- I made it. This is like where you were, and then I just cleared out the rest of it. Wow. It's nighttime outside, so we don't open the door. Click on the crafting table. That thing? Yeah. This one. No, that is a furnace. Can I use this pickaxe to pick my nose? It might hurt. You can do that. I feel like we should go different directions. Dig the other way. Oh! Ah, ah, ah. Ah, ah, ah. Oh god, oh god, she's coming, she's coming, she's I coming. Have three hearts left. Do, oh, I hear a zombie. There's a zombie in here. <gasps> Are you okay? How do I get rid of it? Where do we why is there a zombie? Is it gonna get to us? Eventually, yeah. Can it also mine things? No, don't dig anymore. That way's dangerous. Wait, why? Stay away! Stay away! Stay away! <gasps> How do I get out of here? How do I get out of here? No, you're okay. You're oh, okay. God. I thought we were in a safe space. I'm blocking you in. How do I drop stone? You're fine. <sighs> oh, God. Oh, I'm going to die. Tell me how to block things off so I can help you. Go. Right click it. Oh. oh, that was easy. Should we go back in? I can't. Here, let's build a sword. No. Oh, Robbie. No. Robbie, if you hit me, I'm going to die. I have two and a half hearts. Okay, I'll try my best not to. Hey. Hey, get away from me. Kill it. Got it. Oh gosh! You can do it. Wait, how do I? No, I don't do it. It's our home. Should we just live inside the hole forever? No, I think we should build the house. So do you see over there? Do you see that like that little bit that's different in the wall? Yeah. So that's iron. So we need to get that with our stone pick. Okay, so we just go. Whee! No! Oh, I'm at one heart. How am I gonna get up? I don't know. How do I get up? Why did you just jump down there? I thought I'd be able to make it. Oh, can I swim up the waterfall? Yeah. Yeah, you can swim up the water. Oh, there's a zombie. Oh, I died. Great. I'm really good at dying. You're really good at this game. So we're trying to build a bed? Yeah. So kill any sheep. I don't know where the heck you went. I didn't 
died. I'm still at the ravine. Is there a map? No. How am I supposed to remember any of this? All these blocks look the same. Oh, I think I found a sheep. Kill it. But that's mean. You don't have to kill something you don't want to. It's trying to fight me. Sheepish. You know what? I'm playing Minecraft like this from now on. It's truly the superior way to play it. Oh, there's a cliff. Should I jump off of it? No. You should not jump off of it, bro. Here, just go back to the spawn. I don't know where that is. How far did you run? Pretty far. Okay, just kill yourself then. Wow. That's so rude. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. Are you by the ravine? I don't know. I'm gonna whack some of these trees for a little bit. Here, Robbie, just kill yourself. No! I finally got to the trees! Robbie, oh. I don't know where you are, so I can't really help <laughs> you. All you're saying is I'm by the mountains, <laughs> and that doesn't really help if we're in a, like a mountain plane. <laughs> Or a mountain bio? I'm inside of a hole. Perfect. Kill yourself, Robbie. <gasps> That's so mean. You can't tell people to do that. <laughs> you need to. Ooh, can I let this weird squid thing kill me? No. Nope. But the weird squid thing. It won't kill you. It's a squid. It's friendly. What if I punch the squid? I'm whacking a squid. I'm about to kill myself right now. Okay. I'm walking into the water. I just walked in the water too. Dang, that sucks. I got a bunch of stuff. Why am I not drowning? Oh, okay. There it is. Oh, I hate you. Oh, my problem was I went straight up. So this was the mountain you were talking about? Yeah. The mountain. Right next to spawn. Yeah. That is literally less than what 30 uh -huh. blocks away from spawn. Is that true? Is that what you're telling me right now? Why are you like sizing me up right now? Is that it? Are you punching me? Go punch me. That's rude. I have to take you home. I have to show you the way. Because you don't know how to get to your own house. Here's the house. Can we make it more obvious? Let's collect some resources so we can build the house. I don't have anything actually. There's stuff in the chest. Just grab the wood. Oh my gosh, how'd you get all this? Okay. Plate. You got all the stuff in the time it took me to get a snack? Yeah. Did you build your axe? Yeah. So go cut down some trees. I found a thing. Oh, Robbie, run inside. Run inside. Some zombies coming out. Oh, God. I didn't even hear the roar. A zombie. It's you. You're the zombie. Uh, I'll fight you. What do we do now? We sit in the rain together. <sighs> you just want to sit in the rain? Oh. Hold my hand. Hold my hand. Uh, I fight you. <gasps> Tori Brands, come, come back. back. No, come back. No, 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 no. Tori, Tori, we're in a small room. We really don't want to fight each other. Okay, I'll put my axe away. I put my axe away. I put it away. I put it away. I put it away. I put it away. Tori. That's, that's, I put that's it away. What I Tori. Tori, Tori, Tori. Are there police in Minecraft? I will call the cops. I will call the Do cops it. on you. Do it. I will call I the Minecraft. I will call Dare the Minecraft you. police on you. I would love to see that happen. It's the late time. You can go back down to the mine. Really? I'll build you a gift. Really? A gift for me? What's that? A sword? An iron pick? I'm ready to pick some ass. Hey, it's a thing. It's a it's one of those guys. Hey little guy. Oh, I lured him off the cliff. <laughs> you did good. Might be daytime. Let's go back upstairs. You're gonna be in charge of designing the house, okay? Okay. I am just here to get you your resources, so if you need more wood, just let me know. Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my Jesus, I was not prepared. So you go build the house. I thought we were gonna build our house into the mountain. Don't look. Okay, Robbie. No, 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 no. Oh, God. Down. What is that thing? He will attack you if you look at him. Is he sad? Yeah. Why is he so sad? This is that guy. No one wants to look at him. Okay, just let me know how the house is going. Oh, I'm just grabbing wood. Whoa! I like this cliffside. Build a house. Really? I can just build a house out here in the open. Well, I hope you like granite. I'm building a floor. Oh. Where's the chest? Back in the house. I don't even know where the house went. Where's our house? Okay, follow me, Robbie. You need to start making mental note of your surroundings. <sighs> Everything looks the same. It's all blocks. Ooh, a spruce log. Can I grab a crafting table? Yeah. Take whatever you need. I just... Oh, our dog is freaking out. I'll be back. Whoa, it's nighttime. So now, just in case we ever die, we'll spawn right here. Really? And then also, it makes it daytime. What? Wait, we can just sleep at night, and then we'll it'll be daytime? It's like how real life works. <laughs> yeah, Robbie, just like real life. Okay, go build your house. You're acting like this is some easy task. It is. Go build your house. I'm just gonna make a house right here. It's right in front of our old house. We don't even have a house right now. That's a hole. That's a house. That's a house. We're it's all. It's a hole in the ground. I'll punch you some more. It's a house. <sighs> I like watching you play. It's pretty funny. Why? Because I can't do anything. No, you just move very slowly. <laughs> I don't know how to. <laughs> like watch. This is my impre my impersonation of you. <laughs> <laughs> It's gonna take literally hours to build a house. I have another gift for you. The, what the heck? Are those boots? <gasps> you got me boots? I don't even know what to do. Put them on. Oh, uh, okay, I'll try my best. Oh, I put them in the little, there's a little boot slot. Yeah. What? She made me, you can make boots in this. Do I look snazzy? I need to see myself. Pretty fancy. 
This is me in real life. I got the tie-dye shirt and I got <laughs> the I got the boots. Yep, this is me. Oh, the house is coming together. It's more like a platform. I guess I could start building the actual walls. Oh, the sun is setting right now. I'm working on it, Debranski. Wait, come come sleep with me. <laughs> I like how you put our beds next to each other. Wait, this isn't accurate at all. You always wake up before me. Fine, go back to bed. Go to sleep. I feel so energized. Well, another day, another day building the house, I guess. How high do you want the vaulted ceilings? I would say that the ceilings need to at least be three blocks high. What? Oh what? God. What? Oh my god. Did you die? Oh my god. What do I have? You have a carrot? Why did you yell? Is that a big thing? It's a carrot. Are you joking? Are you not excited for the carrot? Give me that freaking carrot. No, it's mine. I'm gonna plant it so we can get more carrots. Why do you like carrots? Because they're so cute. Well, I made stairs. Look, I've never made stairs before in my life. Oh, do you like my hole? Oh, I was gonna build a second story up here. This was gonna go down into there. I and like then it. I can build another thing right here. Do we have any coal? <laughs> oh, you're throwing it at me. Here you go. Oh, 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 oh. When does the crafting stop? You never stop crafting once you once you start. Once a crafter, always a crafter. So the other day, Toribi went to bed and she called it the great sleep. <laughs> I did call it the great sleep. No, the big sleep. That doesn't sound good. Bobby, what are you doing? I thought we were merging our houses. Tear down the walls of society, brick by brick. This is how Florida is. It's just very open. This is exactly how Florida is. Where's the beach? See, we got our beach Where's out there. We got our house. You know, this is just like Florida. Where am I supposed to? To get more blocks. Stone is everywhere. Everywhere. What's in that little hole? Can we go in that little hole? <gasps> <gasps> you filled the hole. What's in there? You know? You're you're keeping secrets from me. You're keeping secrets. I need to know. I'm not. I need to know go what's down. in that hole. No. No. You can't make go me. You can't make me. You need stone, don't you? Go to the bottom. No, that's so far. Why would I go all the way to the bottom for stone? <laughs> I got one torch. Perfect. Can you put it down here? I'll think about it. <laughs> you killed me because I said I'll think about it. Did you really just kill me? Sorry. Why'd you kill me? Why'd you kill me? <laughs> I didn't know you were so low in hell. How do I build a fireplace? Just build one. Thanks. I'm really glad we had this conversation. Uh, 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 uh. Take that. And that. And that. Why Robbie is stinky. Why am I stinky? When, when did you have time to write this? No, it says Tori didn't write this. But if you didn't write it, who wrote it? <gasps> this should be against the law. You guys ready for the satisfying part? You ready? Ready? It's right here. Ready? Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. Otherwise known as that weird blue haired boy who tries life hacks and crafts on YouTube. And if you guys haven't heard of me, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, because I make videos every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. Wow, I did it. it all, that was all in one take, good for me. And today we're gonna be trying some uh, <laughs> innovative TikTok cooking life hacks. Okay, let's see what the first one is. Today we're gonna make a snickle. Snickle. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna need is a Snickers. Next thing we need for this crazy concoction are some pickles. Uh, uh, pick out a good one here for ya. They all look so much bigger in the jar. Oh gosh, oh ho ho, we hit the mother load. Oh, I can already tell this is gonna be perfect. So here we go, using a butter knife to do this, hollow it out. Another trick of the trade I saw I'm using with some chopsticks. Mm, get all that yummy pickle juice out. <laughs> oh yes. But can we fit this inside of this? We're about to find out. Okay. And then theoretically it should just slide right in there. Oh, I ripped it! It needs to be more hollow. Okay. And then it should just uh, slip right in. <gasps> wow. This guy really knows. Oh, wow. It just went right in. Honestly, <laughs> this should be against the law. <laughs> 12 years I've been making YouTube videos, uh, this is probably one of the weirder things I've done. I will most likely regret this. I'm gonna be really sad because I wasted a perfectly good Snickers, but here we go. <laughs> yeah, like I said, 
this should be illegal. <laughs> Not a fan, I'm gonna go ahead and say that it works, but why the heck would you want to? Step one, grab a new pack of Smarties. Step two, like this in your hand, bang it on the table until the end of the Smarties turns into power on both sides. Next, you wanna unravel both ends so they look like this. Next one, it looks like this. Take it and just suck it into your mouth. Don't actually inhale it. Okay, guys, so unfortunately, I didn't get any Smarties. But we do have something very similar. They're sweet tarts. They just didn't sell Smarties at the store for some reason. Weird. I don't even know. So we just have to go and break the first ones right here, apparently. Maybe I'll use my phone. This has to be crushed, you know? Dang it! What am I doing wrong? Okay, we'll try this again. I ripped it again. No. But I'm pretty sure it'll be fine. So then we just open this up. Here we go. Let's hope I don't die. <gasps> I don't know if you guys saw it on camera, but it, it totally worked for a second. <gasps> it was a tiny, tiny, tiny little thing of smoke. You guys have to believe me, okay? To yourself. I'm doing this for science. Okay, we're trying it again. Ooh, looking promising. <laughs> okay, guys, well, I'm starting to think that this isn't gonna work with sweet tarts. If we had Smarties, I think it would probably work, though. So I guess I'm gonna have to say inconclusive. Ugh, I hate it when that happens. This water bottle has been in my freezer for about two hours. Almost cold enough to freeze, but it's still in liquid. When I slam it on the counter, Nucleation occurs. The entire bottle crystallizes and freezes. Okay, just step right here into my pantry, grab ourselves a water bottle, and just shove it in here for about two hours. Okay, I'll see you in about two hours. Two hours later. Okay, guys, I'm carefully bringing it over here. Oh my gosh, you guys, ready? It's been two hours. All I gotta do is. <gasps> what? Oh my gosh, it actually did! I've been trying this. <gasps> yeah, it's freaking frozen. It's frozen on the inside. Wow. We finally found the magic number. We need two hours. Two hours does it. Wow. Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one 100% works. Did you know if you mix some self raising flour and fat free natural yogurt, put it in the oven for 20 minutes, you get bagel? So here's our yogurt, here's our self-rising flour. So the first thing that we're gonna need apparently is 230 grams of flour. Now I'm American, so I don't really know what a gram is, but I'm guessing that's probably about a cup. I looked it up and I got 30 different answers on Google. It's not gonna be an accurate measurement. And I know, and I'm sorry. Okay, here we go. That much flour. And then we get our yogurt, which uh, it says that we need 210 grams and this is only 150. So, <laughs> I'm doing good. I'm doing, I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. Oh, oh, Greek yogurt smells so weird. I've never actually had Greek yogurt before. Okay, and apparently we just kind of mix it up until it makes a dough. I feel like I'm gonna end up needing a little bit more yogurt. Unfortunately, I'm all out of plain yogurt, but I I have this blueberry yogurt. You know, it matches my hair, so even better. Boobity boop. Ooh, that is some purple yogurt. <laughs> you know what, blueberry bagel sounds way better anyway. And then Greek yogurt bagel. I don't even know what that Greek yogurt is. Okay, so this is actually making something that resembles dough, which is amazing. This is so cool. So you can just make bread out of yogurt now? Since when? Now let's go ahead and make our bagel shape. I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle a little bit of flour on here. Ugh, this flour smells really weird, and I think it's because it's self-rising flour. It probably has yeast in it. Dude, I can make quite a few bagels out of this. It's really, really sticking to my hands, though. Okay, let's make our bagel shape, shall we? I've never made a bagel before. How do they do it? This is much more difficult than it looks. Like, I don't know if I can even make this bagel shape. Come on, bagel. I believe in you, bagel. Be the bagel you can be. You know what? I'm starting to think we're just gonna get scones here. It's all bread, right? Okay. Yeah, they look uh, great. <laughs> Best bagels I've ever seen. So now we're gonna put them in my oven at about 395 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, you guys be good. 
Okay guys, it's been about 20 minutes. Oh, what the heck? Oh my God, we might actually have something here. Oh, baby. Now this is a freaking bagel. Like how? How? What? How the heck does bread even work? I didn't even know that bread works like that. Well, time to try some of this yogurt bread. Wow. I mean, it's not the best bread I've ever had. I feel like if it was all blueberries and then you added blueberries to it, we'd be onto something here. But just yogurt by itself, and that kind of feels like you're defeating the whole purpose of yogurt. Like, isn't yogurt supposed to be like a light, healthy snack and then you add bread to it? Like, I don't know. But 100% guys, this one absolutely works. You can make bread out of yogurt. Wow, who the heck knew? <laughs> So I think the first thing I'm gonna do is make the egg wash. Only one or two eggs should do the job. I don't think I really need that many for what I'm doing. Mix, mix, mix! Once we do that, we lay out the flour and the breadcrumbs. I actually got proper breadcrumbs this time. Are you proud of me, guys? And they use multiple types of cheese, but I only have Gouda right now. And lucky for us, they're already round, so no problem. This is literally going to be a grilled cheese. If I just push it together, this cheese will just... Oh, oh that is perfect. So I think they put it in flour first. There we go. And they tossed it in the egg wash. I'm gonna do another layer of flour just to be safe. And back in the egg wash. And then into our breadcrumbs. Just drown it in breadcrumbs. Yes! Now it's time to fry this bad boy. Oh yes, now fry this bad boy up for a little bit. Ooh, baby. It kind of just looks like a giant cheese patty. Like instead of a hamburger patty, it's like a cheese patty. Ooh, I'm not complaining, I'm excited. I love cheese. Flip it over. Okay, it's looking about good. Take it out. Oh, ho, ho. Honestly, as someone who loves cheese, this is perfection. It's really out here looking like a chicken patty or something. But tell me this doesn't look like something you'd find at your school cafeteria. What are you guys ready for? The satisfying part? You ready? Ready? It's right here. Ready? Oh, I feel cheated! No! It would have probably worked with mozzarella. But I'm sure that this is still super delicious. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have gone with smoked Gouda. I mean, it's pretty good melted cheese. Oh, it's so hot. I can definitely taste the egg in this. Like, I used a lot of egg in the egg wash. I probably used way too much. It's not bad. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one pretty much works. So a lot of you guys liked the microwavable mug cake in my last video. And one of you guys actually commented that I could do the exact same thing with Oreos and milk. Like, just Oreos and milk. So, I guess we're gonna try it. Just need like eight to 10 Oreos. This ought to do it. Add a little bit of milk. Smash it up. Two thousand years later. You know what? It's looking promising, actually. Mmm. Put into the microwave for two minutes. Let's see what we got. Oh, oh gosh, that's really hot. Ouch, 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 ouch. But it does kind of look like cake. Like that's kind of the consistency of cake. Wow. I think they might be onto something here. Now let's try it. Hot, hot, hot. Oh my god. Whoa. It's not bad. It's like an Oreo cake, basically. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. Mmm. Pour some blue soda, get an egg, leave in the fridge for one hour, you get a blue egg. Okay, so the first thing we need are some eggs. Oh yeah, these eggs look great. Then we grab our soda. Ooh, I like it because it matches my hair. Guys, if this video gets 10,000 thumbs up, I'll try and dye my hair with this stuff. Sound good? Hit that thumbs up button, guys. Just smack it. Oh god, this is going to be all shook up now. Okay, then we grab our glasses. Easy peasy. And I also want to try this with Monster because I'm pretty sure that it's uh, dyeing my insides purple. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Here we go. Ooh. It's regular blue soda, just like they told me to use. Oh my goodness. Just look how much darker that purple is than this blue. I feel like this is definitely gonna dye the egg over this. Plop them in. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in about an hour. Okay guys, I actually ended up waiting about two hours. Here are our eggs. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the blue one first. Oh, that's so cold. Oh! 
Oh boy, it's a little bit blue. Mmm, yummy. But it's not like completely blue on the end. Oh my gosh, I can just wipe it off and then it turns white. What? What about our monster one? I have faith in this one. Oh, <gasps> wow! That is a purple, oh wait, it's shedding the outside. What the heck, did I see this? Did it eat the outside of this egg? Oh my god. Dude, what is on the outside? Like the soda's not doing that, but the purple like just comes off in chunks. Oh, what is, oh no. Well, one thing's for sure, the inside of my stomach is definitely purple. Now apparently they cracked it open and it was already hard boiled. So I don't know if it's actually gonna be hard boiled or not, but we're gonna find out. After wiping this egg down a little bit, it actually turned almost completely back to white. And the blue one, Blue's actually staying kind of blue. Not super blue, though. Okay, let's see what the results are. Oh. That is definitely not hard boiled. Oh, God. And the inside of the egg is not purple at all. Look at that. Yellow yolk. Okay, what about the blue one? Oh, yep. That's pretty yellow. Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. I lost the key. I was confident this was gonna work. How the heck am I gonna get this out now? my way out of this one. Ooh. I should have worn two gloves. That's my only regret right now. Okay, I'm gonna drop it. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and today... I just wanna say, happy birthday to Cthulhu Keith's dad. I hope you have a great day, and uh... I upload videos every Tuesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. And also make sure to turn on notifications and smack that bell. That way you know exactly when I post. Let's try some of these awful TikTok life hacks and crafts. Okay, so here is our banana. Fun fact, guys, the banana that we all know and love may go extinct. And that's because of a lack of gene diversity. Basically, since humans only bred one kind of banana, it makes them really prone to disease, and if one actually hits a banana tree, then it can spread to other ones. And then no more bananas! Learn that one from Hank Green, aren't you guys impressed? Well, it's time to skin this banana! Oh, perfect! It even sliced it up! Well, we don't need any of this anymore. So after that, we're supposed to scrape all this stuff out right here. Instead of using this knife, I'm gonna use a butter knife because I feel like it's a lot safer. Scrape, scrape, scrape! Scrape, scrape, scrape! Ooh, that is a clean banana peel. Ah! I broke it! Scrape, scrape, scrape! Scrape, scrape, scrape! Scrape, scrape, scrape! Scrape, scrape, scrape! Yeah, this is looking pretty good! So now we're gonna go ahead and make the marinade. Basically, we just get some soy sauce. Next, they told us to season it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use this smokehouse maple seasoning. It's my absolute favorite. I put this on everything. Ooh. And then we're gonna use some maple syrup. I don't have any real maple syrup. Uh, I only have this Miss Butterworth. But you know, it should it should do it should do just fine. Boop -boop -boop. Mix mix mix. Okay. Now we add our banana peels. Ooh, yes. Then I'm gonna go ahead and toss it in the fridge to marinate for a few hours. And while we wait for that, let's try some more life hacks and crafts. What, you thought I was gonna jump to the next part? Heck no, I'm making you watch the whole video. Let's cut glass. Okay, so this video works out perfectly because I actually have this wine bottle just laying around. It doesn't have a top on it because I used a wine glass to open it. If you guys wanna watch that video, you can click right here. When I saw this wine bottle though, I was like, this would be the perfect cup. Look at that, perfect cup size. I think this is gonna turn out great. Or I'm gonna mess it up and I'm gonna cut my hand. I really hope that doesn't happen. Oh, see, here's our top. And then what you're supposed to do is get some yarn and then you soak it in rubbing alcohol. I'm using hand sanitizer because it's like 90% rubbing alcohol. Go ahead and soak that up real good right into your yarn and wrap it around your bottle. And I wipe up all the extra rubbing alcohol, that way I don't burn my house down. Now we're gonna go ahead and light it on fire. This is a matchbook. Have you guys ever used a matchbook? Cory told me she's never used a matchbook before she met me, which is crazy. Down in the comments below, uh, tell me if you guys have used a matchbook. Anyway, I'm lighting this bad boy on fire. Ooh. You can't really see it, but it's on fire right now. Here we go. Oh my gosh. I think it's good, and I'm gonna dunk it. 
Nothing happened. Oh, that's lame. I think I jumped the gun. Okay, I'm gonna retry it uh, with real rubbing alcohol instead of hand sanitizer. 20 minutes later. Oh, you guys are gonna get a show. Ready? I can actually see it now. Oh my gosh. This for a second. And then I'm gonna drop it in. I feel like it's nice and hot. I think since it's a wine bottle and it's so thick, it's gonna take a little bit longer to heat up. Yeah. That ought to about do it. I'm gonna dunk it. One, two. No! Why is it not working? This makes me sane. So I decided to just uh, use a smaller bottle. This is uh, way more than I bargained for. Ooh. I should have worn two gloves. That's my only regret right now. Okay, I'm gonna drop it. It worked! And it's on fire! Oh my gosh. Whoa! It freaking works! And this is such a cool cup! I'm gonna have to sit it down a little bit so I don't cut my lip, but this is pretty cool. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one absolutely works. Before I start on this one, I need to clear out all my jet boards. What the heck are jet boards, you ask? Let me show you! These are jet boards! Eventually. <laughs> that was fun, right? Well, time to clean up. I can make with palettes? Let me know down in the comments down below and I might just do them. I have quite a few palettes. Oh, here we go. Oh, no, 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 not the jet boards. So I never actually told you guys what I'm doing. <laughs> so I bought my truck with these big old tires on them and they don't have very good traction on the freeway. So when it rained a little bit and I went on the freeway with my big truck, I crashed right into a wall. Now I'm just kind of stuck with all these tires and I have even more on the side of my yard. And since my backyard is kind of empty and I have nowhere to sit really except for this cooler, I wasn't really sure if DIY tire furniture was already a thing, so I googled it. And look at what I found! Oh, these are atrocious. But I love them. I'm gonna make a slight modification. I'm going to paint the tire first because I, I just feel like it would look a lot nicer. Without further ado, let's paint a freaking tire, shall we? This is an apron, by the way, guys, not a dress. I'm wearing it so I don't get paint on my nice clothes. This donut looks pretty cool, but I think it needs some sprinkles. This is turning out so cool. I'm actually really happy with this. So now I need to add the rope on the inside so that you don't fall in the middle. I'm sorry if I sound really tired. That intro really took it out of me. You should go back and watch it again after you finish this video. <laughs> Let's drill some holes. Dude, this is taking so much longer than I thought. Oh my gosh, it's smoking. Oh my gosh. My drill bit fell off. Oh no. Time to try and get that back, I guess. Okay, this is proving to be a lot harder than I thought it would be. I went through a bunch of different bits. It takes like five minutes just to drill one hole. Now we just gotta put on the rope. Boom. So yeah, this turned out pretty fantastic. I'm really happy with this. And I have a bunch more tires, so I guess I'm just gonna have to make more of these. I might just make a whole tire-themed patio set. Just because I have so freaking many of these. But anyway, first one turned out great. Uh, if you wanna try it at home, I absolutely recommend it. I love it. <laughs> oh my gosh! I made myself a trampoline! Multi-purpose, I guess. I'm actually really excited to make more of these because then I can just jump from one tire to the next. So make sure I hit that subscribe button so you see stuff like that in the future. A piece of plastic now to prevent those teeth from hitting those gears. It's not stuck in. I gotta be very careful. Listen, that little plastic piece should be all the way inside there now. I just give one quick yank. This thing will open up. There it is. 
Okay guys, so for my piece of plastic, I'm just gonna try and use this Minecraft gift card. Tori bought this for my birthday actually, and she was like, hey, play Minecraft with me. So, if you guys wanna watch me uh, try and play Minecraft for the first time, I actually made it to a video, uh, you can click right here. Okay, so here's my hand cup. Boop, boop. Ooh. So now we're just gonna get our Minecraft gift card and put it right inside just like that. Like lodge it in there. Oh, it broke off. <gasps> Maybe I shouldn't have used a Minecraft gift card. <laughs> no, but I have any other plastic? Maybe the plastic from this cup will work. Oh God, I feel like this is way too thin. It won't even go in there. Oh my gosh. And the worst part is I lost the key. I was confident this was gonna work. How the heck am I gonna get this out now? to craft my way out of this one. So I found this plastic box of uh, thumbtacks, and I'm hoping that maybe this will work. Put that in there, and apparently you're supposed to pull it really close like that. No! Oh! Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that uh, this one doesn't work. I don't know what the heck I'm doing wrong. Someone please help me. Okay guys, so first things first, let's do our math problem. Let's do a really easy one. Five plus five. My handwriting is awful and I am sorry. Now I'm on Snapchat. Let's see if uh, it'll do anything. <gasps> what the heck? It actually, what? It solved the math problem. Where was this when I was in school? Okay, how crazy of a math problem can we go? So this one I did one plus two minus six plus seven times eight. Let's see how this goes. Here we go. <gasps> it did it! What? What? I love this. Yeah, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this 100% works. And I definitely recommend it, because that is awesome. I came across an Instagram account that will freeze your phone. The username is PG Talal, and if you click on their story highlight right there, you will come across some Arabic writing, and then your entire phone will freeze up. There's absolutely nothing you can do about this except for reset your phone. This is a complete mystery, and I have no idea how it works. Okay, guys, I got my phone. I'm on TikTok. Type this in. P G T A L A L. Oh, there's the account. Let's click it. Click the video. Nothing's happening. Like literally nothing happened. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. I don't know. Let me know if this one works on your phone, but do it at your own risk. <laughs> Now it's time for the part that you've all been waiting for. And I'm not talking about recreate the thumbnail. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'll do it, I'll do, I'll recreate the thumbnail soon, okay, I'm sorry. I'm talking about finding out if this banana will actually taste like bacon. You guys probably completely forgot about this part, didn't you? Okay, here we go. Ooh, that's sizzling like bacon. So I want to start off by saying this does not, doesn't smell like bacon at all. I know I might have changed some ingredients a little bit, but I feel like the basic, the basic formula is still there. It does kind of look like bacon, but let's see how it tastes. It stained my tongue. Ugh. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm gonna have to say that this one, this one doesn't work, sorry. If you guys wanna try it at home, uh, let me know how it goes, but not a fan. Uh, two out of 10. Wouldn't recommend. Oh, I got a paper cut in my eye. <laughs> oh no. Oh, this looks great. I love it. Oh no. What have I actually done? I'm Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and this is my craft corner. And recently, I got a new camera, so if the audio sounds a little bit different, uh, that's why. It sounds different to me, but everyone I show it to, they're like, Robbie, you sound the same. So down in the comments down below, tell me if I sound worse, the same, better even. And while you're down there, make sure to give this video a big ol' thumbs up. Anyway, so today, I'm not wearing any makeup, which is kind of uh, weird for me, because I always wear makeup in videos. And that's because today, I'm gonna be doing my makeup completely with five Five minute crafts packs. So this is gonna be fun. Getting all dolled up using five minute crafts. Uh, <laughs> let's get to it. I need to go get some balloons. Oh yes, my storage room. I haven't quite uh, labeled these yet, so <laughs> I know I have balloons in one of these. No. <laughs> no. 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 Oh, this one's just empty. Oh, we hit the mother load. These are all the balloons that I have left over from when I filled my house with 10,000 balloons. I put $10,000 in them. If you guys wanna watch that video, you can click the card right here. But anyway. 
Oh wait, it doesn't have to be that big. Yeah, this is gonna be a great beauty blender. Okay, are you ready? We just put our foundation right on the balloon. I'm starting to think it's empty. Yeah, so we put our foundation right on the balloon. <laughs> and then we put it on our face. I need a mirror. Oh, I hate this already. I don't know if you guys can see this, but it is so blotchy. This is awful. This makes an awful beauty blender. You guys can't really see it, but like it's making super weird patterns on my skin now. Oh, let's do my cheek. Oh, I forgot to shave. Get my nose hairs too. Okay, back to my cheek. Oh. <laughs> uh, this is awful. I guess I gotta commit to this. I'm gonna do my whole face. Oh god. Oh no. <laughs> this is so blotchy. I can't even get it in my eye holes. This is actual trash. You guys see that, right? Not letting it all. So fun fact, guys. I actually got my nose uh, cut off by accident when I was five years old, and this is a scar. The balloon won't go inside the crevice of my scar. Wow. <laughs> Well guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one absolutely does not work. I'm gonna have to give this one a 2 out of 10. Wouldn't recommend. Okay, so apparently we just go ahead and take an eyeshadow. I think that's an eyeshadow. They don't really say what they use in the video. Is this even eyeshadow? I'm sure I don't know ma what makeup is. Anyway, we take some of this, we scrape it onto here. I'm gonna use this blue, because I want blue eyebrows. You know, to make it match my hair. And I don't have any regular aloe vera gel, I just have this afterburn stuff. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> And we get a mascara brush and we mix it together. <laughs> this is not looking good. Oh boy. <laughs> I feel like I should be concerned. Okay, time to put this stuff in my eyebrows. This is exactly what I thought I would be doing when I was five years old. I was like, mommy, I want to put blue stuff inside of my eyebrows. I feel like it's going to make my eyebrows dye blue or something. I guess it's just makeup. <laughs> I'm using the viewfinder in my camera. That's why this is really bad. Oh my goodness. I got a lot of extra on there. <laughs> oh no! Ah! I'm gonna wipe a little bit of the uh, extra makeup off, but I look like a Muppet. My eyebrows are way too thick. This is great! I look like that one little white dog with eyebrows. Mmm, hey there! Oh! Well, my eyebrows are definitely blue, so I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works! Good job, 5 Minute Crafts! <laughs> Okay, let's add some contour. Can't be having a flat face now, can we? We get our bobby pins and put them on our brush. Real easy peasy. Just like that. Come on, get on there. Oh my god, oh, it flew off. This is a little bit harder than I thought it would be. Come on, get on there. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Have we done? Yeah, okay. Now, I don't think I've ever contoured my face before, so this is gonna be interesting. Let's see, what color should we go with? Let's do this red. Oh, that already is falling apart. No. Maybe I should have used a smaller brush. It doesn't really like to stay together very well. So I have to do it very, very lightly. Like I said, I've never actually contoured my face, so it looks like she's doing like like this. Yeah? Oh, it fell apart. Oh, gosh. Yeah, this is not working very well. Third time's a charm. Yeah? Oh, gosh. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Might as well finish my contour, though, am I right? I think this is... Oh, gosh. That's so... I can't blend that. My ears are blue because I washed my hair recently and it got all over my my ears. Okay, yeah, so that one doesn't work. So we get our palette. I think I'm gonna do yellow this time. We just break it up with our mascara. I don't know why we have to use mascara. We could have probably used anything. The back of this brush even. And then we grab some up like that with the brush and just drop it on my face. It doesn't want to drop. It's not dropping. Oh. Oops, what if I just use my hand and go... Okay, yeah, this has potential. Oh, boy. Yeah, these sure are, uh, Great freckles! They're apparently supposed to- Oh, no! You're supposed to just blend them in. Yeah, these don't really look like freckles at all. So, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one also doesn't really work very well. So here are our staples, and then I really only need one of these, or a couple of them. I'm, I'm gonna do one to start it off. And then instead of a pencil, I'm just gonna use this brush to round it. This has been a messy video. I'm gonna need to take a shower after this. Staples kind of hard to bend, actually. So I'm gonna break out some pliers to help me. 
six and a half hours later. You know, I tried my best, okay? I can't even see it. It's so small. It's as round as I could make it. Put it right where my old lip ring used to be. Yeah. I'll even put it inside the hole. You ready? Yeah. Oh, wow. That looks so real. <laughs> Wow, I kind of miss my old lip ring. Let me know if you guys think I should bring it back or not. But anyway, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually kind of works. <laughs> so the first step for this one is I need to outline my lips with this uh, eye pencil, I think it is. Okay. I feel like I was supposed to do it thinner. <laughs> Mine turned out really, oh no! Mine turned out so sloppy. Oh my goodness. I need a makeup wipe. Mm. I'm just gonna pretend that didn't happen. Oh no. I don't really like this. Let me grab our lipstick. Boop, boop, boop. Time to fill in my lips. <laughs> yeah, this looks great. I love it. Oh no. What have I actually done? I mean, does it work? Technically, yeah. But would I recommend it for myself? Uh. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. Oddly enough. <laughs> It really is a good thing that I have this giant jar of nail polish. I've been stocking this up for years. I'm actually not the biggest fan of how nail polish smells, but you know what? <laughs> it's cool. So they just went ahead and put it on their hand like this, and then they took their fingernail and they just went like that. And they had instant French tips. I mean, it's a little sloppy. I'll do another one. That was a, that was my first time. That was just for practice, okay? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> So I didn't mean to do that, I swear. I'm gonna do it on a different finger. Boobity boop. Oh, no, I am awful at this. Guys, I mean, two out of three isn't bad. Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one uh, kind of works. I would give this beauty hack a, a, a five out of 10. Okay, so here's our mascara. And unfortunately, the only post-it notes I have are these comically large ones. So I guess they're just gonna have to do. Here we go. I'm really weird about having hands around my eyes and face. Uh, so this is not gonna be super fun for me. Ooh, so, yeah, is that good? Oh, are my lashes more luscious? This one looks, what do you guys think? I think these look a little bit more luscious. Oh, 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 oh. I do not like doing my mascara. This is not fun. Just really fill that up. Oh, I got it on my shirt. Oh, oh, I don't know if I'm doing this right. <laughs> oh, I can put the sticky part. Oh, I got a paper cut in my eye. I don't like this. I don't like this. Ugh. Well, guys, I didn't get any on my eyelid. So I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. Who knew? <laughs> I am looking so beautiful right now. So here's my tape. It's kind of big, but you know, I think it'll work. I'm just gonna cut it into really small strips. Okay, we'll do it on this eye first. Oh, oh my god. So I'm just going to carefully put the tape on my eyelid. Oh my goodness. Not a fan of this. Okay, that's one, two, and the last one. Yes! I did it. <laughs> Get it? I did it. I kind of like the blue theme we're doing here, so I'm gonna put some blue eyeshadow here. Oh god, there we go. Yes! Cool. Now we remove them from my eye. Ah! Ah! Not gonna lie, that looks pretty not great. But we do have the stripes, I guess. So I guess I'm gonna have to do the other eye. Oh my gosh. This one's only getting two stripes, I guess. And we're down to one. I have to use new tape, don't I? I'm gonna go ahead and try and use this tape, because duct tape is just, it's not cutting it, okay? Here we go. I can't see what I'm doing. Yeah, great. And just to be cheeky, we're gonna make this side red. You know what, just get all in there. Yeah, perfect. Peel off the tape. Yep, you can still kind of see the stripes. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that uh, this actually kind of works. I just really suck at it. Another tape makeup head. We're gonna give ourselves some wings. I can't wait for these wings. I think like, yeah, like that. And then put the other one underneath. Like that? Wow, I really am doing this blind. Like I can't see anything. I am doing this with one eye. Oh my gosh, I did not put that on very well. Now it's taking all the makeup off that I just put on. Here we go, you ready? Oh God, oh no. This is also my first attempt, I'm pretty sure, at doing wings. Okay, then we remove the tape. Oh gosh. Ah! Oh, what? That's pretty clean, actually. 
Wow! I'm doing the other side. But can I do it a second time? Let's find out. Okay. And no, we couldn't. Oh, actually, it's not that bad. It's a little bit messy, but it actually worked. Not bad for one of my first times doing wings. Wow! Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one actually works. Who knew? <laughs> okay, so the moment of truth. Will I be able to take this makeup off with some olive oil? Let's find out. Oh, 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 oh that was way too much. Oh, boy. Okay. You guys ready? Let's start with my lips, I guess. <gasps> what? What? That came off so easy. Wow. <laughs> it's coming off so, so easily. <clears throat> my face feels very oily, though. Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this actually works. Olive oil works as makeup remover. I'm throwing these away. Guys, I would probably give this hack a 7 out of 10. Uh, it works. Okay, guys, now it's everyone's favorite part of the video. Where are we? Give her the thumbnail! Okay, so this is supposed to be after I just stapled my face, and now I have a lip ring. Ironically, I already had a lip ring, but it, it kind of grew back in. Well, you can still see the little hole. I couldn't find any of my real lip rings uh, to put into my mouth, so I just stole some of uh, Tori's fake ones. Yeah, a little tiny lip ring, and boom. <sighs> It just went through my lip. <gasps> I didn't even have to re-pierce it. Wow. It just went straight through. Maybe I should start wearing a lip ring. Down in the comments down below, uh, let me know if you guys think I should uh, wear my lip ring again. I kind of miss it. Anyway, so that's in there. Just to make it extra crazy, I'm gonna put some in my nose. Maybe another one on the other side. Ooh, dude, I bet Tori would love this. Yeah, those three should do it. And just to make it a little over dramatic, I'm gonna add a little bit of fake blood. Yeah, that ought to do it. More thing, guys, don't actually pierce your lips with staplers. That's, that's dumb. You shouldn't do that. Just don't pierce anything yourself. That's just really dangerous. Don't be like me. Not that I did that. Uh, <laughs> anyway. I'm taking the back! Oh, I don't want to do it. I'm scared! Guys, uh, why are you making me do this? Okay, one, two, and... Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and this is Minecraft Corner! And today we're gonna be trying some fun hacks from the video. 20 natural beauty hacks for a flawless look. By 5 Minute Crafts! A classic. Beauty hacks! Beauty hacks! Beauty hacks! First, let's cut a freaking lemon. This bad boy ought to do it. Grab ourselves a bowl. Put a little bit of coffee in there. Ooh, that might be, that's way, that's way too much coffee. <laughs> I don't know why, but their coffee looks so much lighter than this. Like, ours is so dark. Add our lemon juice. Mmm, yummy. Okay, that ought to do it right. And last but not least, we add our toothpaste. Mix, mix, mix. Oh, this looks awful. Five minute crafts, what kind of concoction are you having me make this time? <laughs> so this has like a weird consistency like ice cream, but it smells so funky, like mint coffee. <laughs> well, I guess it's time to see uh, if this will remove some armpit hair. So my prediction is that this one is most likely probably not going to work. I don't think that this one's going to work. <laughs> well, you know, you'll never know if you don't find out. As you guys can see, I have a little bit of armpit hair. Sometimes I shave it, sometimes I don't. Just kind of however I'm feeling that month, you know? Ooh, I am not really looking forward to this. How long do I have to leave this on? Wait for a while. How long is a while? <laughs> okay. <laughs> In my armpit it goes, I guess. This is not... Pleasant. Oh, they kind of like mixed it up a little bit. So I guess the only thing for me to do now is uh, wait a while. <laughs> I'll come back in like 20 minutes. Okay, guys, it's been about uh, 20 minutes. Oh, this looks so bad. Well, let's see if uh, it removes some armpit hair, shall we? Ah! Nope, that's not coming off. My hair is out. Ow, 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 ow. Yep, my hair is still uh, definitely still attached. This is disgusting. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one. Doesn't work. Zero out of ten, wouldn't recommend. Okay, so 
So here's our nail polish. Okay, which uh, nail polish should I pick out? I think I'm gonna go with uh, some hot pink and some blue. So here's the tape I'm gonna use. It's actually gaff tape. I'm hoping that I can cut this really thin so it'll fit on my nail really nicely. Okay, yeah, not bad. And just put that on there. Then I'm gonna do the other ones. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now we just gotta paint our nails. Just really do a professional job on this. We can't be having my nails look bad now, can we? Oh man, I forgot my thumb. It's okay, it doesn't matter, it's not a big deal. Now we're gonna do blue on the other nails. Oh, that is a beautiful, oh, I really like that blue actually. Now I'm gonna go ahead and let these dry for a little bit and then I'll peel the tape off. 12 seconds later. Okay, let's see how this turned out. Peel these bad boys off. What? There's actually a line. That's just amazing. What about this one? Oh my, what? It's not the best line I've ever seen, but it'll do I guess. Ooh, this one's also kind of bad. This one, uh, I mean, are there lines on my fingernails? Kinda. Does it look good? Not really. But I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one does work. Okay, guys, my hair is uh, fairly wet. I just got out of the shower. Apparently we just put the bag right on our head like this. Oh no, I've ripped my bag. I need another bag. And we are back. I have a high quality Smith's bag. Not one of those cheap Walmart bags, am I right? Oh God, oh God, oh God, that's scary. Make sure not to put this over your mouth or nose when you do this, cause you can suffocate. <laughs> Kinda obvious, but you literally just saw me make that mistake. Looking uh, pretty good. Then we make our hole, grab our hair dryer, and just stick it right in there. Okay guys, we're gonna see how long it takes for my hair to dry, starting right now. Okay, I think I've had enough. So it's been about three minutes. My hair is still kind of wet, but it definitely feels like it's drying off a lot faster than if I didn't have the bag on my head. Like, it usually takes me like 10 minutes to dry my hair. So my hair went from pretty damp to uh, a kind, still a little bit damp. But I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one kind of works. But does it really reduce your carbon footprint? I mean, yeah, you're saving some time on electricity, but... Now you got this plastic bag. Although, this would have been thrown away anyway, so you're reusing it. So I guess you are fixing your carbon footprint, aren't you? Wow, this one's Robbie approved. Okay, so they didn't say what kind of wax. I'm assuming that it would be candle wax because if you had normal waxing wax, that's not really a life hack. That's just waxing. So I'm gonna guess that they meant wax wax. I'm going to let this burn down a little bit and I'm gonna get some of my coupons and just cut them into strips. It really doesn't have to be a big strip. Oh, I could cut the pizza. They don't have a pizza strip on my face. I love it. Dang, now I really want pizza. But I just had pizza the other day. Bobby, you can't be doing this. It's still melting. So I'm gonna help it out a little bit. Oh, that is melting very fast. Oh, I burned my table. It's worth it for the craft. 12 seconds later. Yeah, that looks pretty melted. Okay, now the only thing I can do is blow it out. I feel like this is a little too hot right now. If I were to put this on my face, I'd probably burn myself. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put it on. Oh my gosh, that is red hot wax. And then I'm gonna see if I can touch it. Oh, that's not bad. I could definitely touch that. So now I'm just gonna put it right above my eyebrow. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna put it right in between. I'm gonna put it right here. That way I can get any hairs. Are there any hairs? I have very, very few hairs on here. So we'll know this works if there's no hair. I'm just gonna stick it on there. I feel like this is gonna take a second for it to cool down. Yep, that's definitely stuck on my face now. Okay guys, I gave it about five minutes to cool down. Now it's time to pull, you ready? One, two. Oh, that didn't really hurt at all. Did you get any hairs? Oh, I got a couple tiny ones. You can't even see them. They're so tiny, I can barely see them. And I still have all this wax on my face. Dude, it didn't pull out. There's a hair right there. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. So here's my makeup palette. Here's my sponge. I think I'm gonna go with some red. Yeah, some red freckles. You ready? Oh, actually, that's not... Huh. 
Oh. I need a mirror to see this. Oh. These freckles aren't that great. Oh no! I smudged it. I'm using a very similar sponge to what they're using. This is like a movie makeup sponge. I don't know. I don't think that these freckles are very convincing either. So, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't really work. Get them off, I don't wanna be a freckle boy. nails was nice, but I think it's time to remove them. So I'm gonna go ahead and let them soak in some soapy water. Moments later. Okay, it's been like five minutes. Put that off to the side. Cut up our lemon. And then apparently we just kind of scrub our nails with this lemon. Yeah? Doesn't seem to be wanting to come off. Uh, maybe with a peel? Uh... Yeah, this isn't really working. <laughs> the nail polish is very much still there. I'm not sure what to do about this. Well guys, it looks like I'm stuck like this forever. And I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. So here's our stove. First we add our distilled water, and then some brown sugar. Mine's a little bit old, so it's kind of clumpy. Honestly, I'm sure it'll be fun. And then we add some honey. This is raw desert honey that I got from Lake Mead National Park. Look at that. Let me go ahead and add our lemon juice. Rip it apart and just go. Ugh. It's like I'm milking a lemon cow. That was a really bad joke and I'm sorry. Okay, I don't know if I was supposed to get seeds in there, but now we just wait for it to come to a boil and start turning into a gross sludge substance. <laughs> Guys, it's about to like overflow and I turned it all the way down, but it keeps like, the, I don't know, why, why are these bubbles forming? Oh God, oh God, oh God. Oh God, I wonder what's going on. Did I put too much water in it? I don't know what I did wrong. Anyway. Okay, so it's been just bubbling up for like 20 minutes and I'm guessing that the liquid, once it cools down, it becomes really, really sticky and that's how we get that kind of consistency. Cause right now it's just molten sugar. Let's get that out of here. And we're gonna go ahead and pour it in a glass. Ooh. So now that we have this uh, weird concoction, put it off to the side for a second. We're gonna grab some old jeans. I'm gonna make these into cutoffs anyway. So cut off the leg and then we make ourselves a strip. I wonder if you can reuse these, I would hope so you know what I think one strip should do fine. Okay now it's time to try and wax my leg. This is gonna be great I can already tell. Oh what have I gotten myself into? So fun fact guys I actually have a bald patch right here because I've actually waxed my leg so many times So I just have two huge bald patches where I would just constantly rip out my hair using wax strips Because apparently that's what the internet think is funny. Now it's time to put this stuff on my leg Ooh, that is that is still kind of hot. Ooh, that is so Spicy. I need to blow on it. Here we go. Ah! Ah, it's so hot! Woo. You know what? I'm starting to think this might actually work. This is very sticky. Oh god. Ah! I shouldn't have put that much on. That hurt so bad. I put on the denim strip. Oh. oh. What have I gotten myself into? Are you guys ready? One, two, and. Oh, I don't want to do I'm scared. Guys, uh, why are you making me do this? Okay. One, two, and. It got some hair, but it missed a lot. I guess what you're supposed to do is you just slap it back on, and then you pull it again. One, two, and... Oh! That hurt so bad. I don't want to do my leg right here. I think I'm just gonna wash it off. But yeah, that definitely pulled out some hair. You can see like a little bald spot right there where it works. Guys, I don't want to continue. Please don't make me continue. If you guys want me to wax my leg, I'll do it if this video gets uh, 15,000 thumbs up. But if not, you guys are out of luck. I'm sorry. This is too painful. But other than that, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. It just really hurts a lot. Okay, guys, now it's over to the part of the video where we the thumbnail! Well, it looks like it's time for me to awkwardly shave my legs. So it looks like they just did kind of like their upper knee right here. So I guess that's what I'm doing. Dude, this is so, uh, why do I have pimples on my knees? Just make it really patchy, you know? <laughs> oh my gosh, I have some really white legs. Wow. Yeah, I just have like a line going straight down. Yeah, I think 
good. That should do it. Can we grab our lemon? Yeah, that ought to do it. Looks like you busted me in the nose, Tori Dabransky. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and this is my girlfriend, Tori Dabransky. Hello. And you guys seem to love the last video where we tried putting special effects makeup on each other. It was pretty good. If you guys want to watch it, you can click right here. Today, we're going to be doing even more special effects makeup, and it's getting wild. It's getting gory, and it's going to be cr creepy. Tori, are you ready for the special effects makeup? Yes, I am. Robbie. Okay, what's the first one? Okay, so Tori's a little bit scared to cut the can, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that for her. <laughs> Go ahead and grab our scissors and just full send it. There we go. Maybe clip some of these guys off. This is looking a little bit rough. Yeah, that ought to do it. Okay, Tori Dabransky, what is the first step for us to do? First step is to comb your hair back. You gotta keep it safe from the latex. You're just gonna put this side up? Yeah, this, this side up in a beautiful, luscious ponytail. I see you, Tori Dabransky. Beautiful. Wow, I should start doing my hair like this more often. You honestly should. You look gorgeous, Robbie. Second step is to put it on your head and you trace around it. Okay, so the only issue is part of it goes under your hair, but we just won't do that. Yeah? I guess. <laughs> and you trace over the little line. Smile to pain away. That's Tori's motto. That's motto. <laughs> have pain, smile it away. Now we have the cotton. <laughs> okay, now we have the cotton. So this is going to be the best special effect makeup you have ever seen. You ever will see. That's a Dabransky guarantee. Oh wait, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna put on my apron. That way you don't get any latex on my shirt. That would be a shame. Oh, that's so much better. Do you feel more safe? I feel more safe than I've ever felt in my life with you. <laughs> I might be losing an eyebrow today, you guys. Might be losing, you know. It won't be a whole eyebrow. It'll just be like a third. I mean, I only have two thirds of my eyebrows, and I mean, look at me. I look, I look great. Okay, so now we have to let it dry. When I asked you to blow me, this isn't what I meant. You actually have to make one more little part of the can. So first you have to add more latex on the edge. So this is to make sure that it just doesn't cut them. And once that is done, you're gonna take some. Oh God, I was so off, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm not a master crafter like my boyfriend is. And then you're gonna take some cotton and put it on the edge. Okay, and then you, I guess, touch it. You just add more latex to it and just hope that it works. And then you pinch it. We're just gonna wait for it to dry. One eternity later. Okay, so it's about dry, so now it's time to glue this onto Robbie's face. Then you take your spirit gum, apply it to the cotton. Then you have to quickly put the can on and then hold. Then you have to wait for it to dry. Uh. Here, let go. Oh no! We're gonna add some more latex. Let's try it again. Okay, ready? Let, let go slowly. Yay! Yay! It's working this time. It didn't off. So the next step is we need to use some red face paint. And we need to paint the area around it red. Oh, baby, this looks delicious. This is the last time we're trying to enjoy a nice, ice cold, refreshing Coca Cola. Oh, hey, Corey, I didn't see you there. So now that we have the base coat of the red done, we're gonna go ahead and add some brown to it to uh, make it look a little bit more realistic. So I just mix a little tiny, tiny, tiny bit of the brown with the red. And add some thick blood. The baby is just going all down the side of my face. Ah, ah, when I asked you to toss me a soda, this isn't what I meant. Oh no. I think you did pretty good on this, Torta Bransky. Okay, Tora Bransky, I'm ready for the next part. Okay, you ready to staple your nose together? We staple your nose together? This is gonna give me flashbacks because I already got my nose cut off one time. <laughs> oh. Okay, so first step is you have to take some face putty form to the shape of his nose. This does not want to stick to your nose as much as it wants to stick to my Oh god, this looks so gross. Stay on his nose. <laughs> this is the top part. Stay on his nose! So once you have your nose, you look so weird. <laughs> I don't like this. I am not a fan. Now, once you have the nose on, you're gonna blend it in with some makeup. Now that the nose is blended in, I'm gonna cut it open. Oh no. 
Okay, then you'll have to open it so it actually looks, oh no. Oh no, it's so no. Oh no, it's coming off. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> it was just stuck to my hand. You might just have to pretend that instead of like right down the middle, we're stapling like this part of your nose together because look at this, it, it just it keeps coming off. How's that working out? Uh, is it good? Uh, I mean, oh guys, it's not coming off my finger. It's just coming off the scraper now. Oh god, I thought this room was gonna be easy. God, this is giving me so many flashbacks. <laughs> so now you're going to put some red makeup in the center of it. Make it look all nice and bloody. And then you're just going to just coat it in fake blood so it looks extra real. And then you also have to make sure you get inside the cup. Oh god, you got my oh eye. Oh god, I got it right on your eye. Oh no. I've had my eyes closed most of this time. And that looks so scary. It's just half of it though. Only half of it. This blood. side, surprisingly, not a bleeder. <laughs> the other side, very bloody. Okay, then we need that organic nose dribble. Robby, just accept it. You can't wipe it off. So it was getting in my mouth. What are you doing? Wow, look at, oh my gosh. It looks like you busted me in the nose, Tori Dabransky. It's very bloody. Can you really tell? Oh, you can tell the staples. It looks <laughs> great. Then you just, you were like, here, let me try and fix it with a, so a stapler. Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. It looks beautiful. <laughs> you look great. Okay, Tori, you ready for your turn? I'm ready. I'm ready to be... I don't even know what I'm doing. <laughs> Ready to be beautiful. Hey there. Dude, thank you so much. You're welcome. Have a good one. You too. Tori Food's here! Oh wait, you're recording. She didn't say anything. She didn't say a thing. She didn't say anything. She was just like, here's your food. <laughs> So first thing we're gonna do is put this hair on. Yeah. Yeah, there, there you go. Now I gotta draw the hearts. Now we do the other heart. There we go. And second heart. This one's a little bit, ooh, that one's kind of funky. So maybe more like that. Is that a little bit better? There we go. Yeah, two perfect hearts. The perfectly symmetrical heart. Now we add the liquid latex. I put in my hair or my eyeballs. And all around. I don't even know why I did the lines because now I can't even see them. <laughs> okay, now I apply some toilet paper. I'm using toilet paper because I like, I think that this would be a better texture. Add some more latex. We do the other side. Yeah, I don't know how much like hearts these are gonna really look, but we're gonna try our darn best. I think they look great. Now we go ahead and dry it. Okay guys, now I have to go and pull up some of this stuff right here. I'm gonna use this scalpel that came with uh, my makeup kit. Sorry, I just made a really weird face. So they kind of uh, just pulled up the sides so it looked like her skin was just peeling off. So that's what we're doing. like the face dentist. <laughs> <laughs> this is disgusting, I hate this. Ew, I didn't know I, I did it like another place more than I did not like the dentist. Oh, Lord. oh God, that hurts so bad. Uh, <laughs> oh God, Jesus! <laughs> Dude, sorry. Okay, I'm strong. I'm strong. Okay, now I gotta fill in Tori's eye with eyeshadow. We're gonna be using the My Chemical Romance palette because Tori is a real emo. Mm -hmm. Nothing, nothing less than emo should go on my face. A little bit of red. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Then they put some black inside of here. Oh, I feel like I should actually put some makeup on this so that it doesn't look as put a little bit of this on here. Oh yes, perfect. You look very dead inside. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in some black underneath their little eye flaps. I mean, it kind of looks like a heart. I tried, okay? This side's a little derpy. Should I cut it, maybe? Honestly, I think this side is better, personally. Really? Yeah. Now this is professional fake blood. Whoa, look how realistic that looks, actually. Okay, you ready? I'm gonna put some fake blood all around it. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Get it all up inside the crevice. 
Okay, so we added the blood, and it looks pretty good. What do you think, Tarta Bratsky? I like it. It's pretty nice. Yeah. But I feel like it draws a lot of attention to my eyes. Makes my eyes look really nice. It just really makes your eyes pop. Yeah, it makes it pop. <laughs> Really good. Tori, you have hearts in your eyes. You're my bloody Valentine. <laughs> I feel like that's a movie or something. Well, I guess we're gonna have to say it's another successful makeup tutorial, am I right? <laughs> I guess we're gonna have to say if this one works. <laughs> For the next one, like unfortunately, I have to be. I am prepared. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. I am going to put latex all around your mouth, just all around, and lick your lips. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Don't lick your lips. Danger lips. <laughs> These are danger lips. Oh wait, I didn't even have to do the, the whole bottom part. I'm sorry. Just to make it so that your mouth is, you know, close, hidden. There we hidden. go. We're hiding it. There we go. Yeah. That's so funny. <laughs> that looks so. Weird right now. I can't keep laughing or I'm gonna start to cry. Strong Tori. He said he doesn't recognize me anymore, Rappy. I wonder why he like took away my upper lip. I'm only a lower lip person now. I guess now we have to make it dry. Oh no, I don't like this part. Okay, I'm ready. Or do you think I should just do it around the bottom of your mouth too? I Wait. think you should just put it on the bottom of my mouth as well. Oh my god, look, my tears go like underneath it. Wow, how scary. There we go. Now we gotta dry it with a hair dryer. You look so concerned. I'm oh, sure come back. Come back. One hour later. Okay, so I'm actually gonna switch this up a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and add these fake teeth to the inside underneath. So when she opens her mouth, you just see two sets of teeth around her. And I thought that would look really cool. But before we do that, I have to peel this part back a little bit. Oh God. It's okay, I got this. I'm trying to be gentle. Oh, there we go. We wanna wait a little bit more. Wanna wait a little bit? Can we get back up in there with the latex? Yeah, hold your flaps back for me. That that helps a lot, actually. Oh. Oh, shit, that made it worse. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and stick the teeth in one at a time. Oh god, this looks so... This is awful already, I love it. It's gonna be a little bit hard to do. Let's do this! Let's do this! Let's do this! Let's do this! Can we do the second layer? This is multiple layers of teeth. That's looking pretty wild, so I put a lot of latex on here. This definitely needs to dry a little bit. Okay, so it's all dry. This is looking really good, actually. Pretty creepy. So now I'm gonna use some makeup to kind of help blend it together to make it look a little more realistic. Never forget to blend it. I'm gonna do a little bit of finishing powder. Oh no, that's more than a little bit. Oops. Ah. Oh. Sorry, my can hit the camera. Then we're gonna go ahead and add some red all around it. Let's start with red inside of here. Get it all up in our mouth. No, the fake mouth, not the real mouth. I don't think she'd be very happy with me if I got it in her real mouth. Did I get it in your real mouth? I'm sorry. <laughs> and she's like, yeah, I wouldn't, and we did. Now a little bit of black, kind of like how we did the eyes. Oh god, got something in your teeth. Whoa! Those look like some crazy teeth. Now we add some blood. Get it all inside the teeth. Oh, you can kind of barely see the teeth now, but it still looks pretty cool. Right, what do you think? Can you talk? Yeah. Like you like it? Yeah, pretty fun. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I could have done better. Less blood. It's just hard to see where the teeth begin, where the teeth end. Yeah, I'm gonna have to say that the tutorial was pretty good. <laughs> What did you think, Tori? Did you do you like this one? Mm -hmm. Are you gonna say that this one works? Mm -hmm. Tori, mm -hmm. you can't talk. Yeah, just talk. It's fine. I guess we're going to say this one. This one works. Woo! Wow, yeah. you look pretty scary. Oh my goodness. You wanna give me a kiss? Oh god, this is scary. I don't know how I feel about this actually. <laughs> I don't know. Don't, Tori, don't. Maybe later. Maybe later. Maybe later. No, 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 Oh my God, no, I yeah, so uh, I guess this one kind of works. <laughs> I was death by soda can, and you were death by. Who the heck knows? 
I am death. <laughs> you just are death. Oh, ow, ow. I already got myself. One, two, and... Ah! Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and back by popular demand, I put my lip ring back in. Yeah, what do you guys think? I have them in different colors. I got pink, blue, uh, all the colors, actually. So down in the comments, tell me what color you think I should wear in my next video, and I might just do it. And while you guys are down there, you might as well give this video a big ol' thumbs up. And also hit that subscribe button. I make videos every Tuesday, Friday, and Sundays. Anyway, today we're gonna be trying awesome hair hacks that you need to try. By the one, the only, Panda! Now let's try some hair hacks! Wow. Okay, so I know my hair is gonna be a little bit uh, short for this one, but we might as well try. So here's our toilet paper. Now I'm just gonna put my hair up like this. We get the toilet paper hole and slide it right over our hair. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Uh, I look like an Among Us character. I just have a toilet paper roll on top of my head. If it was longer, I bet it would come out. Oh, it just fell down. Oh, I'm getting toilet paper everywhere. If it was longer, I bet it would have came out the other side and then I could have done it, but uh, it's not. So I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't really work for me. I'm sorry guys, I failed you. Guess we gotta go on to the next time. Okay guys, so the first things first, we need our cloth. I'm gonna go ahead and use this sock because I genuinely like the colors on it. I think it looks really nice. Boop, boop, boop. There we go. Then we have to cut it kind of into a strip. Now that we have the strip, I guess we have to sew it like this. I don't know if mine's gonna be long enough. I feel like it doesn't have to be too long. This is probably fine, honestly. And for this part, I'm actually gonna use my girlfriend's sewing machine. I'm borrowing this from Tori, and ironically enough, she actually already makes scrunchies. If you guys want any, you can uh, buy some. Um, I'll put it link down in the description down below. It's Cute Girl Scrunch, and I'm sure she makes them a heck of a lot better than how this is gonna turn out, so, uh... <laughs> so I'm not super familiar familiar with how to use a sewing machine. Apparently they just folded it in half like this and then they put it right in there. How does this go down? Oh boy. Oh, here we go. And then slowly we are just going to... Oh, ow, ow. I already got myself. This is so scary. It's a rotating needle. It's nice and slow. Okay, and I done. So now that we have our weird sock thing, they didn't say to turn it inside out, but I'm gonna do that anyway because I feel like it'll look a lot better. <gasps> no! I messed it up right there. Okay, we fixed it. Now I'm gonna flip it inside out. You know, if you don't like the scrunch, you always have yourself a nice finger sock now. All you need to do is make uh, uh, four more. Then you have enough to make a glove, I guess. Get our hair tie. Put that in. Boop. Looks good. Now we tie it together. And they didn't say to sew it together, so I'm not going to. But I'm gonna stick it together so it kind of looks a little bit more seamless. And there we go. We have ourselves a little scrunch. Oh, uh, yes. But how does it work? Let's find out. Boobity boo. I'm gonna give myself a unicorn horn. And there you have it. A perfect little ponytailed scrunch. Now I look like I'm straight out of the 80s. And I love it. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one 100% works. Okay guys, so here are our crayons. I got some extra ones too, just in case I need more. So I, I'm thinking we do rainbow. And here's our clip. It looks like it's just long enough to fit. Perfect. Then we get our knife and just start cutting them down. And there we go. That looks pretty good. So then we just grab our hot glue gun and start gluing these bad boys on. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now we let this cool down for a sec. Okay, the hot glue's all cooled on. Now we just put this, oh no, I think I might have hot glued it together by accident. Oh, we're good. Now we're just gonna go ahead and put it in our hair. Yeah, that looks great. Oh, I love it. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. Now I have this awesome crayon hair clip that no one else owns. One of a kind it is. And it can be yours for the low, low price of, uh, of free. All you need is crayons, hot glue, and a hair, a hair clip. Yeah, it actually, it works. <laughs> Okay, 
so here's our toothbrush, and it looks like they just use the toothbrush to tease their hair, I guess? Or like brush it off to the side. I like how in the clip, uh, she also used her boyfriend's toothbrush. That's pretty gross. I mean, I get you're trying to get back at him for using the last of the toothpaste, but that was kind of mean. But yeah, she just kind of brushed her hair, and then she just, you know, teased it with the toothbrush, like this. I don't see the point of this one. Uh, it's kind of gross. I'm not really a fan of the middle part on me. Uh, yeah, I don't know about this one. I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't really work. I don't like my hair like that. I'm, I'm just going back. So I actually can't find any of the water balloon sized balloons that she used But I could find these long ones And uh, they're about the right diameter And I feel like it'd be easier to curl my hair with them So I'm gonna use these instead Let's pump it up Pump it Oh my gosh, that's way too long You know what? It's fine so Then we just get our hair And we just <laughs> curl it up I'm gonna try and curl as much of my hair as I can with this Oh my goodness Maybe this side Yeah, that's one down Oh gosh. Oh, and it just fell out of my hair. Attempt number three. Yeah. Ooh, I'll get my bangs. <gasps> what the heck? Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh gosh. Ah. Oh, it doesn't want to stay in. Yeah. What am I doing? Okay. Try to fit one more in here, I guess. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, it's coming out. Okay. Okay, now I'm gonna wait a little bit and then we'll see what happens. Okay, it's been about 20 minutes. Uh, now let's uh, pop these bad boys. Here we go. One, two, and. Ah! Oh, one just fell out. And one, two. Oh! <laughs> How's that? Does that look pretty curled to you? <laughs> it's not even the least bit curled. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. This is way too scary when you pop it. I definitely wouldn't recommend. So for this one, it looks like they just grabbed kind of like a little compact. I don't have a single color compact, so I'm gonna use this. And hopefully my hair is gonna turn out rainbow. So I just get my hair like this, and then we just shut my hair right on this, like this. And then we're going to... Did it work? It doesn't look like my hair changed color at all. No big deal. What if I just get the actual makeup and I paint it on my hair? Will that do anything? My hair turning green at all? Okay, let's try a different color. Let's try, let's try this yellow. <gasps> it's actually turning yellow. I'm just gonna rub it on my hair like this. <gasps> my hair's actually changing color. Okay, let's keep doing that. What? Oh, my hair's actually changing. What? Okay, I'm gonna try and put it in one color. You ready? Let's do this orange. Did that work? <gasps> That's really orange. Okay, now I'm gonna try this other orange. It's like a red almost. Wow! Oh guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. It'd probably be better if you only had a single color compact instead of a bunch like I had, but yeah, it actually kind of works. Okay guys, now it's everyone's favorite part of the video where we redraw the thumbnail! Woo! So this one looks a little bit concerning. What I think I'm gonna do for this one is I'm gonna cut down a bunch of crayons and hot glue them to my teeth. I don't know if it'll work. I'm hoping it works because it looks kind of cool, but I have no idea. I'm gonna use a really low setting on this so I don't burn myself, hopefully. So I just get my crayon. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it down. And then I have to make it kind of like flat on one edge uh, so that I can stick it on my teeth. So that's what I'm gonna do. Be really careful not to cut myself. This is really dangerous. I wouldn't recommend doing this. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's see how it fits. Yeah, it's just a little bit too long. Okay, so if it looks a little bit different, it's because uh, I switched lenses, so you guys could get a closer shot of my teeth. Went ahead and cut it down a little bit more. Yeah, that's about right, right? Ah! Uh, <laughs> it's gonna take a little bit of work, but I think I'll get it. Trust me. Ah! Uh, oh no! <sighs> I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Okay, I got an idea. What if I glue it to the piece of paper and then I put it in my mouth like this? Yeah, I think that I think that might work. I'm gonna try it. Okay, so here's our piece of paper I'm gonna glue it to. Now we have to cut all these down. I'm really hoping this works, because if it doesn't, I think I'm just gonna cry. No! What do I keep 
keep messing up the red. Okay, cool. Now we're just gonna hot glue them to this piece of paper that you can't really see because it's on a white background. Yeah, I think uh, this might actually do it. Let's try it out. Here we go. Uh, oh, corn. <laughs> uh, wow, it's actually kind of working. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely not a permanent solution and it looks a little cheesy, but I definitely think this is gonna work. I'm gonna go ahead and make the bottom part really quick. Okay, so insert the top one. Okay, now the bottom one. This is a lot. I don't know. I don't know if I can fit all this in here. Ah, uh, oh my gosh. Ah. Uh, oh. Uh, okay, and. Oh no, it lost its food! Yeah! That ought to do it! Oh god, oh god. Okay. It's okay, I'm good, don't worry. It's gonna pop the balloon. You ready? One, two, and... Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and yesterday I reorganized my living room! Honestly, the feng shui in this place is so much better now. It's just so much more open, you know what I mean? Honestly, the whole house is really coming together nicely. Anyway guys, today we're gonna be trying some fun hacks with balloons. This is gonna be a lot of fun. But before I start, guys, make sure to hit that like button. Let's see if we can get this video to uh, uh, 20,000 likes. 20,000 likes! 20,000 likes! Also, if you guys like balloons, I actually made a video where I fill 10,000 balloons with $10,000. watch that video uh, you can click right here it was a fun one it it was uh, pretty intense I'm also gonna put it down in the description down below so uh, uh, you can watch it later watch it after this video anyway let's do some hacks with balloons So this one is a little bit more complicated. <laughs> we're gonna be making a balloon tower. And the first thing we're gonna need is a piece of cardboard. Then once we have our cardboard, we're gonna wanna get our balloon and make an outline of how big it is. I mean, it's really rough, but uh, I think it might just work. Then we use an X-Acto knife to cut out the hole. Ah! Okay, this time. Yes, it worked. Now, in theory, this is the perfect size for the balloon. Okay, it's a little off. You know what? It's fine. And the reason we do this is to make them all consistent. Perfect. Okay, so we're gonna get our balloon pump. Whoa, gosh. We're gonna get our little size thingy and screw it in right here. Oh yeah, that's not going anywhere. Perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, pull up a chair because I feel like I'm gonna be here for a while. So the trick with this one is uh, two of the colors have to be the same. Okay, let me tie them together. And that's one down. Well, I guess uh, two down technically. <laughs> here we go. My goal is to make it about 15 feet tall, or uh, in other words, as tall as my craft mystery. Well, let's see what we can do. It looks like they just kind of got two of them and put them together like this. Looks pretty good. I need a weight, so I think I'm just gonna use this can of paint. Then we just tie it to the can of paint like that. Looks good. Then the orange, a little bit of yellow. There we go. Yeah, it's not looking bad so far. But can we make it 15 feet tall? Oh gosh, come back. Oh, this thing's getting pretty tall. So I think the next logical step is to get a step ladder. Help me, step ladder, I'm stuck. What are you doing, step ladder? Actually, I don't even know if a step ladder will help me. Because it's already basically hitting the ceiling. So I guess I'm just gonna have to start uh, making it out the door. Uh, it's definitely a little bit more difficult than I thought it would be. Ah! Oh, 
Okay, so it ended up being a little bit longer than 15 feet. <laughs> Which I mean, it's not really that bad. But the only downside to this is it's not gonna stand up by itself. And that's why I'm gonna put some helium in the top balloons. Oh, okay, let's see what we can do here. Oh gosh. Tie these two together. Oh boy, there we go. We'll put these into four. Yup, it's definitely helium. I feel like I'm gonna need more than four balloons to make this thing float. Oh, I mean, it's definitely doing something. I'm gonna need more balloons. I have to try and do this without making them fly away. Come on, this is proving to be a lot harder than I thought. Oh, you can do it. I just dropped my camera. The light broke off, that's not good. This was my favorite light. I'm really hoping that adding these last eight balloons will work because this is the last of my helium. <laughs> okay guys, you ready to find out if this is gonna work? I'm gonna let it go in three, two, woo! Go, 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 it's okay. I think I actually made it so tall that it hit my ceiling. Oh, what the heck am I gonna do with all these balloons now? I just have a giant balloon dragon just in my foyer now. So I actually got it to stand up and oh my gosh, this is actually really cool. Look at that. It goes all the way to my ceiling. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one actually works. Whoa! things first, I'm gonna need to get myself a good piece of wood. Luckily, I have lots of spare wood in my garage. Just kidding, that's not all of it. Uh, it's actually over there. It's gonna be a little bit uh, of a challenge to get to it, but it's something I'm willing to do. There we go. Uh, uh. Oh my gosh. Oh. The best wood is up there. I'm just trying to get the best wood for the job, okay? Oh. What do we got here? Oh yes, perfect. I really need to find a better way to store my wood. But mission success. Now I'm gonna go ahead and prop up this wood with some other wood. There we go. So I don't have a lot of nails. All I have really are these little guys and also these little guys. <laughs> Get it, fingernails? <laughs> so I'm gonna use these little guys and hammer them in with a little hammer. You know, tiny nails require a tiny hammer. So that's what uh, that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna use these pliers to really make sure that I don't uh, break my finger. We're all done with the scary nail part. <laughs> Here's our balloon. Now it's time to see if it's gonna pop the balloon. You ready? One, two, and... Oh wow! It's not popping! This is crazy! I'm actually kind of impressed. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this actually works. I wonder if it works the other way. <gasps> Wow. Okay guys, so I'm gonna start off with a little game called ATV Off-Road Fury 2. Not for resale, apparently. This was one of my favorite games growing up as a kid. And I was on the search for this game for a sec and I found a copy. But it's all scratched up, so it doesn't even play. So I guess that's a good excuse to use. And we're gonna go ahead and get a Coke bottle and cut off the top. Looks good. Now we just have to uh, hot glue it to the top. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so in theory, once I put this balloon on here, oh no, the hot glue's not cooled down yet. It should make it into a hovercraft. Are you ready? One, two, and... Oh gosh, 
That was kind of fun. I think I'm gonna go ahead and try it again, but out on my foyer on the floor so I can like kick it around. <laughs> Okay guys, you ready to see how far this thing will go when I kick it? Is that really all we get? I mean, it kinda worked. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one, uh, I, I guess it kinda works. <laughs> I'm kinda tempted to make a giant one now. If you guys are interested in seeing that, uh, let me know down in the comments down below, and also get this video to 15,000 thumbs up. So yeah, I guess we're gonna have to say it works. We're gonna take a candle and light it up, then inflate another balloon and see what happens when you hold it over the flame. As expected, it pops straight away and actually blows out the candle. Next, take another balloon, and this time we're gonna fill it with water, like this. <laughs> Tie a knot when you're done. Then take the balloon and try holding it above the candle again. You can see this time it doesn't pop and you can actually hold the balloon right down into the flame. The water inside the balloon keeps it cool so the balloon itself isn't actually affected by the flame. All that happens is the balloon gets black. Oh, okay, so the first thing we're gonna need is a candle. Well, I guess we could say it's lit. I'm quitting, I'm quitting. So according to them, <laughs> If we put this balloon over the candle, it'll pop. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Ah, okay. It's okay, I'm good, don't worry. <sighs> I just saw my life flash before my eyes. But if we fill it with water on the other hand. Guys, I know my sink is dirty. Stop judging me. Like, what do you expect at this point? Jeez. 2,000 years later. Okay, now in theory, this shouldn't pop. Now, I'm really hoping that this is true because I have a lot of things on my desk that could get ruined if this were to pop. So, we're risking it all, I guess. Oh, wow! It's working! This is kind of scary. I don't want to do it for too long because I feel like it's gonna pop. Oh, gosh! It's like black on the bottom. Oh, what the heck? That's so weird. Oh, okay. Well, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. <laughs> Well, might as well do something with this water balloon, am I right? Okay, bombs away! Oh, that was anticlimactic. We're gonna take some white vinegar and pour it into a plastic bottle, like this. Then take a balloon and a funnel and stretch the balloon over the end of the funnel. Next, we need some baking soda and we're gonna put two tablespoons down the funnel into the balloon. When you're done, take the balloon off the funnel and stretch it over the top of the bottle. Then lift the balloon up to empty the baking soda into the bottle. This starts an instant reaction which produces carbon dioxide and inflates the balloon. Pretty cool, huh? Okay guys, so instead of using a little balloon, we're gonna go ahead and use a giant balloon. And along with using a giant balloon, we're gonna use a bunch of vinegar and baking soda. I'm gonna go ahead and start off by putting the vinegar inside of this bottle. I'm sorry it's kind of loud, my AC is on. I hate the smell of vinegar, so this is awful. Okay, this is about three quarters full. And this is a 32 ounce flask. Next, we're gonna get our baking soda and carefully put it inside of our balloon. I definitely prefer the smell of baking soda because it doesn't really smell like anything. Okay, baking soda, you got this. There we go, I put the whole thing in. That's three and a half pounds. So now, I have to carefully put the top of this on. Just like that. Now I went ahead and got a zip tie, so all I have to do is zip tie it right on. Okay guys, I'm kinda nervous. I feel like this is gonna get everywhere, so I'm gonna move it away from the camera. Make sure that zip tie is nice and tight. Okay, you guys ready? Three, two, one! Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, it's inflating! It's inflating more and more as I let the baking soda, oh my gosh, it just keeps going. Is this really as big as it's gonna get? I'm gonna shake it up. What? Dude, I put so much vinegar and baking soda in this. It's kind of a bummer. I was hoping it was gonna get ginormous. I mean, it is getting a little bit bigger. You can do it. What a bummer. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one actually kind of works, but I thought that the balloon was gonna get a lot bigger. This is one of the balloons that I used uh, in the video where I filled it with water and I went inside of it. I'm killing over guys, it's pulling me back. If you guys wanna watch that video, you can click right here. Dang, this was so anticlimactic. Maybe I should have done it with even more vinegar. Whoa! Oh god, oh god, oh god, it's getting everywhere, it's getting everywhere. I don't know what's going on here. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. I'm sorry for the noise. My uh, my Roomba is kind of cleaning right now. You really have to do that right now. Get out of here. Leave. I don't even like you. And stay out. Well, anyway, guys, in my last 
video, I made this giant string of balloons. I have floating balloons, but then all the helium died, uh, and then it stopped floating, and now it's just really in the way. And I just gotta say, it's been really inconvenient. Roomba! So that's where the Roomba went. Convenient and large and I just don't really have a, a good thing to do with it I decided I'm gonna try and pop them all at once in the weirdest way possible. So let's see what I can do Okay, so we're gonna need a little bit of this oh my God. A little bit of that mix the two together Let's do this Okay, and then maybe something kind of like this. <laughs> Guys, I don't even need my editors to add sound effects anymore. I'll just make them all myself. Okay, here we go. Let's do this. 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 Yeah, that's gonna fall over way too easy. I think that ought to do it. Now, are you guys ready to pop? Huh? Are ya? Are ya? Are ya? Oh, okay. The time has come. You know, I really liked you guys at first. Uh, you guys seem really cool. And then I started to hate you guys. Like you guys are just too intense for me. You're scaring my dog. You're scaring my cat, my turtle, my girlfriend! But you know what? We've had some really good times, haven't we? Oh god, come back. This is definitely a little bit more difficult than I thought it would be. Ah! Okay, time to pop these bad boys! And then if my theory is when I pull it through, it should just pop. So here we go! One, two, three! And we're done. Guys, I'm low-key scared that uh, my neighbors are gonna call the cops because they think that it was gunfire. It was not gunfire, I swear. I'm just popping balloons. Anyway, let's try some fun life hacks and crafts. One balloon will make my phone float. I feel like this one's not gonna work mostly because phones are kind of heavy, you know? If it doesn't work, I'll try it with a GoPro or something. But the first thing we're gonna wanna do, oh, that's a very light air tank. That's how you know it's full. Helium is one of the only things where the, the lighter it gets, the more empty it is. Wait, no. Pretty full balloon. Then we tie it to a string. I don't want my phone to float away. Then we get our tape. Put that on my phone and tape it right onto the balloon. You guys ready to see if this is gonna work? Oh, I should record this on my phone too. Okay, you guys ready? I wanna let it go in three, two, one. Yeah, that didn't work. Maybe I need a lighter camera. I'll try it with my GoPro, which is a little bit smaller than my phone. Okay, take our GoPro and tape it to the balloon. There we go. Okay, you guys ready for this one? In three. GoPro go. Oh, I found it! Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Kind of unfortunate because I was really looking forward to like this DIY drone. Okay, guys, there's our vinegar. Put a little bit of that in there. Ooh, I can already tell this is not gonna smell great. Ugh, I hate the smell of vinegar. Swish it around a little bit, and then we fry our egg. 
It looks like I forgot a spatula. Definitely not the best non-stick for eggs in a pan. Let's see if I can actually take it off of here. Ew. This does not look great. I definitely would not eat it. I mean, it does look kind of rubbery. Okay, I'm guessing this is about done. Oh man. Oh gosh. I did not like that. Oh! Come back! There we go! Okay, now it's time to see if this will actually be stretchy. Not looking forward to this. And it already broke. Ah, it's so hot! Dude, this is just bre- Oh, I broke the yolk! This is not stretchy at all. This is just a normal egg covered in vinegar! Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Okay, so here are our four. Go ahead and line them up like this. Looks pretty good. And we get our batteries. One battery on each corner. Now apparently we get our four and we just put the coin in the middle. It should start floating. You guys ready? It's not working. Come on, you can do it! Maybe I have to help it. Oh! Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna need is a bowl. And some alcohol. Pour the alcohol into the bowl. I don't drink, by the way. This is adult juice. I don't drink adult juice or condone drinking. Then we take a perfectly good balloon and cut a little slice out of it. Boom, a slice has been done. Don't get right in. That is immersed. Oh, what? Is this actually going to work? No. Are you serious? Okay, you ready? I'm gonna blow it up now. <sighs> the answer is no, this doesn't work. <laughs> well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Okay, here's our ring. I mean, it's not the cleanest ring, but I think it'll work. Then we get our balloon. <laughs> if we rub the bag on something that conducts static. I'm using this fluffy sock because it's the only thing I have. Okay, you guys ready? We take our balloon. That didn't work. I don't know what's going on here. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, it's starting to work. Oh, come on, it's sticking to me. Get off. Whoa, okay, okay. I see you. Maybe if I rub it on the balloon. <gasps> I'll rub it on my hair. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. Oh, it's starting to float. Oh my gosh. Okay, ready? No, why does it go through so fast? I mean, it kind of floats, but not really. So I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one uh, kind of works. I feel like you just gotta catch the balloon on a good day. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna need to do is get my phone and record myself blowing. Yeah, I think that ought to do it. Go ahead and blow up our balloon. Okay, you ready me? I need you to blow this. What? Oh, did it not work? We'll try it again. Wow! Oh my God! Okay, now let's play that in reverse. Considering I can't actually see this until the video is edited, uh, I'm gonna leave it to you guys to decide whether this one works. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments down below. So we got our pencil, we got our tape. I'm not really sure how they got the pencil to stick to their nail so well, but I'm gonna try my best. I'm just gonna stick it on like that, and they just put it on the back of their thumb. So they're holding it like this, and then it's like, what? Oh gosh, I, hit, I just hit myself in the eye. I'm really glad I was wearing goggles for that. That would have ended really badly. So it's like, oh my gosh, I'm holding the pencil. Just kidding, it's gone. See, the pencil is gone. But the pencil was here the whole time, but now the pencil's gone. But now the pencil was here the whole time. Hey guys, guess what? So the pencil's here. Pencil's gone. Where did it go? I don't. I don't see a pencil anywhere. Just my open hand. Oh, pencil's back again. Wow. Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one. This one works. <laughs> You know, I'm really grateful that I have this drawer full of rubber bands. Now that we have our rubber bands, uh, and take one out, get our ring, and wrap it around the rubber band, Whoop. so I can just be like, hey, do you want this ring? I got it for you. Just kidding, I, it's gone, woo! 
No, it's okay. Here, just grab it. All you gotta do is I'll drop it in your hand. Here you go, and <gasps> what? Where you? Where did you put it? Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one actually works. It's a pretty fun party trick, I gotta say. Okay, guys. So I got my cutting board. I'm gonna go ahead and prop it up. Now, I don't really know the science behind this, but for some reason I trust it. So apparently there's some paradox where if you get a cutting board and you start pouring orange juice, at the end of it, it'll float back up and you, you can pour it into your cup. I personally don't think this is gonna work. In fact, this is just complete disregard for physics. But, uh, you know, I'm gonna do it for the craft. I don't have any orange juice, all I have is this cranberry juice. It's gonna have to do. In case this does work, I got my cup right here. You guys ready? One, two, and... Oh god, oh god, oh god, it's getting everywhere, it's getting everywhere! Wow! I feel completely lied to! Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Also, I had to clean my cutting board, because this smells a little rank. Okay guys, so it looks like the only thing we really need for this one is a board. I don't know what kind of sorcery this is, but there's no way that this one could work. See, I just bring the board up to my head like this. Whoa! How am I doing this? Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. This is amazing. I, I'm a, I'm amazed. Crazy. Okay guys, so I can confidently say that this life hack is actually a life hack. One that I actually use quite often. See this? This is actually glow-in-the-dark tape. It's pretty handy. You can buy it on Amazon for pretty cheap. I think this was under like five dollars. Just take it off and put it on whatever you want. The only downside is you have to Let's uh, here we go. Let's charge it on this light. I'm gonna turn off all the lights. It's kind of faint, but you can see it. Really handy. And I also use it on my water bottle. This way when I'm really thirsty in the middle of the to do is look for the X. X marks the spot. Guys, overall, I'm gonna have to say that this life hack, 100% lifesaver. It absolutely works. And I recommend it on everything. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and today I'm on a deserted island. And I'm gonna be trying to survive for 24 hours using nothing but life hacks from Troom Troom. Hmm. I have an idea. Lily, you have glasses. Exactly. Shine the sunbeam through the lens. Here you go. Okay guys, so the first step to surviving in the wilderness is making a campfire. And according to Troom Troom, you can use sunglasses to start a fire. Well, it's a good thing I'm actually wearing sunglasses underneath my goggles. Huh, I don't know where I'd be without these babies. Oh my gosh, it's so bright out here. I'm putting these back on. So here are our sticks. Crush these up so they're nice and burnable. And then we get our sunglasses. I just have to get the perfect magnification so that it all focuses in one spot. Ooh. Uh, yeah, guys, I don't think that this one's gonna work. Maybe if we had regular glasses it would work, but not with sunglasses. So I guess we're gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. We have a magnifying glass. To light a fire, you will need the magnifying glass and some branches. Direct rays of sunlight through the magnifying glass. Patience is a virtue. Look, the twigs are already smoking. Okay, so sunglasses didn't work, but luckily, I always carry a magnifying glass. I got some more flammable sticks, so I'm gonna try this. I feel like it's gonna light up really quick. You ready? It's starting to smoke, you can do it. <gasps> guys, I started a fire. <gasps> it actually works. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. Oh my gosh, it's so warm. Thank God, I was freezing out here in the 100 degree weather. <laughs> now we just have to find dishes. Cut a hole in the can with a utility knife. Insert the burning branches in it. Break an egg into the gap at the bottom of the jar. Mini fried eggs made in survival conditions taste better somehow. So the first thing we need to find for this one is some eggs. I saw somewhere on TV, I think it was National Geographic, that birds tend to hang out in bushes and they lay eggs in there. So we just have to look around in the bushes for some eggs. Eggs, where are you eggs? Eggs. Oh my gosh, guys, a perfect half dozen. Oh, it's fresh too. These were laid this morning. Then we get our Coke can that I randomly found on the floor. Thank goodness for litter bugs, am I right? Grab our pair of scissors that I always keep in my back pocket. I've cut my butt open a lot with these, but you know what? They're worth it, especially for situations like these. 
Well, don't need that anymore. I don't know what the heck this is, but I found it and I'm gonna use it to start a fire. And then we try our magnifying glass. Ah, this isn't working. So I'm just gonna use my blowtorch instead. Oh yes, nothing like a good old fashioned blowtorch to start a fire. Then we go ahead and crack our egg on top. Oh God, that's way too big for a chicken egg. I'm gonna put a rock to maybe help weigh it down a little bit so it doesn't fall over again. We'll try to crack another egg. Oh, it just held the yolk. All the egg whites fell off. That's not good. What the heck am I supposed to do with that? I'm just gonna pretend that the fire is on and uh, use my blowtorch. Come on, egg. Can you cook, please? Well, I wouldn't call this cooking. You can do it, fire. Guys, I'm gonna be honest, I think I'm gonna starve. This egg is not cooking. Uh, I feel like under the proper conditions it might work, but uh, it's not really working for me. Pull the fabric between the sticks. Make three levels. Take coarse sand, some grass, and some coal. Take two glasses. Use one to get water from the river and pour it into the filter. Pour it in a thin stream so that the water can be filtered. Well guys, it's a good thing I always carry these rags around. You never know when you're gonna need yourself some colorful rags, am I right? They use bandanas, but I think that these will work a lot better. Then we get our sticks, and somehow they stuck these into the ground like this, and then they somehow tied the rags to the sticks. I think they had string, but I don't have string. I really should have been more prepared you know, being stranded on the deserted island. Let's see, is there any string I can use around here? Oh, wait, we have trash. Oh, we got an alcohol bottle. Oh, here we go, spider web. So I saw this once in a documentary where you just take spider web on the tree bark and then you just kind of twist it together and then you slowly make string. Whoa, it's working. We have string. I think it's gonna take a few hours to make enough string, but it'll be worth it. So after hours of work, we now have our string. This should make it a lot easier. Yeah, that turned out pretty good. Now I need to find some leaves, some rocks, and some charcoal. Grab us some leaves. Oh yes, this will make my water really fresh. Grab some rocks. Actually, I think these might be a little bit too big. These rocks should do just fine. These little tiny guys. Oh, yes, get in there. And then we grab some charcoal. These are actual charcoal guys. I guess someone must have left them here. This island's not really that deserted, is it? Just plop those in there. Boop. So we got our leaves, rocks, and charcoal. Get some water from the lake. Oh, nature, I love being alone. We got our water, come back to this contraption, and then we make a container to hold the water at the bottom. Stick that right underneath there. Yes. Oh, this is gonna be the freshest water I've ever tasted. Are you guys ready? There we go. It's already starting to drip down. It's working. It's getting so purified. No, it's overflowing. Oh. Guys, that water does not look good. I don't think I actually want to drink this. This kind of looks yellower than it was before. <laughs> I'll try it again. Maybe I could beat it, ready? It's filtering it again. Yeah, that really doesn't look any more clear. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Eating a watermelon with a scoop? Mmm, it's easy and so delicious. So lucky for us guys, I read in a book somewhere that watermelons actually grow natively in the Nevada desert, which is where I happen to be. So somewhere in these trees, we're gonna find ourselves a watermelon. Just you watch. <gasps> this is a watermelon bush. I think we're getting close guys. Oh my gosh, there's even more. I can feel it, one's coming up. Oh, oh, <gasps> oh my gosh, it's a watermelon bush. And this one looks like it's ready to be picked. You wanna know how to find the perfect watermelon? You just slap it. Yep, this one sounds ready. And, oh, snapped right off. I am so excited, I love watermelon. I actually made a whole video dedicated to watermelon hacks. If you guys wanna watch that, you can click right here. It's a pretty good one. Toby turns into a watermelon. Just go ahead and grab our knife and then we cut it in half. Oh. Oh my gosh, this looks beautiful. I'm gonna save this half for later. Then we grab our spoon, and apparently we just scoop it right out. Oh my gosh. It's so convenient. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. You can definitely scoop watermelon out with a spoon. And 
it's delicious. Oh, but there's only one problem. My teeth and my breath. That's okay. We can fix that. Here you go, Jane. And this is for you, Lily. This is how you do it. Like banana-flavored toothpaste. Oh man, this watermelon is absolutely delicious. But now, I have all this fruit stuck in my teeth. And the only way to get it out is using more fruit. So we just gotta peel our banana. I just need the peel, so. And then we just rub it on our teeth. Ugh, honestly, this is 10 times worse. I regret doing that. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. We have to get out of here somehow. Let's send a letter with a cry for help. This bottle is perfect. A piece of coal instead of a pencil. Close it. Now throw it in the ocean. Cool. Okay, so we grab our charcoal and then we find the random piece of paper. I happen to find a printer that this one came with out here. And then we write help. I think it might have worked. I mean, it's close enough. Then we try and shove it inside this water bottle. People are definitely not gonna think that this is trash. And, boobity boop, uh, get in there. Guys, it's not fitting. Yes, perfect. Then we put on our cap, and then we throw our bottle into the ocean. Huh, uh. I really hope someone comes soon. I'm getting really lonely. The main downside of an island like this is that there's nothing to do. Oh. Ewald came up with a fun activity. Just need to get some pineapples and a couple of coconuts. Arrange the pineapples as pins. And now roll it at the pineapples. Yay! Oh, I've been waiting forever and I'm so bored. When is someone gonna come and rescue me? I'll try bowling. Luckily for me, pineapples and coconuts also grow natively in the Nevada desert. Ugh. And they're both conveniently grown in the same tree. Okay, first attempt. I'm gonna get a strike, watch. One, two. So close! How could you deceive me? I'll just try again. One, two. Oh, I hit another one. Take that. Okay, this is my last shot. I did it! Take that, pineapple! Oh my gosh! And there's juice coming out. <laughs> it's a little bit dirty. Oh, tropical rain. That was unexpected. Where can we hide? It's a good thing Ewald has raincoats. Big garbage bags, actually. Same difference. As long as we don't get soaking wet. Oh yes, another thing that I always carry with me. A full-size trash bag. That way I can pick up any trash that I find. But we're not actually doing that today. We have to make sure we're prepared for when it rains. So we're just gonna rip our armholes really quick and our head hole. It's really important to do this before you put it on you. Otherwise, you can die. I learned that one the hard way. I literally died once, trust me. It's in my biography. Oh, mother, I'm being burst into the world! And that's how you make yourself a trash bag poncho. Just in time, too. It feels like it's gonna rain any minute. Any day now. Any, any day. Oh my gosh, I'm so bored. Someone come and find me. We were at a party, but we don't have anything else to wear. You can find more comfortable clothes here. Oh. Are you suggesting we take the clothes off the skeleton? Are you serious? What do you think, Monday? Is this okay? La, 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 la. Oh, God! Oh my gosh, free clothes! Actually, who the heck would wear this? That blue beanie and that pixel pizza shirt? Link in the description if you guys want one. Oh, oh, that's disgusting. I don't want to take a dead man's clothes. And what's this? Monster recovery? Oh, doesn't look like he recovered from that one. Well, anyway. Cut the tab on one side. Attach the picture. String the pictures on the rope and decorate the wall of the cave. Oh, I miss the bench. Sweet, sweet bench. Tori Dabransky, my sweet, sweet girlfriend. Oh, and most of all, Thomas Dabransky. <laughs> I just miss them all so much. Gosh. 
These are precious. They're precious. Precious. They're precious. Oh yeah, so we grab our string from earlier, and then using my trusty Boy Scout knife, we're gonna cut a slit in some of these can tops, which actually feels really dangerous. That ought to do it. Then we just string them together. And theoretically, when I pick this up, we should have a perfect Polaroid string. Oh no, what fell off? Well, it's just the one of my girlfriends, so not that big of a deal. At least I have Benj and Thomas the Bransk. And then we just hang them up. Yes, they're perfect. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. I only feel half as lonely as I did before. Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie. This is my craft corner. And today we're gonna be trying 100 ways to cook eggs. Let's just say this video is gonna be exciting. All these ways of cooking eggs are gonna be excellent. I'm starting to question my existence. I'm gonna start this video before I have an existential crisis. Okay, I'm just gonna start this. Okay, I'm sorry. Also guys, before I start, I wanna give you guys a quick disclaimer. This video is extremely long. So I actually added chapters for you guys. So if you go down to the timeline, you can see every single egg recipe that I'm about to make. And just for the sake of simplicity, I started with the most simple ways to make an egg, and it slowly progresses into crazier ways to make eggs. So yeah, uh, make sure you give this video a big old thumbs up, and enjoy this video that took me basically a whole week to film. Eggs! Eggs! Number one, raw. Okay guys, I am not looking forward to this one. There's our egg. Ew. Do I really have to? I already know I'm not gonna like this. Like, why would you guys better give this video a big ol' thumbs up because I'm eating a frickin' raw egg. I could get salmonella because of you. Anyway, don't do this at home. No, I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it. But I feel like I must. Okay, I'll try the yolk. <laughs> Yeah, zero out of 10. Don't recommend this one. Don't do this one. Gross, gross. Number two, prairie oyster. So the first step to making a prairie oyster egg, you just add a raw egg, some Worcestershire sauce, and then a little bit of Tabasco. I don't have Tabasco, so I'm using Tapatio. And just a little bit of salt. And that's our prairie oyster egg. Oh, what did I sign up for? I'm getting the trash can ready. I already know I'm not gonna like this. I don't even want to. I can't get the taste out of my mouth. That gets a zero out of 10. Three through six, extra soft, soft, medium, and hard boiled. Start off with a pot of water. Heat it up until you get a rolling boil. One, two, three, four. Once we hit five minutes, we're gonna pull the first one out. And five minutes, 6.30, eight minutes, and 10 minutes. Okay, so extra soft. This was the one that was cooked for five minutes. Oh, it's very, very mm, tricky to de-shell. It like almost instantly breaks. It's not really cooked on the inside. Oh, it is a little bit. The yolk is still kind of runny. I'm gonna do my best to uh, de-shell this without completely ruining it. And this is what I would consider a soft boiled egg. So this is a soft boiled egg. This is a slightly less soft boiled egg. This I guess would be a medium boiled egg. And this is a hard boiled egg. As you can see, the longer you cook it, the less runny the yolks get. Pretty fun stuff. Okay, add some salt on all of them. Let's try the soft boiled egg first. <laughs> Basically a raw egg. I don't like that one. Uh, I'm gonna give it a three out of 10. Now for the eight minute one. I don't like this. Again, pretty freaking raw. Three out of 10 as well. Now time for the medium cooked one. I'm gonna add a little bit more salt. Mm. Yeah, it's a little better. Not my favorite, but you know, it's okay. I'll give it a six out of 10. And last but not least, probably one of my favorite ways to cook eggs, hard boiled. So convenient, pretty tasty. I ate hard boiled eggs for probably an entire year straight. Yep, hard boiled egg. Nine and a half out of 10. Good job, hard boiled. Number seven, poached. Pot of water, bring to a boil. Water's boiling, now we have to spin it. I'm gonna use my Mixitron 5000. That looks so odd. I have to keep spinning it so that it, it stays in one piece. Oh my gosh, it looks like a ghost egg. 
Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Back together, get back together, oh my gosh. Yeah, that looks about done. I kind of broke it open by accident, but uh, you know, it's fine. Okay, well, <laughs> guess we're gonna try this. Okay, it's definitely a very slimy egg. This does not look very tasty at all. Um, it kind of barely looks cooked, if I'm being honest. I'm gonna stab the yolk. You guys ready for that? You guys ready for the yolk stab? Boom! Oh, what the heck? Boom! Boom, boom, boom! Oh, yeah! Mm. Poached egg, two out of ten. Wouldn't recommend. It's just a very watery, raw egg. Minimal cooking, just... No thanks. Number eight, sunny side up. So add our pan. We're gonna add some butter. Oh, baby. And then I have these little perfect egg holder things, uh, which I like to use. Put that in there. Boopity boop. We must preserve the yolk. That's literally the most important part of sunny side up eggs. Oh no, I messed up. It's okay, I can fix this. Now for the hard part. Putting it on the plate without breaking the yolk. Carefully. And just slide right off. Oh, that was perfect. Oh, take that sunny side up. Oh yes, the one of the most classic eggs there have ever been. The sunny side up egg. But it's not complete without Mr. Salt and Pepper. Oh, yes! That joke's gonna get real old really fast. <laughs> now the moment you guys have all been waiting for. Ooh, look at that. Nice and gooey. Like I said, pretty classic egg. Could use a little bit of toast or something on the side. Maybe some bacon. Ooh, I need bacon. Oh. But otherwise, I would probably say uh, 8 out of 10. Not the bad. I would definitely recommend this way. Number 9. Heart hard boiled. Start off with a hard boiled egg. Then we put the pointy part down into some cardboard like this. Get our chopstick and push it down. Then we use some rubber band to hold it in place. Real gently. Eventually this will make a heart. I'm gonna put another rubber band on it just to put a little bit more pressure. Hopefully this doesn't split my egg. I think we're good. I'm gonna leave it like this for five minutes. I'll see you then. One debt to society later. Okay, it's been about an hour. Let's see if this egg holds its shape. Oh. <gasps> Oh no. The sides are all weird looking. I think it's because the cardboard got wet and then it morphed to the shape of the cardboard. Ew. I mean, it kind of made a heart. Oh, that's fun. Now let's cut this bad boy in half. Oh, that's fun. They kind of look like Finn from Adventure Time. I mean, they're heart-shaped hard-boiled eggs. Since I'm guessing this is gonna taste exactly like a hard-boiled egg, I am gonna give this hack a five out of 10. Could be fun at parties, I guess. Number 10, hard-boiled egg shapes. Okay, so now we're gonna use these weird egg cooking pouch things. This one we got like a little, I don't know what this is, a flower? Just a random lemon, I think? A star? And a heart! Aww. Aww. <laughs> no! I'm trying my best, okay? No. <laughs> this one's just not meant to be, okay? <laughs> and then we just put them inside of a pot of boiling water. Then we let it sit for like 10 minutes. 10 minutes later, I'm just gonna go ahead and put these in an ice bath just to cool them down. Mmm, hot plastic. Okay, let's see how these bad boys turned out. So, I'm hoping they just kind of plop out real easy. I mean, they look pretty fun inside. Come on, oh, it came out. Oh, this one's pretty cute. Come on, we got the star. And of course, we can't forget about the heart. Okay, uh, let's try it. So many hard boiled eggs. I wonder if this is gonna make them taste any different. Probably not. I'm gonna start with the heart. Yeah, I mean, we cooked it all the way through. I give this one a, a four out of 10. I don't know if it's really worth all the trouble just to have these kind of wonky egg shapes. <laughs> Number 11, spun, <laughs> spun hard boil. So I don't have one of those fancy egg spinner things, but I do have this sock that happens to match my shirt. And what I can do is take our egg, put it inside the sock, and then we spin it around. I think I saw this one on TikTok once. Oh my god. Whoa! Yeah, that should be enough. I think it should be nice and mixed. Go ahead and dunk it into an ice bath. Out of the ice bath. Oh, that's cold. And crack it open. Time to see if there's no yolk. I feel like there's gonna be a yolk, but it's just gonna be super like mixed in. There's like weird air bubbles in it. As you can see, it's still one piece. There's a little part where it kind of looks a little bit like a lava rock or a moon rock. But besides that, it's kind of just a normal hard boiled egg. And there's definitely still a yolk. <laughs> one out of 10, don't recommend. Number 12. 
frozen. Okay, so here's our egg. Here's our skewer. I just gotta carefully poke this without getting milk everywhere. I don't know how well this is gonna work. <laughs> I feel like I'm gonna crack it. I'm gonna freaking crack it. I already know it. I feel like I need a drill bit or something to start this off. <gasps> It just went in. It's already starting to crack. Oh gosh. Do I really need the skewer? We, we got it skewed. Put this bad boy in the freezer. Yes, this is not gonna end horribly wrong at all. I'll see you when you're frozen in a couple of hours, probably the... In a couple of hours, probably... Okay, and it's the next day. Boy, oh boy. Does this thing, uh, this looks pretty frozen to me. Okay, so I don't know how the heck I'm gonna open this. Maybe... <laughs> Guys, I don't know. It's kind of cracking. I don't know how well this is gonna work if I'm being honest. Let's try my trusty hammer. <laughs> I was laughing and part of the shell got in my mouth. What? How am I supposed to eat this? You can't even eat this. I guess I'll just try and lick it like a popsicle. Ew. Okay, I'm gonna do it. Not good. It kind of tastes like gross water, frozen egg water. <gasps> Can I use this as a hammer? It doesn't even work well as a hammer. Honestly, guys, I'm gonna have to give this one a zero out of 10. It's pretty awful, pretty useless. Doesn't even make a good hammer. Number 13, pickle. A pickle day! Okay, so first things first, we gotta make hard boiled eggs. Here's our pan. Go ahead and boil some water. Boopity boop. Oh, why does that always happen? Okay, hard boiled egg is all done. Put it in some ice water. Then we make our mixture. First a cup of vinegar. A cup of water. Add some sugar. These pickled eggs are gonna be extra sugar. A little bit of salt. And last but not least, our beef. This is actually kind of scary because it literally looks like I killed some beef juice is very red. I'm gonna try my best. Oh god! I'm gonna try my best not to get the beet juice in there. That does not sound good. Oh my goodness. I think I might have just broke my little stove. This is probably way too many beets. Get our mason jar, put on our hard boiled egg. And we get our crazy blood mixture. Oh god. This is actually trying to kill me. Officer, I swear it's beet juice. I heard if you eat beets, it makes your piss red. Which is something that uh, I don't really want to find out if it's true or not. Just for good measure, I'm going to put some of these beets in there as well. The smart thing to do would be wait to, for this to cool down. But instead, I'm just going to put it right on. Ugh, this is a stinky one. Now I'm gonna let this sit for a couple days. Okay, so it's been the next day, and uh, I'm not looking forward to this one. It's literally an egg soaked in vinegar, and I am not a fan of vinegar. Oh, it's stuck on there. Oh my gosh! It like sealed on. Ah, I got it on me! <laughs> that is one uh, red egg. I kinda wanna cut it in half to see what it looks like. Ooh! That is actually pretty nice. It's pink all the way to the center. But how does it taste? I think it's just because I really don't like vinegar. So I'm giving this one a uh, 1 out of 10. Number 14, tea egg. So first things first, we gotta add a bunch of random stuff. Boobity boop. Oh no, down by the fire. I live life dangerously, don't I? <laughs> it's just go, I'm just putting it in the water. It's safe in there. Some cinnamon, black peppercorns. Tell me when to stop. Tell me when to stop. Why are you telling me to stop? Some whole cloves. A little bit of ants knee. I don't know what the heck this is. <gasps> Why did it make it bubble? Ugh, it smells like black licorice. Did I already add salt? I've had more salt. A little bit of soy sauce. Oh yes, we can't forget the cane sugar. The perfect amount is too much. Then we're gonna mix it all up. Then we get our soft boiled egg. And just crack it all over. There we go, nice and cracked. And then we drop it into our weird mixture. I think I might need to add a little bit more water. <laughs> there we go. Then we let it simmer in there for 30 minutes. After the tea bath, we put it inside of a mason jar. Then put some of the liquid inside of the mason jar and seal it up for 24 hours. I'll see you then. The next day. Okay guys, it is the next day. Let's see how this tea egg turned out. Oh, it smells like tea. Like, it doesn't smell bad. It just smells like tea. Whoa. So this is how the tea egg turned out. I'm gonna try and peel it very carefully. There we go. Ooh, that looks kind of pretty. But how does it taste? Okay. I definitely like this a lot better than the pickled egg. 
This is super, I don't know how to describe, I actually kind of like this. Wow. I didn't think I'd actually like this at all. This is fantastic. I'm giving this a 10 out of 10. This is, this is awesome. Number 15 through 17, over easy, medium, and hard. Okay, we're really getting advanced here, cooking three of them at the same time. Granted, they're all pretty much the same thing. So, you know, <laughs> butter, butter, butter. <laughs> I already broke it. Ah, oh, I broke it! No! What kind of master crafter am I? I'm gonna redo this one. Cause this is a fail! I'm gonna flip our over easy. Flip our medium. Over easy. Done. Over medium. Done. And over hard. Ooh. Okay, let's do first off over easy. Let's cut it open and watch that oak bleed. Ooh, nice and runny. That's how you want your over easy eggs to look. Kind of runny, uh, you know, the yolk isn't really cooked yet. The outside is still a little bit soft. I would give over easy probably a six out of 10. Pretty classic way to cook eggs, but uh, it's not my favorite. Over medium, which is pretty much the exact same thing, but the yolk is a little bit more cooked. You guys ready? Yeah, so it's still a little bit gooey, not too bad. Got a little bit more cooked parts of the egg. Oh, I forgot to season this one. It definitely tastes more like a hard boiled egg uh, where the yolk is with a little bit of runny part. Again, probably gonna have to give this one a six out of 10. Not really my favorite. It's okay. I'm not forgetting the salt this time. And now we have our over hard egg. This shouldn't be gooey at all on the inside if I cooked it right. Oh, it's a little bit gooey. Oh, well, I tried. This is more like over medium. I think I should have cooked it a little bit more, but for the most part, this is about over medium, over hard, kind of crossing into there. The yolk isn't very runny. It's kind of solid. Again, basically the exact same thing as over medium and over easy. Yep. <laughs> it's still egg. <laughs> I'm gonna smell like egg for weeks. I'd probably give over hard uh, a, a five out of 10. Not as good as over medium and over easy. But it's still a pretty classic way to make eggs. Number 18, microwave scrambled. Here's our bowl, crack it open. Add a little bit of milk. Oh, probably way too much milk. Oh my gosh. Mix, mix, mix. I'm gonna put this in a Tupperware thing that I'm hoping is microwave safe. Smack that lid on. Put it in the microwave for 45 seconds. Ooh, yummy. I can't wait to try this. Dude, this is so gross. <laughs> So it's a very runny scrambled egg. Um, I don't know. I mean, it's kind of fluffy. A little salt, a little pepper. Maybe that'll fix it a little bit. I'm getting to the point where everything just kind of tastes the same. I mean, this isn't bad. It's not the best way, in my opinion, to make scrambled eggs. But I would say I would probably give this method a 5 out of 10. You can definitely do better, and you can definitely do worse. That's for sure. Number 19, hot and fast scrambled eggs. Here's our bowl. Egg. Mixitron 5000. Mix, mix, mix. Yeah, that ought to do it. Add some butter. Mmm, butter. Add our scrambled mixture. And he said to basically just start moving it as soon as it goes on there. Honestly, this was one of my favorite way to eat eggs for a long time. Pretty simple, pretty elegant. Maybe add some onions or uh, peppers, whatever you want in there. Basically an omelet. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Oh, yes. Just a sprinkle of everything. This is probably the most classic way ever to make eggs. Scrambled. Honestly, nine out of 10. You can't go wrong with scrambled eggs. You really can't. Number 20, diner style omelet. Break out our eggs. Now to put this to the fire. Pour it in and immediately start moving it. Oh, baby. This is some good stuff. Okay, flatten it out. This looks like a lot more than one egg. Ooh. I am actually pretty happy with how this turned out. Boom, we got our diner style omelet. Yeah, so it's basically a scrambled egg, all one piece. Uh, simple, elegant. Mm. I forgot how much I like omelets. Wow, I love omelets. Probably the most versatile way to cook eggs, if I'm being honest. You can put anything in an omelet. You can put steak, you can put uh, mushrooms, you can put vegetables. Dude, I don't know, ice cream, I don't, you can put anything. 10 out of 10, best way to cook eggs. Number 21, French omelet. Low heat, a little bit of butter. 
for our egg. Mix, mix, mix. Apparently I'm supposed to do this till I get a curdy texture. That does not sound nice. Dude, it's actually working. It's starting to get curdy. Ew. I don't know how I feel about this. Oh, it's starting to solidify. And then apparently I kind of mix it up like this. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? This is a little bit more difficult than I thought. This part right here doesn't want to cook. I'm gonna wait for this part to cook a little bit more. Then apparently I'm supposed to try and roll it. Come on. Roll. Yes, I did it. Come on, there we go. Yes! And that is a French style omelet. Yeah, it looks pretty much like a basic omelet, a little bit less cooked than a normal omelet. Hmm. It could be a little bit less runny, but you know. Why don't people like to fully cook eggs? I don't understand. It's not bad. Like, this is probably one of the better raw egg uh, recipes I've had. I'm gonna give this one probably a four out of 10. Sorry, French omelet people. It's not bad. Seven out of 10. There you go. That's my final answer. Number 22, souffle omelet. Get some eggs. You guys are the chosen ones. Separate the yolks with the whites. Oh gosh, oh gosh. I'll try my best with this. Oh! No, I already messed up. How could I do this? I've disgraced everyone. Okay, I'm gonna try this again. But this time, I'm gonna try the bottle method. Ready, ready, ready? And that's how you get just the yolk. Oh, yes, perfect. Then we mix this up until it looks like a cloud. This is taking too long. I'm breaking out the Mixitron. Yeah. I think that should do it. Then we mix up the yolk and we just kind of fold this in. <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel like I'm not doing this correctly. Cool, yeah, uh, time to hit the pan. Boobity boo, hot pan. I added way too much butter. Put it in there. Then we put a plate on the top, just like that. Then I guess it's gonna kind of bake in there. Okay, it looks like it's, uh, I can hear it starting to sizzle. Oh gosh, is that done? I'm not sure. Oh, I mean it's fluffy on the inside. Flip that in. Ah, come on. No, no, get back in there. Okay, yeah, I did it. A souffle omelet. Mmm, yummy. It looks pretty nice, it's pretty fluffy. You know, it's not bad. That's without the salt and pepper. With the salt and pepper, it's pretty fluffy. It's pretty flaky. It doesn't taste like raw, which is nice. I'm gonna have to give this an eight out of 10. That's a pretty good way to cook an egg, actually. I would definitely make this for my friends. Number 23 through 25. Oven cooked hard, poached, and scrambled. Start off with one of these cupcake tins. Unfortunately, we're not making egg cupcakes. Start off with an uncracked egg and that one. Butter up two of them. Add just a little bit of water. This is for our poached. And last but not least, our scramble. Crack an egg, add the tiniest amount of milk, add a little bit of salt. You know what, salt to the poach too. Then we're just gonna beat the heck out of this one to make it a scramble. Then we pop in the oven for about 12 minutes. A few minutes later. Are you guys ready for three at once? I don't think you are. Okay, here is our cup of ice water. Uh, I'm gonna let that sit in there while we try the other two. So I guess we'll actually start off with the scrambled egg. Wow, it just came right out. Ooh, no! Our scrambled egg looks pretty good. Looks like a little quiche. Okay. So big scrambled egg, I'd probably give a eight out of 10. Not a bad way to cook a egg. Okay, now for the poach. Well, it definitely cooked it. I think I might have added a little too much water maybe. I don't know how I feel about this. Uh, it's very watery. Kind of feels like a hard boiled egg, but not really. Kind of slimy. I don't think that I'm really a fan of poached eggs to begin with, so. <laughs> That's so gross. Oven baked poached, uh, two out of 10. Nope, not doing it. Okay, and last but not least, oven hard boil. For the longest time, I didn't know that you could do this, and it turns out that you can, but it really doesn't work very well. This was in there for like half an hour, and it didn't even hard boil. Look at that, it's just falling right apart. This is not even that cooked. How could it turn out that bad? I've done this before and I fully cooked it. It didn't turn out very well either. Cooking it for like 15 minutes. I actually left this in for five minutes longer than he said. So I left it in for 20 minutes. I would only say that's a one out of 10. Wouldn't recommend. Number 26, olive oil fry. Add olive oil. I feel like I was supposed to let the pan heat up first, huh? Or does it really matter? Let that olive oil heat up. Boopity boop. Crack it in. Then apparently we just kind of baste it. I don't know if I have enough olive oil in here to do that, but I'm gonna try. Ooh. Ah! Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Just a whirlwind of olive oil. Just keep uh, putting olive oil on it. This is gonna be one very olive oily egg. This looks so wacky. I love it. Ah! 
I get it. Okay, I think you're done. You're done. You're fine. Okay, 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 okay. Real careful. Ooh, that is very oily. Carefully place that on there. Okay, interesting uh, consistency. The bottom is nice and fried, kind of like a golden brown. Looks nice. Okay, let's uh, let's try it. I'm excited. Uh, this is gonna be interesting because it's new and I've never tried an olive oil egg before. Let's see. It's not bad. It's okay, I guess. Let's try the yolk. Ooh, that yolk. It's nice and actually like cooked. Oh. Mmm. Pretty good. I'd say this is probably a lot of calories because olive oil adds a lot of freaking calories. I'd probably give it an eight or nine out of 10. Not bad. Number 27, olive oil steamed. And olive oil, let it heat up. Add our egg, then we add some water. And just put a lid on it. Let that cook for a little bit. This is dangerous. Cooking eggs is dangerous, I'm telling you. Oh God! Oh, oh, okay, okay, I think that's enough cooking of that. Oh, I got it in my eye, ow! Fine, fine, you can come out now, fine. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh gosh, oh, oh my goodness. Yeah, uh, let's go try this freaking death egg. I never thought that I'd be scared for my life cooking eggs. But I guess today's the day. Cooking 100 eggs will do that to you, I guess. Oh my eye, got me right in the eye, guys. Okay, so this looks very similar to uh, the sunny side up. And also the uh, last egg we had, which was the uh, basted egg. Mm, this is gonna be, I don't think I cooked it all the way, but that's because I was scared of it. Um, I'm gonna have to give this one a three out of 10, not because it doesn't taste great, which it kind of doesn't. I feel like I didn't cook it all the way, but mostly because it scares me. Mm. Yolk's not bad. You know what? Four out of 10, but a very scary four out of 10. Number 28, olive egg. Oh my gosh. Oh, we got our food processor. Grab our egg whites. Then we get our black olives. Douse them in there. Oh yes. The perfect combination. Eggs and olives, what else could you want? And then we mix it up. And... Oh, they're spinning! Speed it up. Let's set this to 10. Yeah! Oh, this looks delicious. It's like a perfect blend of chocolate ice cream. But it's gonna taste nothing like chocolate ice cream. Look how liquidy that is. <laughs> oh, I am ecstatic for this one. Then we grab our gross concoction and just uh, put it right in our pan. And then we return the yolks back to their fam. I'm gonna be honest here, guys. I don't think I used enough olives for this. <laughs> I think it's supposed to be super dark black but it's okay. That looks about right. Ooh, yummy. Yeah, so this is our olive egg. Uh, <laughs> Screw green eggs and ham. It's all about black eggs and no ham. <laughs> anyway. Oh, this did not, I don't think this cooked all the way. Oh, this is pretty gross. Oh, the sad thing is I like all this. Yeah, one out of 10. Zero out of 10. Nope. One out of 10. Final answer. Don't recommend. Number 29, barbecue. Ah! I'm really grateful for this grill. Put that down so we don't burn our egg. Hey guys, my barbecue came with an egg hole. Look it, it just holds it up perfectly. Okay, leave this for like 10 minutes, I guess, and we'll see what happens. Okay, 10 minutes is up. Ooh, a nice golden brown. Woo -hoo -hoo. This looks pretty tasty. Go ahead and take our barbecued egg and put it in an ice bag. They didn't say to do this, but I feel like with any kind of egg where it solidifies in the shell, you should definitely put it in some ice water. Our egg is cooled off, now we crack it. Ooh, this is cracking pretty nice actually. Not bad. I mean, it's actually not that easy to peel apart. I definitely think it cooked a little uneven. Uh, what the heck is that? Oh, this is gonna be so weird, a barbecued egg? I bet it's gonna be freaking delicious though. This looks like about as much shell as I'm gonna get off, so uh, I guess I'm gonna try it. So starting out, why is it green? What the heck? How did that happen? Did I touch something that was green? No, there's there's green inside the shell. That's weird. Well, the skin looks pretty interesting. Um, ooh, it feels like chicken skin. It tastes like chicken skin. Okay, what about the outside? 
I mean, it's not bad. It's pretty good. I would probably give this an 8 out of 10. <laughs> Except for the fact that the shells don't really come off very easy. Number 30, smoked. Okay, so now we're gonna smoke the egg, which is pretty much the same thing as barbecuing it, but uh, we move the coals over a little bit. Oh my gosh, it's stuck. Oh gosh. Oh, ow, ow. And move those over. This way it makes kind of like an indirect heat. Set our eggs so that it's not right over the coals. Now we wait for like an hour. One hour later. Okay, it's been about an hour. Oh, definitely not as brown as it was when we directly barbecued it. It just has like a bunch of these weird spots on it. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in our ice bath. Okay, now I gotta peel it. I feel like peeling this one is gonna be a bit more messy than peeling the barbecue one, simply because I don't think it cooked all the way. Like it, it, it does this, look it. <laughs> you can see there's a part where the egg just like straight up solidified on the bottom. So now it's just rolling. There's probably a big blank space up on the top right here. I'll crack that part first. Oh, oh, that's so hollow. Oh, oh, that's so weird. Look at that. What the heck? It feels like a balloon. It's like a, I smoked the membrane. This looks so interesting. <gasps> Whoa, you can see inside of it. Oh. What the heck? It's like hollow. Oh, we're getting towards the bottom. The bottom's a little bit tougher to peel because this is where it came in contact with the grate. This is very strange because it feels leathery. So it's really hollow. It feels kind of like human skin. Pretty gross. Okay, let's see how it tastes. Ooh, I can put the salt inside of it. Pepper. Okay, a smoked egg. I don't like that. Can we not? Ew. And it's like green on the inside. Uh, Dude, that's so weird. Uh, <laughs> I guess I gotta eat this. It definitely tastes smoky. And like the outside is super weird. I don't know if I would actually recommend this. I would probably give this like a three out of 10. It feels like I'm like chewing on chicken skin or something. Kind of gross. Ugh. Number 31, cast iron campfire. So now we're gonna try a cast iron skillet on a campfire. Put that right on there to get it nice and hot. Already looking a little bit gross. Uh, we got all the ashes inside of it. Now that it's all heated up and covered in ash, let's crack our egg. Oh my gosh, that's so hot. Ouch. Ah, uh, yes. We're getting so much ash in just the way I like it. And as I thought, it almost instantly cooked. You can't really control the temperature on this, so that's kind of a major downside. The bottom is almost already cooked, so I guess we're making scrambled here. Okay, that looks like it's about done. Uh, well, time to try it. I honestly love camping, uh, but this is probably one of my least favorite parts. Just getting a bunch of ash in your food, you know? That's not great. These eggs did turn out pretty decent, though. Add some pepper, a little bit of Himalayan pink salt. It's pretty much like cooking eggs on a stove, but, you know, it's on a campfire. So it tastes a little bit more like campfire. <laughs> Honestly, I changed my mind. Probably one of the best ways to make eggs. 10 out of 10. Take it or leave it. Number 32, foil pouch campfire. So for this one, you're gonna need a campfire, a tin foil pouch. This was pretty easy. I just kind of folded it together, crack our egg into it, fold it back up, and just throw it onto the fire. And hopefully that ought to cook it. I'm hoping that it doesn't burn through the tin foil. And we flip it over a couple times, and that's been in there for about five minutes. I'm not really sure if it's done, but we're gonna find out. I can't wait to see if this actually cooked or not. Ooh, pretty burnt. Oh! Wow! It actually cooked all the way through. Do you guys see that? It freaking worked. How does it taste? Low key, all I can smell right now is my burnt hand hair from that barbecue. Here we go. It tastes like the aluminum foil. I'd give this a two out of 10. I wouldn't really even recommend it if you were camping, just at this point. Try a cast iron skillet. Number 33, on the coals. Now we're gonna try putting it directly on the coals. Okay, be real careful. No! I dropped the egg. We'll try this again. Okay, I can't wait to see what happens. You'll be a good egg. 16 paranoia filled days later. This is honestly taking too long, so I'm gonna add lighter fluid. Oh, it just broke open. What? It might actually be cooking it. How the heck am I gonna get that? Okay, I'm guessing that's about done. Uh, oh, no! It broke! Oh no. I'm gonna have to say that this one uh, doesn't, doesn't work. Number 34, in a car engine. So the first thing we gotta do is get some tin foil. Then I have to make it into kind of like a pouch. 
I really don't want this to break open, so I'm actually going to double it up. I'm gonna fold it in half. Boop. Fold it in half again. Open it up. Oh, there we go. Put our egg in there. Oh gosh. Ooh. Uh, yep. Just a pouch full of eggs. Close that up. And I'm just hoping that this does not leak everywhere. Well, time to put this in our engine. The first thing we have to do is heat up the engine. So I drove it around for about 20 minutes. I'm gonna place the egg right inside of here. And hopefully this actually does something. I'm gonna leave it there for about half an hour. I'm also gonna go ahead and close the hood to make it extra hot. So it's been about half an hour. Let's see how it turned out. Oh no. Okay. Definitely a little hot, but let's go see if it cooked. Okay, let's open this puppy up and see if it actually cooked or not. It feels kind of like stiff, so I feel like it did. Oh, oh come on, this is harder than I thought. Oh, what the heck? It actually cooked. Whoa. Wow. Dude, it cooked all the way through in a half an hour. I'm impressed. I don't really want to eat it because I feel like I'll get carbon monoxide poisoning. I don't know how that works. I'll probably get sick if I actually eat this. Just because it was touching my engine and the fumes. Dude, that yolk is so hard. That's so weird. Anyway, I'm gonna have to give this one a zero out of 10. Please don't eat this. But it does cook it. Freaking worked. Number 35, bake inside of a car. Okay, so I think I'm gonna start off with this one by just cracking an egg on this pan. Add a little bit of butter first, just so it doesn't stick in case it actually cooks. There we go. And I'm just gonna put like a normal egg and I'm guessing that this might actually bake inside the shell. Okay, let's go put it in my car. Okay, I'm gonna put a thermometer in here just so we know how hot exactly it's getting. Just so we know how hot it's getting. I feel like it's gonna get at least over 110 in here. Oh, then we carefully get our egg and I am just hoping that this doesn't, oh my gosh. I'm just hoping this egg doesn't fall. Oh gosh, don't get in my vent. Oh my gosh. Okay, uh, I will be back in, uh, let's say a couple hours and hopefully one of these are actually cooked. So it's been about four hours and it is, oh my gosh, over 120 in here. That is actually scary. <gasps> No, guys, what? Oh, I need oven mitts. I have this glove in here I can use. Oh my goodness. Wow, it actually cooked the egg. I don't know if this one's cooked, but this one's straight up cooked through. That's amazing. Okay, so obviously I am not actually going to eat this one. Oh gosh, it's like stuck to the plate. Oh, that's so weird. Ooh. But it actually like cooked the yolk all the way through. And it cooked the egg white as well. How crazy. This is why it's dangerous to like leave animals and children in your car. So don't do that. Now for the one that I didn't crack, the hard boiled one. Put it in the ice bath for a little bit. It feels like it's not cooked all the way. Oh. Okay, so it looks like just barely the membrane started cooking, and then the rest of it is still kind of raw. Or, <gasps> no, it actually, <gasps> it actually soft boiled the egg. What the heck? And the yolk is actually solid. <gasps> it actually cooked it. This is amazing. I give it a zero out of 10 because I don't think it's actually edible. Moral of the story, it gets really freaking hot in your car, so <gasps> be careful. Oh my gosh. Number 36, cooking tomato sauce. So first things first, we need our tomato sauce. Put a little bit of that in there. That's probably a little bit too much for one egg, but it's fine. Okay, pasta sauce is all heated up. Now we make kind of like a hole in the middle like this. Almost like a volcano. Mm. Oh, no! <laughs> Try this again. What a beautifully cracked egg. Let's just, uh, you know, uh, pan, uh, crop it a little bit so you can't see the other one. Then we put our lid on it. Okay, you ready? Okay, you should be about done now. Oh! Come on. I think this egg has Stockholm Syndrome. He doesn't want to leave. Or maybe it's just, it just knows. This is way harder than I thought. There we go. Not gonna lie, it uh, looks a little bit funky. Uh, let's try it. Mmm, my two favorite things. Runny yolk and uh, plain pasta sauce. Yeah, look at that, runny egg. Mmm, gee, I wonder what this one's gonna taste like. Kinda tastes like pizza. Mm, I'm gonna give this one a five out of 10. I'm pretty, I'm pretty neutral towards it. Number 37, cloud egg. So first things first, we gotta separate an egg. Then using our Mixitron 5000, we make ourselves a meringue. Ooh, that is nice and puffy. Let me go ahead and scoop this up. Ooh, then we just uh, dollop it onto a tray. Ooh, there we go. And then we carefully put our yolk on. Boop. Oh, there we go. 
a perfect little egg. Now we pop this in the oven for half an hour. <laughs> okay, well, I'll see you then. And our cloud egg is done. Ooh, this is kind of interesting. It feels almost like puffed rice pastry. It doesn't look real. Like this is, this is crazy. It's almost like a rice cracker. Like the consistency feels like a, a rice cracker. I'll try it without salt and pepper first. It kind of tastes like puffed rice. Ooh, look at that. Our yolk is even like baked too. Mm. Oh wow, it cooked all the way through. It looks a little bit tough. That was my bad. Add a little bit of salt and pepper. Okay. I definitely wouldn't do this all the time, um, but it's, it's an interesting way to eat an egg. I'd probably give it like a seven out of 10. Again, maybe one of those things that you do to impress your friends. <laughs> Number 38, frittata egg. First we crack three eggs. There we go. Mix them up, add a little bit of milk, butter up our pan. Ooh, that's way too hot. Put in our egg mix. Get to the point where you can peel up the edges. This cooked so fast. I feel like that's mostly because the pan was a thousand degrees. And then we shove it in the oven. Oh yes, a nice and hot frittat. Ooh, this is pretty fancy. It's like an egg pie almost. It's very hot still. How we look in? Ooh, it comes out really easy actually. Not bad, it's pretty flaky. A little bit cloudy. Nice and brown on the underside. Mmm! You know, all egg pretty much tastes the same if you don't add salt to it. But once you add salt, it definitely tastes a little bit different. What a fancy way to cook eggs. It definitely needs a lot of extra stuff. Otherwise, I'm gonna give this a 7 out of 10. Number 39, cooked in broth. Eat our eggs. Looks good. Here's our chicken broth. Pour it into our broth very slowly. Ooh, and then it should make kind of like a stringy. Oh, that looks so weird. I'm gonna call this ghost soup. 12 seconds later. That looks about done. Go ahead and ladle that into our bowl. Ooh, I have mixed feelings on this. I do love chicken noodle soup. This is just before the chicken hatch. This is very hot still. It smells kind of funky. This truly is just multiple forms of chicken in one spot. Mm. No matter what, you always need salt and pepper and like everything egg. It's just the laws of nature. I mean, it's better. Like, this wouldn't be my go-to soup. I'm gonna rate this four out of 10. Nothing like watery eggs, am I right? Number 40, popcorn egg. Grab our bowl, egg, some popcorn kernels, shake a shake up, and then apparently just a little bit of milk. And just kidding, I'm actually adding a second egg. Mix a tron. Oh yes, the perfect consistency. Preheated butter pan. Oh no, popcorn didn't come out, huh? I'm just gonna mix it up again in the pan just to be safe. Then we put on a top and we wait to hear some popping. So it's actually starting to cook the egg. I'm starting to feel like I wasn't supposed to cover it. Cause the popcorn hasn't popped at all. But I don't know if it will without a top on it. Like the eggs are pretty much already cooked. Uh, did I mess up? Why won't you pop? Honestly, I don't feel comfortable eating this without a popcorn kernel pop because I think I'm gonna chip a tooth on my egg. I'm gonna try it again without the top on it and maybe it'll actually work. And we're not covering it this time. Okay, popcorn kernels, good luck. Oh no, the egg's starting to cook. It's happening again. A few moments later. The eggs are now almost completely cooked again. And I have yet to have one popcorn kernel actually pop. So I guess I'm gonna have to give this recipe a zero out of 10 because it doesn't actually work. Plus who the heck would wanna eat popcorn inside their eggs? That's just weird. Okay, anyway, number 41, fried in eggshell. So I've never actually tried uh, one of these weird contraptions before. I literally just ordered this off of Amazon and I'm kind of excited to use it. I'm not gonna lie. So there's two different sides to it. It looked like they used the bigger side for theirs. Okay, ready and... Oh no! I broke it. Okay, I'll try this again. One, two, and... Crack the bottom. Fourth time's a charm. I feel like it's not supposed to be cracked on the edges like that. This time. One, two, and... Oh, come on, you can do it. I did it, yes! Put that in there. I'm gonna do a couple of these just to be safe. And then after that, it looks like they just took their yolk and put it right back into the shell. Booby boop. Then we fry them up. I have to carefully put these on here without breaking the shells. <gasps> no, no, get back in, get back in. Ah! I'll try it again. I don't know how they did it, get back in. Uh... I messed up. I think what I'm gonna do is put the pan upside down and meet the egg halfway. One, two, and oh, it's already leaking out. I'm just gonna go ahead and let that cook. You got this egg? Cook, you can do it. That's pretty weird. <laughs> oh, you can feel like the raw egg inside of it still. Okay, and I'm guessing this is about cooked. It's breaking open on the bottom. There we go. Let's try it, I guess. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. Oh, uh, it's runny on the, uh, I don't think I cooked this enough. This was not fully cooked. Ew. 
okay. I guess we're trying it. Ew. There's no way to know if it's done. The outside looked perfectly cooked, but then you looked at the inside and it was raw. It was just completely raw. You're out of 10. Five the crafts. You let me down. I can't believe it. Number 42. Egg in a sandwich. Break out our bread. And apparently we need to make a sandwich before we actually make our sandwich. I'm gonna make a grilled cheese sandwich uh, because I mostly, you know, spaced on buying ham or lunch meat of any kind. It's okay, a grilled cheese egg sandwich sounds delicious. Then we get our cup. This is a little kitty paw, see? Oh, it has little toe beans. Boop, boop. press that down. Ooh, perfect little bread circle. And then we just place this on top of our sandwich. Now time to take it to the frying pan. Go ahead and place it in our tray. Crack our egg in there. And then they got like a brush thing and just started putting butter all over the sandwich. Ooh, yummy. And we just put it in the oven for uh, an unknown amount of time. I'm gonna try 15 minutes. You know what? It didn't turn out that bad. Actually, that's some pretty good toast. I ended up cooking this for about 20 minutes. 15 minutes was not long enough. Mmm, actually. Mmm, grilled cheese egg sandwich. No, my egg! I'm missing the yolk part. That's like the best part. This is definitely a pretty good way to make an egg. I'm giving this a 9.5 out of 10. It's pretty much perfect. Number 43, ramen egg. Okay, so here's our ramen. I guess I'll put this off to the side for now. Crack our egg on top. Then we add our boiling water. Oh wow, it's actually cooking it. This is crazy. Oh no, I broke the yolk! I completely broke it. I'm gonna try that again. No! I'm so bad at this. Then add our boiling water. Okay, it's kind of cooking. I feel like it's so hot, it's just gonna keep breaking the yolk, but I'm gonna try and be really delicate with it. Then I add the lid, and then I guess that's how we make it cook. This does not look very tasty. This looks kind of gross, actually. Oh my god. Uh, then I'm gonna add some of our seasoning. Oh my god. <laughs> this is not good. Oh, okay, well, let's try it. So it did kind of keep cooking as I took it out, so that's good. It doesn't really smell that bad. Ooh, let's break that yolk right on the ramen. You ready? And stab, stab. Ooh, yes, mix it. Yes! Mm. Actually, this is pretty good. I would actually recommend this one. I definitely say this is a 10 out of 10. One of the best ways to eat eggs. Number 44, biscuit egg. First thing we need is some biscuit dough. And then you press right here. Oh, God. That always gets me. Oh, there's just butter inside of it. Oh my goodness, that looks delicious. So we just smush that out. Yep, that looks pretty flat. And instead of cheddar cheese, I'm actually gonna use pepper jack. Cause that's the only kind of cheese I have right now. Mix that in, flatten it back out. And I don't want to be wasteful, so I'm actually gonna use the Easter egg from earlier. Not a big fan of soft boiled eggs, if I'm being honest. Ooh, so pink. I like how it just has like this pink vein on it. That is so pretty. Add some bacon. These expired bacon pieces out of a jar should be just fine. Some more cheese. Egg. Close it up. Then we throw it in the oven at 375 for 15 minutes. Okay, guys, I'm ready to be amazed. So here's our egg biscuit thing. It's kind of stuck to the pan. Okay, I'm ready for the magic. So we're gonna break this open. Oh my goodness. <laughs> You know, it's really not bad. This one deserves a nine out of 10. Now that's how you make an egg breakfast sandwich. Number 45, eggs Benedict. First thing we're gonna want is a pot of boiling water. Then we put a bowl on top. And then we have to make something called Holland eggs. And apparently we're supposed to make a custard. I've never had custard before, so I don't really know what that is. Then on a side note, we heat up some butter. Melt that down, add our melted butter, add more butter. And yeah, I guess that's done. Then we add some fresh lemon. Yeah, that looks delicious. I don't think I actually cooked this right, if I'm being honest. Then we grill up some ham. Mmm, ham. Toast up our English muffins. Now we poach an egg. Spin, spin. And then we add our egg. Take this bad boy out, put it on a paper towel. Cause nobody likes a soggy egg. Then we finish off by doing our English muffin, some ham, our poached egg, oh my gosh. Oh! I'm gonna put a little bit of salt and pepper on it. And then we add this stuff. I think this is gonna be my least favorite part. Mostly cause I don't think I did this correctly. <laughs> I'll just add more uh, salt and pepper. Hopefully that'll make it better. And we're all set. Ah oh, yes, eggs Benedict. I almost lost it there. <laughs> I've always heard of this, but I've never actually tried it. It's very buttery. Dude, this is actually pretty good. 
This one actually gets a 9 out of 10. I don't think that I would do this good of a job, but this is actually really good. Number 46, egg kebabs. Separate some eggs. For this one, we're just using the yolks. Preheated pan. Get our skewer. Mine doesn't really fit inside of the pan, so I'm gonna have to cut it. Ugh! Not gonna lie, this one's a little bit scary. And just spoon it on top of our stick. Okay, let's try the Coke bottle method. Okay, oh my. Oh, it worked! <laughs> I broke it. No! <laughs> At least one survived. You know what? Let's just move this one away. I'll try this again. Nope, 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 stay. Oh my gosh. I did it! I have no place to hold on to them, but it's fine. <laughs> It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Stop. Why is this so difficult? Flip these guys over. Ah! He fell off. It's okay, it's fine. These look about done. Mmm, egg kebab. They were a little bit difficult to cook, but like most things, with practice, I feel like I could get a lot better. That fell right off. <laughs> I mean, it's not bad. I feel like I say that for everything. It's basically fried yolk. I'm gonna try and put it back on the stick. I think it would have been easier just to cook the yolk separate and then take them off and put it on the skewer. Because otherwise they don't really stick on the skewer. I give this one a four out of 10. Uh, a four for effort, okay? Number 47, breadcrumb fried. Step one, separate a single egg. Boobity boop. Then we go ahead and dump it in some breadcrumbs. Oh yes, just let it roll around in there and get completely covered. Yeah, that looks good. And then we add it to some oil. Carefully, carefully. Delicate and elegant. Oh, yes. I'm gonna baste it with this oil. Hopefully that'll truly deep fry this. Ah, oh, I broke it again! Time heals all wounds. So does oil, apparently. Just ignore those parts. They're not even there, okay? Yeah, that looks about done. It kind of looks like fried cheese, but I know that's definitely not fried cheese. Mmm, yay! I can't wait to eat this. <laughs> huh? Yeah, I can see it. You know what? Maybe Five Minute Crafts is onto something here. You even have some room in there to add some cheese. This one gets a six out of 10 for me. Number 48, egg crepe. First things first, we separate a couple eggs. Boopity boop. Get our egg whites and just put it on there. Spread it around so it's nice and even. I think I might have done it a little uh, uneven. I'm doing my best, okay? I'm trying. I think I'm messing up. Oh my gosh. Beat up the yolk. Now we do the same thing with the yolk. Oh my gosh. Don't be shy, come out, yolk. Oh my god, I'm doing this so wrong. To make a good crepe, it takes a lot of practice, a lot of patience. Uh, two things that I don't have. Then apparently I make a little slit. Uh, uh, come on, you can do it. Flip it over, just keep flipping. Just keep flipping. Yeah, that is our egg crate. Uh, you know what? It's not super pretty, but it is the best I could do. It definitely reminisces a crate, but it, uh, it it's an egg form. This isn't even the egg's final form. Wow. It's like flaky like a crepe. Not bad. It's like a very flat egg. I give this like an eight out of 10. It's actually surprisingly good. If someone made this for me, I'd be impressed. Number 49, egg spice sauce. <laughs> it sounds a lot like epic sauce. Get it? Cause I'm Robbie epic sauce. Anyway, let's, uh, yeah. Hard boiled egg, put it in there. Then we start squishing it. Then apparently we're supposed to add some spice. I don't know what that means. So I'm just gonna use this hamburger seasoning. I'm hoping this makes it taste like hamburgers. <laughs> Yeah, that looks adequately mixed together. And apparently we just put it on some bread. Cut this little tip off. Now we have a perfect egg dispenser. Oh, this smells disgusting. Uh, uh, <laughs> I have to eat this. <laughs> it smells so bad. Mmm, <laughs> yummy, yummy. Why do I do this to myself? Egg spice sauce sandwich. I'm hoping that this tastes like hamburger. <laughs> It didn't taste like hamburger. I'm sure this is good for someone, but not me. I'm giving this one a one out of 10. Number 50, fried egg pouch. First we get our dough. Oh, every time. Oh, don't need that anymore. So I'm actually gonna pound it into a circle. Then we make a hole in the middle and add our egg yolk. 
Whoa, it looks like a little sunny side up egg. Then we put another dough on top and use a fork to kind of push them together. And now we fry this puppy. Boogity boop. And just fry that up. Flip it over. Yeah, I think I might have used the wrong kind of dough for this. Well, too late now. I feel like this one might actually be kind of good. Mmm! Oh wait, I haven't eaten the egg part yet. <laughs> I'm just eating the fried croissant, which is actually pretty delicious. Okay guys, I'm going in for the yolk. You know what? This one gets a seven out of 10 for me. It's actually edible. Mmm, dang, I like that. Dumpling. Number 51, egg noodles. Okay, so we start off with some boiling water, and then we get a simple egg. And apparently, we can just put our syringe in there, and it'll come out already mixed. I don't know how the heck they did this. Uh, oh, okay, now just extract the yolk. What? It's actually working. I am actually so impressed. So now, we just uh, start squeezing it, and it should make instant egg noodles. I don't know how I feel about this. These don't really look like uh, noodle. Maybe I just gotta be a little bit more consistent. Mmm, yummy. <laughs> this is just boiled egg. Okay, in, in theory, I should pull out noodles. Yeah, these don't look like noodles. Wow, I feel pretty disappointed. I'm not gonna lie. I'm still gonna try it, but I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. So I'm not gonna lie, these look really runny. Like, they don't look super cooked, and they definitely don't look like noodles. But, you know what? I'm gonna give it a shot, cause that's what we do here. Why do we do that here? <laughs> Why do we give things a shot here? Maybe I should try it with salt? Mmm, yummy. I'm giving this a two out of 10. Number 52, egg dumplings. Scramble our egg. Looks good. Then we need to preheat our ladle, spray a little bit of cooking spray in there, and pour it right in. I feel like I need a bigger ladle. <laughs> you know what, I'm putting some of this back. I put way too much inside this ladle. Just keep cooking it, I guess. And then in the video I watched, they actually added some stuff uh, inside the pouch. So I'm gonna add some pepper jack cheese. Just use a spoon to flip it inside of itself. Ooh, that's actually delicious looking. Look at that. Ooh, yum. Oh my gosh, I'm actually kind of excited for this one. Mostly because it's uh, something that's more than just egg. What a delectable little pouch. Mm. Honestly, the only thing that makes this good is the pepper jack cheese. Other than that, it's just a normal egg. But I'm gonna go ahead and give it an eight out of 10 uh, for the pepper jack cheese, mostly. <laughs> Pretty good, I recommend. Number 53, egg pops. Okay guys, so this is a cake pop maker. I found this at the thrift store. Uh, that's why the sticker's still on there. All you gotta do is put your cake mixture in there and it makes little cake pops. We're gonna use it to make egg pops. Put some sprayable butter. Just crack our egg right in there. <laughs> oh no. It doesn't fit into one. Uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes. Oh my goodness. Wow! Actually cooked it pretty well. What the heck? Dude, this is kind of cool actually. I didn't know what would happen. I literally just had this thing laying around. Okay, looks uh, pretty good. Egg pops, egg pops, egg pops. Ooh, we got ourselves an egg pop. It kind of just looks like an over easy egg. <laughs> Yeah, the yolk is kind of runny, not bad. It's like an over medium egg. Definitely easier than making an over medium egg. So whatever I gave the over medium egg, uh, one more point than that. <laughs> Number 54, George Foreman Grill. Ah yes, the George Foreman Grill. This is the last thing that the intern gave me for my birthday. <laughs> Before he left. Oh, I miss him so much. Intern, if you're out there, please come back. I miss you. I'm really tired of cleaning up after myself. These videos are really messy. You have no idea how many dishes 100 eggs makes, okay? Anyway, so we open that up. Put a little bit of sprayable butter. Crack our egg right in there. Oh gosh! It's just waterfall down. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't understand. Okay, I'll try this again, but holding it up with a knife. Oh my gosh. And I'll close it really quick. One, two. Okay. <laughs> then he said just leave it and forget it. Uh, so I guess I'll try and forget about this. Oh God. Oh, that is one nicely cooked egg. You just have to make sure you hold it, otherwise this'll happen. Okay, time to eat this. So this one, you know, this one's okay. It's, uh, it's pretty reminiscent of the grilled egg, I guess. Actually, it's pretty solid. It turned out, this is actually a pretty 
decent. They're cooked all the way through. And that yolk is like actually hard. This would probably be like an extra hard boiled egg. You know, quick, easy way to make eggs. I'd probably give this a, a seven out of 10. Good job, George Foreman. <laughs> I'm sure I'm using it exactly how it was intended. Number 55, waffle iron. Okay, so I actually have this really cute little uh, heart waffle iron. I thought it would be perfect to make one egg. Put a little bit of spray butter. Some, ah, there we go. Close that up. Okay, it's been a few minutes. Oh, a perfect little egg heart waffle. Wow, this is so cute, actually. Wow. Can I pull it out? Boom! It's just a little egg heart. Oh, that's adorable. Egg heart, egg heart, egg heart. This surprisingly does not taste like a waffle at all. Nope, definitely not. <laughs> This one gets a five out of 10. Number 56, blowtorch. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off with this pan, cover it in some tin foil, crack our egg. I don't need that anymore. Break out our blowtorch, and here we go. I feel like this is probably one of the more inconvenient ways to cook an egg. It's definitely cooking though. This egg is getting hot. Just even circles all around. Oh gosh, I just lit the tin foil on fire. I think I have to spin the tray. Ooh, it's starting to smell like burnt hair. I'm gonna open the window and turn the fan on because I feel like it's really bad to be in an unventilated area when doing this. Oh, that's still so runny. It's starting to like pop up. Oh my gosh, I just popped it. What a violent reaction from the egg. Okay, uh, this is still very hot. I think I kind of burned it a little bit and I feel like it's not completely cooked on the inside. Well, let's try the old fork test. Can I even get it up off of this tin foil now without breaking it? Oh gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, uh, uh. I mean, it's kinda cooked, but it looks like it became one with the tin foil. Yeah, I'm not eating that, guys. Zero out of 10, don't do this. This is silly. Zero out of 10, no eggs. Number 57, deep fried. Okay, so I don't have a deep fryer, uh, so what I'm gonna have to do is just use a pot with some vegetable oil. This is definitely really dangerous, uh, so I have a fire extinguisher handy off to the side of me, just in case. I'm also wearing uh, safety goggles, uh, so I don't get it in my eye. Then we have to wait for this to get to 350. Right now we're at 126, so uh, I'll see you then. Okay, we're a little bit above 350. Oh my God, 360, 370, oh my gosh, I have it way too, 380. We break the egg into the ladle, and then we just drop it in. Oh my gosh, oh, oh my god, okay. I gotta take cover, oh my god, oh my god. This is so scary. Do we have the fire extinguisher ready? I'm turning this off. There's like an egg bubble, oh my god. Oh, 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 what, what the heck, what am I, oh, oh, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I've created a monster, oh. My stove is possessed. Well, I guess it's time to eat this weird creature thing. Okay, th not gonna lie, I'm kind of scared to eat this. It looks kind of delicious. It tastes like a very greasy egg. I'm still wearing my goggles because I was scared that the stove was gonna explode and take me out. I definitely feel like if I had a real deep fryer, this probably would've turned out a lot better. Um, I'm gonna give this method mm, maybe a six out of 10. It's not bad, but it's also really not great. <laughs> Number 58, rice cooker. So here's the sitch. You made a bunch of white rice in your rice cooker the other day, and now you have all this extra. Man, it's teaming up the lens. What are you gonna do? I have an easy solution for you. Just crack an egg in there. Boom! Close that up, and I'll see you in like 20 minutes. Okay, so now our rice egg is cooked. Ooh, it actually looks like it cooked all the way through. Mmm, I can't wait to try this. I really love white rice, actually. Like, I was having white rice every morning for a little bit. It's pretty good. I have mixed feelings. I, I could have probably let it cook for less time and then I would have had a more runny yolk. But other than that, uh, you know, I'm gonna have to give this one a uh, seven out of 10. Pretty solid way to eat eggs. Number 59, dishwasher. So for this one, I kind of want to do it two ways. One way just kind of like a normal hard boiled baked egg or whatever. And the other one I'm gonna put in a bag. There we go. Then we just put them inside the dishwasher. I'm gonna put this one kind of in the silverware area and uh, just a regular egg right there. Now we wait. Okay guys, it's a few hours later. The dishwasher says that it's now clean. The dishes look pretty clean, that's good. Oh, but it looks like our bagged egg didn't cook at all. 
Oh no. This one also looks like it didn't really cook. Oh yeah, that's completely raw. So I guess that this one's automatically gonna get a zero out of 10. Number 60 and 61, put in a tin foil box, hard and fried. So I don't have a solar oven, so I'm gonna attempt to make one using this box and some tin foil. Then I'm gonna line it with tin foil. Okay guys, it's about 110 outside. So I'm gonna do this two different ways actually. One, I'm just gonna put it right in there. And the other, we're gonna try a sunny side up. And hopefully the sun will reflect onto these eggs. Honestly, it's so hot outside, it might just cook it. So I'm gonna leave this out here for a couple hours and uh, we'll see what happens. Okay guys, it's been about an hour and this is how they look. So our sunny side up egg doesn't look like it cooked at all really. But what about our egg in a shell? Let's find out. Oh, that didn't cook at all actually. I guess we're gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Zero out of 10. Number 62, water kettle. So this is another one that I was just genuinely curious about. So basically, I wanted to see if I could boil an egg inside of one of these electric kettles. I'm pretty sure you can, but I'm not 100% sure. Just boil our water. So I got the water hot enough to where it just started to boil. Now I'm gonna drop my egg in very carefully. And then I'm gonna try and boil it again. But I'm gonna leave the top off. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that boil for 10 minutes. It's been 10 minutes. Let's see how our egg is doing. Yep, here's our egg. It's still intact. Definitely still an egg. Put it in an ice bath. And let's see if this one actually solidifies. Oh, it feels like it's hard boiled. Guys, it actually worked. Well, who knew that if you put a raw egg in boiling water, it actually boils. I would have never known. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one 100% works. But how does it taste? Well, it looks like we're about to find out. Yeah, it tastes like a hard boiled egg. That being said, eight out of 10, great for convenience. Number 63, on the rocks. Egg on the rocks. Simple, elegant, and it still probably just tastes like raw egg. Do I even have to say my rating? <laughs> That's zero out of 10. Number 64, on a rock. Now we're gonna be trying to make an egg on a rock. Here's our egg. Okay, here we go. Oh, I broke the yolk again. It doesn't really look like it's cooking. Maybe if we got the rock a little bit hotter, it would've worked. But other than that, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Wow, what a letdown. This didn't even cook our egg. <gasps> no! I broke the yolk! Number 65, deviled eggs. So you wanna make deviled eggs, do ya? First step, get your eggs, line them all up like so, and then you cut them in half. Once they're cut in half, we get the yolks and we put them in a bag. Then we add some relish, some yellow mustard. I don't know if there's any other color of mustard. I really hope there's not. A little bit of salt and pepper. Once it's in our bag, we match it all up. We cut the tip off, we squeeze it right in. And there you have it, deviled egg. Oh yes, the classic deviled egg. I've never actually tried one of these, so it's gonna be a first for me. And it's also gonna be a last for me. I think I'm gonna offend some people, but this gets like two out of 10. Number 666, devil egg. So many we sing. Okay guys, today we're gonna be making deviled eggs. Just kidding, we already did deviled eggs. I actually meant summon Satan. Uh, with eggs. <laughs> that ought to cook it, right? Eggs, 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 do we, do we summon Satan with the egg? Did it at least cook it? Uh, 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 let's find out. Oh, oh my, oh no! Oh, oh, oh. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Number 67, cooking a potato. Okay guys, so I actually don't have a real recipe for this one, so uh, I'm just kind of curious to see what will happen. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I think, is uh, just bake the potato. Now our potato's baked. Oh, ha ha! Don't worry guys, no potatoes were harmed in the making of this video. Ha, just kidding. 
Yummy. Scoop the insides out. And we just crack an egg right inside. Put that on top. And then we put it back in the oven. Ten minutes later, in theory, our egg should be cooked. Oh, that looks pretty cooked, actually. And then I'm also going to add some pepper jack cheese. So, a little bit of pepper. Go ahead and close it back up for a second. Just to melt the cheese, you know? And let's try it. I don't know if you guys are ready for this. Ooh. Look at all that cheese. We got our yolk. We got our potato. Ho, ho, ho. Make sure to get a little bit of everything just to really experience it. You know what? This is pretty good. I'm gonna have to say that this is a 10 out of 10 egg recipe. I definitely don't have any bias considering I made it up myself. Number 68, projector. Okay guys, so for this one, we're gonna be using my projector to project fire onto the egg. I'm not sure exactly what I was thinking with this one, but uh, maybe it'll work. Okay, I'm gonna get it really close to the fire. Oh gosh, I really hope I don't burn myself. Oh, it's so hot, it's so hot. Everything is fine. I think the egg's been in the fire long enough. Let's see if it's cooked. Oh, 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 the projector egg got so hot. But is it cooked? <laughs> oh, no! This egg didn't, the projector didn't cook the, what, I'm so surprised. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. So that automatically gives it a zero out of 10. Number 69, watermelon. Okay guys, we're gonna be trying to cook some eggs inside of the watermelon. So first things first, we're gonna cut this baby in half. That was way smoother than I thought it would be. Then we go ahead and scoop out the inside. There we go. And then we add our eggs. And then we're gonna put it inside the oven at 350 for uh, 20 minutes. I don't know how long exactly I wanna put this in because I, I'm making this up as I go along if you guys haven't noticed yet. Guys, did I say 20 minutes? I meant an hour and a half. Oh, that's still, oh my gosh, that's still not cooked. Just kidding, not an hour and a half, uh, two hours. I'll try it back in another half an hour. Oh, what have I created? Ew, it's so like runny. <laughs> bon appetit. <laughs> At first I was digging it, and then the sweet egg got to me. I don't feel like egg is supposed to be sweet. I'm gonna try the yolk. Okay, maybe I'm just being a little too hard on it. I'm adding some salt. Yeah, that didn't make it any better. Yup, that's a two out of 10. Number 70, Easter egg dye. Oh, you guys, so we got this recipe off of Google. First you boil half of a cup of water, add one tablespoon of vinegar, and then we add 10 to 20 drops of food dye. One, two, three, four, five. One eternity later. A little bit more for good measure. I wanna make sure that this works. Mix it up a little bit, and we put in our hard boiled egg. And we leave it in for five minutes. Whoa, it's already starting to turn red. Five minutes later. And that's how you make an Easter egg. Uh, 10 out of 10 for Easter eggs. Can't go wrong with this. I'm not gonna eat it because it's literally just another hard boiled egg. Number 71, chocolate scrambled. Here's another weird one we just made up out of nowhere. Add our egg, add our chocolate. This is disgusting. Then we mix it up. I'm gonna vomit. <laughs> no, this looks like diarrhea. Ugh, stop. Am I really eating this? Stop it. Preheat our pan and add our weird mixture. I don't know if this is gonna work because chocolate becomes liquid when it gets hot and egg becomes a solid when it gets hot. So what the heck is gonna happen? I guess we're gonna find out. And I forgot that this is actually scrambled egg, so oh, just kidding, we're making a crate. <laughs> You never know, maybe this is gonna be great. I felt so bad at folding this crepe, I'm sorry. I bet I just made some weird recipe that I didn't even know existed. Mmm, chocolate egg crepe. It actually doesn't look that bad. I feel like it's gonna taste kinda like a chocolate pancake or something, but you know, minus the, the weenie part. I thought it was gonna be a lot worse than it actually was, and yeah, it's, it's fine. I would give it a four out of 10. I probably wouldn't eat this for every meal, but it does taste like a fancy dessert for some reason. Number 72 and 73, make inside an Easter egg. So I'm gonna cook two eggs inside of an Easter egg. For this one, I'm gonna scramble it. And for this one, I'm not gonna scramble it. I'm just curious to see what will happen. Scramble one egg, put that inside of our Easter egg. Oh gosh, okay, now I have to try and close it. Oh, God. oh I didn't think this through. It doesn't wanna close. Scrambled is done. Now we crack egg inside of egg. 
That is not much, oh my gosh. There we go. Not scrambled is complete. Put them inside the boiling water. Like I said, I really don't know what's gonna happen with these, but I'm just genuinely curious. Eventually. Okay, I'm guessing that these are done. I don't really know for sure. Oh no. <gasps> it just broke open. So this is the one that I didn't scramble. It looks like it just kind of became a poached egg. I'm not too surprised. I basically boiled it in one spot, so that would make it poached. Let's see what this one turned into. Oh! It didn't even cook all the way through. Gross. Zero out of ten. Don't do this. Not edible. Number 74. Chocolate candy egg. So I've actually made this one for pranks before, but I've never actually tried it. Oh, wow. I trick you! Should we get our raw egg? And we just mix it inside the chocolate. You know, it's probably time for me to start tasting my own medicine. Mix it in really good. And then we put it on a plate for it to cool down. Hey, do you guys want to see a trick? Whoa! Dang, that's really stuck on there. Oh no. Ready to hear something satisfying? I got it off without breaking it. That's good. Okay, time to see what I put people through. Uh. You know, it was pretty pleasant with the candied shell, but then I got to the raw bit and um, that speaks for itself. I would give it the beginning part 10 out of 10 and then the inside negative 12 out of 10. The end shell looks kind of cool though. Number 75, monster and egg. So here's a method I'm kind of scared to try. We're gonna go ahead and fill this whole monster can with eggs, and then we're gonna bake it. So first things first, we gotta crack some eggs. Then we're gonna add some milk as filler, whisk it up. Now I have to carefully syringe this egg yolk into the monster can. We'll see how this goes. Now I'm gonna put it in the oven and hope that it doesn't explode. Okay guys, so it actually looks like it exploded in the oven. So I'm going to carefully pull it out. And then I'm gonna put it in this pot of ice water. There we go. Oh no! And that soggy eggs. So now that our monster can is cooled down, it like imploded on itself. So now I'm gonna have to try and get the egg. My out. goal is to have it all slide out in one piece. I'm gonna use this can opener to try and take off the top. Okay, let's see if that worked. Oh, yeah, I mean that works. Let's see if this will just slide out. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. Can I carefully cut open the can? <gasps> yes! I just have a brick of egg. I'm peeling it like a banana. For some reason, it wanted to come out rectangle. You know, I'm not judging. Do you? Well, I guess it's time to try our egg brick. Wow, it actually bounced. It's pretty cold now. I guess I'll just take a big old bite out of this. See this maybe being a little bit better if I added seasoning to it and it wasn't cold? I mean, it cooked the egg all the way through. But I would give this method a three out of 10. Too much work. Speed round. Okay guys, it's time for the speed round. So for this one, we're gonna be cooking four at once using Coke and Monster. So basically, Coke hard boil, Monster hard boil, Coke poach, Monster poach. I, I don't know whether these are boiling or not because they already fizz. <laughs> This might be a problem. Boop, 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 boop. 10 minutes on these, poach it in the coke. I don't know if it's cooked or not. I can't see anything inside of there. One way for that, I'll go ahead and start on the monster poached egg. I love the smell of hot monster in the morning. Oh, this is cooking way better than the coke one. Monster poached egg is about done. Oh, that's still so goopy on the inside. Oh gosh, all that monster. I don't think this is done. I changed my mind. Coke poached egg. Ew. Oh, gross, okay. Monster poached egg. Ooh, it's a little bit more fluffy, that's cool. Hard boiled Coke and hard boiled monster. Oh man, I am not excited for this one. Hmm, what should I try first? <laughs> so first we're gonna try the Coke poached egg and it does not look very good. I would not recommend this. It does not look good. <laughs> It's like you took the worst part of Coca-Cola and the worst part of eggs and you put them together. But you know what? Maybe the monster poached egg will be better. This one cooked a little bit more evenly, actually. I actually really like monster and I kind of like eggs, so maybe I'll like this. Nope. I do not like this. Monster hard-boiled egg. <gasps> oh, that's so hot! It didn't actually cook all the way. Oh, that didn't cook at all. I don't know why that happened, but it didn't cook. I think again, it was because I couldn't tell whether the water was actually boiling or if it was just soda. Coke hard boiled egg. Now this one actually changed color. Uh, it has like a nice caramel brown color to it. It smells kind of sweet. The Coke one actually cooked. I need an ice bath. Okay, I let it chill in ice for a little bit, uh, and now it's a little bit harder. Oh, uh, it didn't cook very evenly at all. Like, the inside is still very watery. It's like, oh, runny! <laughs> this is like an over medium, maybe, but the inside just didn't cook at all. The yolk just broke on me. It's now or never before this falls apart, I guess. 
Yep, yeah, it's like a very not hard boiled egg. It doesn't really taste like Coke though, so that's cool. Like I can't really taste it at all. For the sake of this experiment, they all get zeros because I wouldn't eat any of these. Number 80, run it over with a car. This is another one where I'm not exactly sure what the point of this is, uh, but you never know, it might just cook the egg. So here's our car. There's my girlfriend, she's driving. I'm gonna just put the egg right there. Okay, Toyota Brand, we're all good. Oh my, what, oh my, it didn't cook it at all. What the heck? Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Number 81, sunbathe. Oh yes, what a perfect day to sunbathe. Oh, this is a life, isn't it, eh? Okay, I'm gonna take it out. Wake me up in like 20 minutes. 20 minutes later. Oh, oh, I woke up 20 minutes later. Oh, yes, perfect. No comedic uh, twist whatsoever. Let's see if my egg is done. Okay, let's check it. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. It's completely raw. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh, I still have to eat it. Oh, let's see. Well, guys, I guess if you have to say that this one doesn't work, I do not recommend this. Zero out of ten. Number 82, bath. So I guess we're giving the egg a bath now. I don't have any bubble baths, so I'm just using dish soap. Okay, now it's time for this dirty egg to take a bath. You're a dirty egg, aren't you? Honestly, this is the most extra bath I've ever seen. Like, I don't think I've ever taken a bath this nice. Now that our little guy is all done with his bath, let's see if he's cooked. Ooh, he's a little slippery from coming out of his bath. Is he cooked? <gasps> oh! It didn't cook at all! What a rip-off! I want a refund. So I guess it's another zero out of 10. Number 83. Okay, so here's our candle. Light it up. And then I had no real plan for this one except to get tongs. Just kind of put the egg over it. And hopefully this will cook it. I don't have too much faith in it, but it might work. It's mostly just turning the bottom side black. I think it's actually working because the side that I just cooked it is heavier than the other side. I'm just gonna keep rotating it until it's completely black. That way I know that I've cooked every single side. Every time I move it over, it just wipes off some of the black stuff. This looks so strange. I'm gonna put it in a glass of water. Oh my gosh, it definitely looks interesting. And hopefully our egg is actually cooked. <gasps> oh. Yeah, no, it didn't really cook at all. You can kind of see on the inside, it cooked the membrane. But it didn't get all the way to the egg yolk. So I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Zero out of 10. Number 84, hot knife. Okay guys, so this is the 1000 degree knife versus egg. Who will win? Crack our egg. And then we heat up our knife. My theory is that it's gonna instantly cook it. Ready? Here we go. <gasps> wow! Oh, it does not smell good, I can tell you that. I mean, it's kind of cooking it. Mmm, chop and cook at the same time. Well, guys, I'm gonna have to give this method a zero out of 10. Wouldn't recommend this way to cook your egg. Number 85, mini egg. So the first thing we need to do is separate the yolk from the white. Mix up the yolk, it's pretty good. Medium pan. And I have to try really hard to cook little tiny egg whites. Okay, there's one. <gasps> no, I messed up. I can still save this, don't worry. I'll separate the egg whites, it's okay. I had this way too hot. I messed up, guys. It's okay, I'm gonna try my best to fix this. We're gonna add our little egg yolks. Uh, just kidding, I'm supposed to put the egg yolk on top of the egg. Ha 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 ha, I messed up. Why do tiny things have to be so hard? That definitely didn't turn out how I thought it would. There's still a chance for these guys. Oh gosh, oh gosh. You know what, I think that one's the cutest one, okay? This is the way that the recipe said, and this is the way I said, so I'll let you guys decide which one's better. Okay, tiny eggs. Oh uh, yes, the perfect bite-sized snack. It's the perfect tiny egg. Mm. Can you guys guess what it tastes like? It turns out tiny eggs taste just like regular eggs. Good for you, tiny eggs. You're really holding your own. 10 out of 10 for the tiny eggs. They deserve it. Number 86, giant egg. So here's another weird one that we just kind of made up. So what I'm going to do first is separate six eggs. Yolks over here. I need all egg whites. So this isn't going to work. Except the yolks. Boopity boop for our egg white. And then I have this little thing to help me make my yolk. And then I'm gonna put the top on to help it cook a little bit easier. Again, I have no idea what I'm doing. This is all an experiment. Huh. It's an egg experiment. <laughs> Please don't unsubscribe, guys. I'm, I'm really sorry. That was a terrible joke. Okay, let's see if we can remove this without 
messing it. Oh, no, it still needs to stay on. As you guys can see, some of the yolk already kind of spread everywhere, so I already kind of failed. I'm hoping that this will sort of bake when I put the lid on it, and then it'll make a whole giant yolk. And I think we should be good. Oh, no, this did not turn out very good. Can we even get this up? <gasps> no, it burnt to the pan. Okay, let's see if we can transfer this without breaking it. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh no, I completely failed. I'm gonna give this one a six out of 10. Wasn't our best idea, but you know, we tried, okay? Number 87, yell at it! So my theory is if I yell loud enough, the supersonic vibrations will cook the egg. Let's try it. 3.28 a.m. Okay, I've been yelling at it for about 20 minutes now. I think it's had enough. Now let's see if it's cooked. Are you guys ready for the drop test? <gasps> and the results are in. It didn't cook! I am so disappointed! Wow, another failed way to cook eggs. Zero out of ten. Speed round number two, number 88 through 91. Okay guys, so Coke and Monster didn't turn out very well. So now we're gonna try Sunkissed Berry Lemonade and Cranberry Juice. I just really wanted to boil it in something blue. Bring them all to a boil. Ah, oh, don't drink the forbidden Kool-Aid. My hand is like sticky from the steam. Oh. Hard boil, hard boil. Poach blue lemonade. Turns out I'm really bad at poaching eggs. Poach cranberry juice. Blue hard boil. It didn't really change color at all. The cranberry hard boiled though. That one kind of changed on the outside. The blue poach turned out super blue. The cranberry poach turned out really red. Like this looks like it could be an organ or something. It blends right into the bowl. Another interesting one. Let's start off with the blue poached. It cooked a lot more evenly than the last time I did this. That's weird. It's like a sweet egg. And this literally tastes like if you put like sugar on egg. Cranberry juice poached egg. This looks really weird and I bet it's gonna taste really weird. Yeah, that definitely wasn't very good. Blue hard boiled. I'm hoping that this actually uh, properly hard boiled at this time. The shell's coming off pretty nice. Oh, it smells like a normal hard boiled egg. Okay. Tastes like a normal hard boiled egg. I literally don't taste the blue in it at all. Cranberry hard boiled egg. The shell is definitely not coming off as easy as the other one for some reason. Okay, good enough. Again, just tastes like a normal hard boiled egg. I guess the liquid that you boil your eggs in doesn't really affect the taste that much, so that's cool. Ooh, Number 92, ooh, 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 berry ooh, and ooh. sand. Okay guys, so it's currently 111 out right now. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put it in this hot sand. Oh my gosh, that's so hot. And bury it for 24 hours. We're gonna come back in 24 hours and see if it cooked. Okay guys, it's been about 24 hours. Let's see if our egg is cooked. One, and two, and... I'm never gonna have a cooked egg again. Yeah, doesn't work. Number 93, magnifying glass. Okay, so here's our egg, here's our magnifying glass. I am not sure if this will work really, but we're gonna try. I feel like it's just gonna burn the egg. Oh, it's so hot. I chose a great day for this, but it's so bright. What if I do this? Will this cook it? Six and a half hours later. The egg's not even hot. I don't know what I was thinking with this. Let's crack it open to see if it cooked. Oh. Yeah, that didn't cook at all. Oh man, you I could cook it with the magnifying glass. Two thousand years later. Oh shoot! I got little tiny parts of it to actually cook. Just in the one little direct part that I actually got. I'm not gonna do the whole egg because this is literally gonna take hours. I'm really hot. So I'm gonna have to say that this one will work, but it, it just kind of sucks. Zero out of ten. Number 94, on a light bulb. Okay, so this is actually my turtle's heat lamp. I'm hoping he doesn't mind that I'm using this for an hour. Plug that in. And then we take the egg, put it right there. Well, I'll see you in an hour. Hopefully this works. Okay guys, it's been about an hour. Turn off the light bulb so I can grab this. Oh my gosh, it's so hot. Put it in the ice bath for like 15 minutes. Now that this is cooled down, let's see if it actually cooked. It was pretty hot. I think it might have actually cooked. Oh. Uh, no yolk is coming out. It's a little bit runny. It kind of cooked. It's like half raw. The part where the egg was making full contact with the light is cooked, but then it's completely raw where it's not touching it. I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one kind of works. Still wouldn't eat it though, so uh, zero out of 10. Number 95, on the street. Okay, so like I said earlier, it's 105 degrees out. Let's see how hot the sidewalk is. The asphalt is 162 degrees. That's pretty freaking hot. 
Ah, no, I broke the yolk. It's okay, it doesn't need to be perfect for this. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and let this sit for like uh, half an hour and uh, we'll see if it actually cooks. Okay, it's been about an hour. Uh, it actually cooked? Well, it's a little runny, but for the most part, that looks like a cooked egg. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one actually works. I'm definitely not eating this one, though, because, you know. <laughs> so, zero out of ten, uh, in terms of consumability. Number 96, on the hood of a car. Okay, we're gonna try and cook an egg on my car hood. It's about 105 out right now, so it's pretty hot already. So it looks like the temperature of my hood is 211 degrees. Which is really freaking hot. Uh... Stay, stay, no. Oh my gosh, you can actually see. Oh, it's actually starting to cook. <gasps> what? Guys, it's actually starting to cook on the hood of my car. So it keeps sliding down. So I'm gonna put it inside this perfect egg holder thing. And hopefully that contains it. I feel like it's gonna take a little while for it to cook. So I'm gonna let it sit here for like half an hour. Okay, oh my God. The hood of my car is so hot. It's been about an hour. It actually cooked. <gasps> We have a straight up sunny side up egg. Oh my gosh, this probably completely ruined the paint of my car. Oh. <laughs> wow. I don't really want to eat this because I don't feel that it's sanitary. Oh, that's so hot still. But I guess we're gonna have to say that this one actually works. Number 97, flying to the sun with a drone. Now we're gonna try and cook an egg by flying it to the sun. We're gonna be using my drone. Drop it inside our bag. Oh yes, eggs in a bag. Tie it right on there. Now we're gonna try flying into the sun. Okay, time to go. You think it's hit the sun yet? I don't know if this was a good idea. Look how flappy the bag is. Yeah, I think that might be cooked. I'm gonna go ahead and bring it down now. This is one advanced way of cooking eggs. Now we're gonna carefully unwrap our eggs. Survive, guys. This really brings back memories from the time I did the egg drop challenge with my girlfriend and John. If you guys wanna watch that video, you can click right here. Anyway, let's do the drop test to see if this bad boy cooked. Three, two, one. Oh no! Oh. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. <laughs> Stupid drone! Number 98, matches. Okay, more matches, yay. I thought I was done with these after the match volcano video. If you guys wanna watch that, you can click right here. So basically for this one, we're gonna get our matches, make sure all the heads are pointed face up, and then using a rubber band, we're gonna put them all together. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Now I just have to make this big enough to where I can put an egg on top of it. Well, this is gonna take a little while. And there it is. It's not very big. It took me about 20 minutes to make. But I used an entire box of matches. I don't have any more, so I guess this is gonna have to do. Luckily, it's just big enough to fit our egg. Okay, let's go try this thing. And a boobity boo. Add our egg. I genuinely don't know what's about to happen. Is it gonna cook it? I don't know. Oh, oh! Wow, it popped. That was a little bit anticlimactic. I'll go ahead and let it burn through all the matches and see if it fully cooked. Well, it pretty much burned completely out. Did it actually cook? Oh, that is still very raw. Oh, it cooked a little bit right there. Well guys, I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Zero out of 10, why would you cook eggs like this? Number 99, light it on fire with money. So have you ever wondered if you could cook an egg on money? Well, you're about to find out. Yeah, about Three grand ought to do it. Make a nice little nest right there. Give it some lighter fluid to help it burn. Put our egg, and away we go. Baba boy. Oh my gosh, that egg is cooking fast. It's a nice uh, green color. I'll go ahead and let it burn completely out. Okay, let's see if this guy actually cooked. Take it out of the ice bath. There's like a little hole on the bottom uh, and I can see it actually kind of cooked there. I'm not sure how consistent it's gonna be, but we're about to find out. And the drop test. Yeah, it's still uh, definitely raw on the inside because it's leaking out these juices. Uh, oh, raw yolk. So it looks like it kind of cooked like the membrane part of the shell, like the closest part of the shell. But other than that, it didn't really cook it. And I would eat this one, but it looks disgusting. But it being cooked on money, I'm sure this is what success tastes like. Man, this was the most expensive egg recipe yet. And for the grand finale, number 100, fireworks. 
fire work egg. We're gonna see if these firecrackers cook the egg. I hope it cooks it instantly. Well, time to see if it cooks. It looks pretty dark and I think it might have actually cooked. Let's do the drop test. Ready? Oh no! Yeah. That definitely didn't cook it. Oh, that is a runny yolk. A bullet shell. Well, guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Oh, hey guys, how you doing? I'm currently on day three of watching this compilation. So you guys are probably wondering, Robbie, why is this compilation only 10 hours long when you said that all your videos were 20 hours long? And the reason for that is my editing program won't let me render out a 20 hour long video over the course of three days. We tried, I think, a total of three times and I'm still marathoning every video. I'm about halfway through. I'm at the egg video right Right now. Stay tuned for part two, guys. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. If you got this far, good for you, because this is difficult. Anyway, love you guys so much, and I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Oh, we're dying. Okay, bye. Ah!